Resonance partly, and this one is about the last one that we had. <laughs> so I get this pen named Arsenic to write song for every president that will never get shot in the face. I wrap these strings in plastic explosives and head down to the courthouse. One chord I level the place, so what hasn't anybody learned? Don't ever trust a man who plays guitar. The day I rob a bank's the first day I'm not lying to you or me about what I believe. If I die, then let my gravestone read. Rest in P-Funk, cause no pulse is no excuse not to dance. If I live, then let my heart be like a beating picket line. That sooner see a corpse than see a scab. Oh, but hasn't anybody learned the last to make the moves? They're the first to say the words. The day I rob a bank's the first day of my life. As an honest man, an honest man, the day I rob a bank's the first day of my life. Jail, trying to rob a bank. The day I finally get what I deserve. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 song, uh, song is written, uh, some, know, so written since the new guy yeah, so, uh, took a charge. <laughs> Someday, I'll tell you without lying, I was born to quit smoking, I was born to quit dying, on that day, not doing heroin will seem easy as pissing, on that day, I'll stop talking so much shit about the government, cause urine speaks louder than words, on a politician, or on a prison warden, urine speaks louder than When they want to forget something like centuries of racism They'll say look at the man on center stage and pay no attention Well millions get locked in a cage and riots break out in Oakland But urine speaks louder than words on a prison warden Or on a BART policeman, urine speaks louder than words
I filled in the last one. Okay. Freezer. Yeah, you play. Put, 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 some, freezer. play some freezer. Play some freezer. I could I could play a cover song by uh, by a cock rock band. Yeah. 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 Because like it's a, I mean it's a game. You know, people have to help me with that. It doesn't really work. But. Song. Well, it's a song based on Mississippi John Hurt song. Oh, play it, play it. The idea of it is, really like, <laughs> is that people help uh, me make it up as we go along. Uh, but if, if people are ready to do that, we should do it. Do it. It's, it's kind of hard. All right, I'm gonna say that one until the end. I'll play a couple. I'll play a couple more songs, and we'll, we'll try that one. Uh, all right, I'll just play. I'll play a song about being very shy, which I am a large portion. Of. <laughs> really. <laughs> Tonight I'm an alley cat, yeah More afraid of you than you are of me But if you leave some food out on the porch I might stay till there's nothing left to eat I'd be sitting a lot alone at a lunch table in high school If I wasn't sitting alone at a punk show in Asheville Hey, hey, hey Tonight the upper left hand side of my chest Has a hole as big as the one in my pockets I might have kissed you wearing a bulletproof vest But hell, you kiss, kiss like, like a rocket I'd be a teenage virgin Jerking off in my bedroom If I wasn't a 20 year old virgin That doesn't have a bedroom hey, hey, hey. Business jam, then I think we should do it. Yeah. 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 The the structure of the song will become clear very quickly. Yes. And, you know, anyone anyone who wants to just take their turn and sing their verse. All right. This is based on a song by my man Mississippi John Hurt, who is like punk as fuck before punk rock existed by decades. By decades. Punk rock. <laughs> Nobody knows. Uh, we're all we're all part of it somehow, but I don't think any of us know here or there. <laughs> Do a 
skateboard trick. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna suck my own dick. <laughs> These days we'll beat all the cops, and when the fun starts, uh, it'll never stop! <laughs> Yes, Viva, the, they are automated and I just got the automation system in. I will get, uh, I plan on doing an array of randomly selected greetings as well. So I just have to build the array system and the randomization system, but yes, they are automated. Um, so for now you're going to have to wait, like you're going to have to put up with just a, Hey there fucking thing. Uh, Dep one and lost um, the settle. It, it was uh, both found guilty on counts of defamation, though um, it was unanimous for Depp. Um, so Twitch is fucky tonight. I guess a lot of people are having trouble. Interesting. Eh, well, well, we'll see what that turns out to look like. <clears throat> uh. Oh, I still have to do some weights tonight. I've, uh, I just did two core sessions. Still, it doesn't feel like enough anymore. I think I need to do a third one. <clears throat> uh, yes. Yes, Viva. Correct. Um, first time someone writes hello in chat. It says, says anything in chat. It greets you. Um, you know what I want to look at? How does that get programmed? Oh, the button ID. How do I change a button ID? <clears throat> I 
Okay, so it's under settings for the button. Cool. All right. Now I know how to do that. <clears throat> uh, I think it was 15 mil versus two. Um, it's... His, his is capped at 300 and some something. Uh, the punitive damages for the 15, for the five um, is, uh, yeah, 10.35. Yeah, the, the five is capped at $350,000. That's what it is. Um, Virginia caps punitive damages at $350,000. So the five, th a five million in punitive, punitive gets them automatically dropped by the judge to $350,000. The 10 million, um, in damages though, uh, the 10 million in damages, 5 million in punitive, punitive, the five mil gets dropped to three, uh, 350. <clears throat> um, So there you go. I'm also going to gate some of this, um, but that's 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 a project down the line. We're gonna we're gonna introduce a, a whole other subsystem to be able to to gate some of this stuff. <clears throat> so uh, strays can't cue it off. Um, but like I said, that's that's a whole other fucking subsystem I have to build. Ah. <sighs> So how's everybody today? How are you guys doing? Um, let's see. Oh, she then. <clears throat> so how about some restaurants? Um, uh, then she has to pay his lawyers for his claim and has to pay her lawyers for her counter claim. I don't know what the status of the legal, uh, whether there was any claims put in for, um, for attorney fees. I don't know that. A little glazy. Oh, you're responding to the bot. Um, Patronum, uh, I'm good. I finally got released from my self-imposed jury duty. Um... <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know what the deal with that is. Sorry, couldn't bury a guy today in a navy funeral because uh, there was too much water in the grave. It was bullshit. Not a joke. <laughs> Feels like a joke. Uh, <clears throat> so let's see. True story though. Jesus Christ. All right. Oh, uh, let's see. What what was. I mean, there was, of course, the Johnny Depp thing. Um, let's see. New York is raising the age to buy uh, an assault rifle. We won't get into that. Um, to the age of 21. And New York is outright banning body armor, it seems like. Um, so my question. Prohibit the purchase of body armor by for civilians. Um, would require a license uh, to purchase a semi-automatic rifle. It'll never hold. It'll never hold. That, that'll get knocked down in fucking challenge. Um, so civilians can't buy body armor. I have a question. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Does this count as body armor? Like, <clears throat> I, 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 I mean, yeah, theoretically it does. Like it would, it would have to be in some former fashion, right? Does ancient Roman body armor count as, uh, does ancient Roman armor count as body armor? Um, probably. <clears throat> yeah. Like, 
is this body armor. This is a level 3A fucking tank top. Does... <clears throat> Does this count? <clears throat> a jury duty a few years back. It was wild. It was in the old Bailey, the oldest courtroom in London. Yeah, um, there's a fucking YouTuber called Runkle of the Bailey. <laughs> Um, the oldest court in London, all the judges and lawyers wearing wigs and ground, gowns and shit. Why? I, I still don't understand why the fuck Britain and a whole bunch of fucking people. Canada. Does Australia still do, still do the wigs too? Either way. Um, the case was an assault at a jungle al uh, album launch party. So we all had these ancient dudes in wigs and gowns having to read witness statements and having to th as th things having to say, uh, bumbaclot and shit. Those cut proof shirts and sleeves? I know, right? Does a gimp suit count as body armor? Okay, is there a bulletproof gimp suit? I'm not seeing any bulletproof gimp suits. <clears throat> Although, Garrison Bespoke will make bulletproof suits. So, I don't know. Like, maybe you can. Uh, um. Mul um. Quoting Jamaican slang and patois. Okay. <clears throat> Multiple people. Yeah, I saw that. Uh, that there was some sort of shooting in some medical facility. All right, so it's Tulsa. Uh, shooting. I would wear that if I ever visit the U.S. I mean... Uh, let's see. Go away. Four people killed inside the hospital. Rifle handgun. Died of a self-inflicted gunshot wound. So the cops saved us again. The cops saved us once more, everyone. Um. So when seconds matter, the cops were where again? Just out of curiosity. Just out of curiosity. When when lives were on the line, where were the cops? <clears throat> Multiple people injured. 5 p.m. I can't. Yeah, motive. I can't wait. It's going to be something crazy. It's going to be like some QAnon shit. Fucking a hospital. It's going to be like COVID. Fucking doctors are spreading COVID or some shit like that, right? So another shooting, huh? Must be Wednesday. It's just the U.S., man. We're just we're just numb to it at this point. <sighs> I don't even think we're numb to it. We're just fucking. It's just part of the flow. Um, let's see. <laughs> don't care. <clears throat> Don't care, don't care, don't care. Oh, yeah. Amazon repeatedly violate the NRLOB uh, rules. No, really? <clears throat> Do you see the crazy fucker uh, fake being disabled to attack the Mona Lisa with a pastry uh, to protest climate change? Is that what he was protesting? I knew he dressed up as uh, an elderly woman in a wheelchair to, like, be able to smear a cake on the plexiglass of the Mona Lisa. Because the Mona Lisa is covered. <clears throat> it didn't even get on the Mona Lisa. The, it's, it's literally shielded. Like he, he smeared, he smeared cake on a piece of plexiglass. <clears throat> it was climate change. He was, he attempted to smear cake on the Mona Lisa to protest climate change. Sure. He tried to break it first. Hmm. Yes, I'm sure. I'm sure they haven't thought about that. 
Yeah, that one was like, why bother, my dude? <laughs> my brother and his wife were there. Uh, Jesus. Um, I, everyone, everyone, I just want to let you know, tonight, tonight, I'm going to masturbate in protest of climate change. Not on stream, just later. Mm -hmm. um, I'll also, later, I'll be cooking some rice in protest of climate change. Mm -hmm. Yeah, when I'm lifting weights later, too, that will also be in protest of climate change. I figure while well, we're all doing things not even remotely related to climate change in protest of climate change. <clears throat> I hear you, bro. The Mona Lisa was so close to my complex fetish. Fetish. <laughs> Cupcake. So brave of you. Uh, that was probably more effective than that guy. Any act is good if you say you did it for a good reason. Seems to be. Seems to be. Yeah, I, I had no idea what that dude's motivations were. That he was he was attempting to smear cake on the Mona Lisa as a, pro, a protest for climate change or because of climate change. Like, what? I, I, I'm going to punch myself in the dick to protest police violence. What, what does one of these things have to do with the other? This is just the dumbest goddamn shit. Ah. <sighs> Intention is so important. Whenever I masturbate, it's in protest of the patriarchy. Well, Libra, I cancel you out because when I masturbate, it's in support of the patriarchy. So we're canceling each other out. So stalemate between Libra and I's masturbatory habits. We're gonna have to we're gonna have to get a third in here as a tiebreaker. So who who wants to masturbate for or against the patriarchy? <laughs> it's the stupidest shit. <laughs> Fuck you. Um, I'll break it again. Uh, fucking hashtag cock, cock punch for cops. This is beast. Mm, depends. What day is it? It's Wednesday beast. It's hump day. I do it for the sake of masturbation says Viva. Coward. Viva, you're a coward. And Viva... Pa the patriarchy and climate change happen because of you. Because of you. Okay? Or as an affront to God. All right, fair enough. Uh, Beast says, I, I told Beast it was Wednesday. He says, ah, oh, pro-patriarchy. It is then. Um, later on, I'm going to take a protest and dump of Elon Musk, says Rev. Crystal says, I'm jacking it against the patriarchy, but my background is problematic. Might be a half a point. <laughs> Crimson, did I come back to a D-Gen party? Or? Uh, Crimson, we were talking about, because I, I didn't know what the dude who try, attempted to smear cake on the Mona Lisa, I didn't know he did it in protest of climate change. So we're just we're just mocking him. I said I was going to punch my own dick in, uh, in protest of uh, police violence, and I was going to masturb masturbate in support of the patriarchy since Libra masturbates against the patriarchy. Yeah. Blue balls for healthcare for all. I ask. Uh, the bot will have for those that came that came after uh, the the intro. The bot will have new like will have different randomized introductions. They won't just say "Hey there, your name" every time. But I got the I got the fucking the the welcome programmed correctly. There was errors last night, but I got it cr corrected today. But. I still haven't built the array in the randomization system. So that's somewhere down the line. So you just have to put up with it for now. I'd say I did uh, three for the patriarchy and one against says Aspen. <laughs> oh, Jesus fucking Christ. Make the bot accuse every new person of being a fed. I can do that on the fly. Um, bitch about time, bitch about time you showed up, uh, bitch about time you showed up on the greetings list. We'll, uh, what, you know, we'll do them all. We'll do them all. Uh, when I, I, when I do the, the array, we'll, we'll come up with a bunch of fucked up greetings and stuff. Oh, fuck me. Oh, sorry. Just a muscle started. 
flipping out in my back. Um. Oh, I don't know. What do you want to talk about? Hey! Do we have, like... Congratulations, Caboose. That's a, that is a real good reason to be late to anything as far as I'm concerned. How did your uh, workout go, Caboose? Now that you've got a, a, a dongle, you've got a key fob to get into the, uh, the facilities, how did, uh, how did it go? Hey, I'm fed because I just ate dinner. Anyways, y'all fell in. I just plan on doing any cool and fun crimes. <laughs> oh, Jesus. All right, let's see what we got. Uh, apparently the Republicans were planning to like stock polling places with activists, just FYI. Um, some, like somebody recorded somebody. Oh, a recording of Matthew, uh, Matthew Seyfried, 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 the RNC's election integrity director in Michigan. He uh, added, uh, he said, being a poll worker, you just have so many more rights and things you can do to stop something as a poll challenger. He, uh, he added, there's going to be an army ready to back up conservative poll workers. We're going to have more lawyers than we've ever recruited because let's be honest, that's where it's going to be fought, right? Hey, it's, it's still, dude, that's still three quarters of a mile. Good on you, man. Uh, apparently somebody from the Chinese army leaked specs for one of their th tanks on the War Thunder forums. If true, this could be the third time, some third time something like this has happened. Jesus fucking Christ. Um, Trash Island is going to be fucking wild uh, right uh, now because they have had parasites been on the throne for 70 years. A link to the claim. I mean, do we have, like, a link to the fucking... enough to be credible it's enough to be credible it's enough to be credible <sighs> yes one time some schmuck from a British tank crew did the same thing and another time a French tanker did the same thing as well okay Whatever. I'm not going to think about it. 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 Um, okay. So the police chief from Ovade, uh, Ovade um, schools uh, or the Ovade police department was sworn into a, um, city council meeting behind closed doors last night to uh, give testimony uh, as to what happened. They wouldn't let the public in. And uh, Governor Abbott um, held a special session on school shootings in Texas uh, and specifically, like, forbade certain conversation topics. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, it's definitely... I need to undo this knot. Um... Shouldn't be a knot in my fucking wire. It's bad for it. But they are, for those of you who haven't been following and don't know about this, um, and got booed. Yeah, when he showed up. Okay, look, all I'm going to say is that Governor Abbott, for those of you who don't know, he's in a wheelchair. Okay. Uh, for those of you who don't know, Governor Abbott was out for like a run one night or a walk. He was out wa uh, go walking down the sidewalk and a tree, like a 
big ass branch randomly fell just randomly it fell on him and tried to kill him okay that is god's will if there ever was god himself is trying to take this motherfucker down a peg all right he he literally was just walking along and a fucking tr- giant tree branch falls on his ass and cripples him Yeah, exactly, Zippy. If that isn't a sign from God, I don't know what is. So let's just contextualize Governor Abbott in the fr- in the light of God wants him dead. Or at least God wants him in a wheelchair. Um, <clears throat> Jesus took the chainsaw. Uh, a Widowmaker is a hell of a way to go. Must have been secretly gay, says Beast. Yeah. All right. So let's just Governor Abbott, God wants dead. But deal with the devil goes a long way, I suppose. <sighs> but for those of you who don't know, the Ovade Police Department probably shot a kid. Look, I, I, they, maybe they didn't. Maybe they did. We don't know at this point. But they probably shot a kid, right? Like, we've talked about this. They, they randomly got up in a fucking press conference and were like, oh, by the way, we didn't shoot any kids. Yeah, a kid. They probably shot multiple kids, frankly. Um... They, they got up in the middle of a pre- pre- press conference, apropos of nothing, they're like, by the way, the Levati Police Department did not shoot any, any kid, uh, shoot a kid. Like, nobody asked, nobody suggested. These fuckers just get up and volunteer the information that they did not shoot a child. Immediately, everybody's like, these motherfuckers shot a kid, right? Like, that's they had to have, they had to have. They shot a kid. Right, as soon as they did that, most people were like, what nobody suggested you did nobody even asked why did you just volunteer that information the next day they announced they wouldn't be cooperating with the texas department of public safety or uh, federal doj investigation they probably shot a kid or more or more than one at this point do not hold your breath as to how badly these idiots fucked up. Yeah, totally not suspicious at all. Not at all. Um, yeah, don't, don't, you should just expect some pretty fucked up shit to come out of this. Uh, they're not cooperating with DOJ. When do they have a choice? I, pff, I mean, I guess you do have a choice. You can just lawyer up and refuse to answer questions. Uh, yeah, but the same day someone said they were uh, wrong to not enter. I mean, Jesus. So it could be both. <laughs> uh, did who crack under the stress of shooting or something? Uh, the person giving the announcement? I don't. He wasn't even involved with her. Uh, press, press off, uh, officers who handle press, generally speaking, aren't the types to you know, um, do, do the actual entrance. Hey, Doug. <laughs> hey, my name is just, uh, just give me a name and I don't have sex with sheep. Nice to meet you. Yeah, exactly. It, it, it's just, you're like, nobody asked. Now I think you have sex with sheep, right? Like now I think you shot a kid. Who? maybe that was the elusive good cop. Yeah, we're still on the hunt for him. Oh, okay. Here, here. Have some depression. Have some distilled depression. Last week, Girl Scouts of the USA posthumously bestowed upon Amory Joe Garza, Agarza, age 10 of Olvade, Texas, one of the highest honors in Girl Scouting, the Bronze Cross. The Bronze Cross is awarded for saving or attempting to save life at the risk of the Girl Scouts' own. I'm just gonna gonna scroll down. Kind of says something about where America is when the Girl Scouts are awarding posthumous medals for bravery under fire. I told you it was distilled depression. (laughs) 
Um, this poor cops must have, must, this poor cops must have very severe PTSD from all the parents screaming, of the parents whose children were actually executed. I'm still in anger, not sad. Oh, I, I, I. Honestly. <laughs> so, here's the take I dropped last night. Uh, how long till we start running grenade drills for these 10-year-olds? I dropped this take last night. Uh, who needs a foreign power bring war on our soil? We're already at war with ourselves. Exactly. Well, that's what Russia was after, Caboose. Um, Russia's been after that for years and years and years. So, <clears throat> you want to know how toxic statism is? You want to know how fucked it is? You want to know how badly statism brainwashes you? Here's what I talked about last night. Where's the criticism for the parents? The parents? How are you going to criticize the parents, Kai? They stood by. They stood by while the state told them not to do anything. And they let their children be shot like fish in a barrel. Well, they tased a couple of them and they pepper sprayed one when they handcuffed some of them. Yeah, and BLM protests, Occupy protests, and like anti-fascist movements, fucking black bloc. Leftists have been fighting with cops for years and years and years. What's the deal? Why'd you just sit there and let your kids die? You just let your kids die like that. What happened? What happened to don't mess with Texas? What happened? Why'd you just let your kids die? Why didn't you go in? Well, the cops stopped them. Not all of them. Some people made it in. Some, some people made it in and got their fucking kids out of that school. So what happened? You stood by while the state did nothing and let your child be summarily executed by a mass shooter. And you stood there and did very little. Glazy, it's not mildly true. It's true. What? Look, I'm not a parent, right? I have no parental instincts. None. But as near as I can tell, isn't part of the deal with the whole parent-child thing, like mama bear, I will take a bullet, I will eat somebody's fucking face off if they fuck with my child, right? Isn't that part of the, the whole deal? What happened? Is this the, is, this is what statism looks like? Like, this is, this is the effects of statism? This is what happens when you believe in your country? You, let, you stand by while the police let your child be summarily executed by a mass shooter while the state does absolutely nothing? Hmm, interesting. So, as far as I can tell, what actually killed those children, at least some of them, is a blind faith in state. Statism killed them. Well, functional parents. Well, a lot of functional parents. I can't speak to the idiots. Your brain on statism. Listening to cops when they tell you, please don't try to save your kids. Yeah. That's as near as I can tell. This is, the, this is a criticism nobody has levied. That like, you know. Yeah, the cops are pieces of shit. And they got in the way. And they definitely are to blame. But I straight up said last night, if I walked up. And I was a parent at that school and I there like if I ran up, right, if I pulled up and the cop said I couldn't go in and I saw a fucking cop tasering a parent, I'd be like, oh, OK, thank you, sir. Good luck. And I just peel off and I'd be going in another ingress point. I'd be like, I got I got to find a new place to go in. Right. The cops have that barricaded. I'm going to I'm going to drive around this fucking school. I'm going to do laps. I'm going to go in a fucking window. Like, I don't, like, if I have to smash a side window with a fucking whatever, with my fucking elbow and bleed out if I have to, right? Like, isn't that part of the deal? 
What happened? Y'all just fucking rolled over and took it. Fucking. And here's the conversation that we, we talked about last night. Wither, they stood there for over an hour while it went on. 77 minutes. No, it wasn't, Wither. No, it wasn't. Not by a long shot. It took 77 minutes. It took over an hour before it came to an end. Oh. Yeah, like these these fuckers, like they just stood there. They stood there where their children were summarily executed by a mass shooter and the state did nothing. Here's here's the other, here's the side conversation we had last night. Imagine if the parents drew down on the cops. They can stop one person, not everyone. Exactly, Lazy. Imagine what would have happened if the parents drew down on the cops. Get the fuck out of my way. One parent drove like 40 miles to the school and made it there before it was over. Yeah. Imagine if the parents drew down on the cops. Get the fuck out of our way. If you're not going to do anything, we're going to do something. We'd be having a different conversation entirely, wouldn't we? We'd be having an entirely different conversation. Most Americans truly believe they are there to protect and serve and do what they're tasked to in these situations. Some probably felt helpless and also afraid of the cops themselves, but still trust them to save their kids. Regardless, they all learn they're definitely not there to protect them or their kids. Um, fire. So the parents of Ilvati school children learned the lesson that anarchists have known their entire existence, that people of color have known their entire existence, that um, black people, especially in this country, women who have been sexually assaulted, fucking, they learned the lesson that has been prevalent and available for everybody on display, especially since George Floyd especially since George Floyd. If George Floyd didn't teach you that lesson and it took your own child being executed while the cops actively denied you access and did nothing to stop it, allowed it to happen, oh well. Welcome to the party. It's a tough lesson to learn, wasn't it? Would have been easier if you had paid attention to the last black man that got executed. The last woman who was raped. The last trans person who was ruthlessly beaten. Or raped or killed. Take your fucking pick. They get a whole host of it, right? I don't have much sympathy here. I really don't. At the end of the day. Why do you... Why is your police department receiving 40% of your city's budget? Stand back, citizen. We must defend your child's killer. I heard that's what the Second Amendment's for, but what do I do? Know? What do I know? Says Walata. Right? Che, from the houses to the streets, we say, hey. Oh, I. Uh, I fucking, I'm not going to try. Um, I mean, ain't that whole point of the good guy with a gun beat bad guy with a gun? Yes, exactly. I. I. I I have criticism for the parents. Um, it was John Crawford the third for me. I just had to look up which one he was. General Strike, welcome. Um, he was the dude in a store holding a BB gun. Um, a lot of or all three. If it's a BIPOC trans woman, there you go. Fair enough. Uh, de la uh, de la polite uh, lit say polite All right, de la polite Yiddish for fuck the police. Ah, yeah, I don't speak Yiddish. Uh, modicum, you know, the same amount that's filtered into the American lexicon. The on-site commander must f come forward and explain the protocol. The on-site commander needs to apologize profusely and walk into the sea. The on-site commander should, like, commit seppuku. Like, for real. What, what's, what redemption? What redemption exists for him? 
what redemption exists for that on-site commander. Every The on-site commander and every single officer on scene should walk to an ocean, strip themselves of their uniforms, and walk into the sea, never to be seen again. There's your redemption. Go feed the fish. Full Virginia Wolf style with rocks in the pockets. Yeah. What, what, what redemption exists for them? You stood by like a coward while children screamed and died. Die. I have nothing for you. Like the only redemption that exists for you is in death. This is, this is, there's no, there's no hope for you. You are an actor, an agent who maintain a monopolization of force as, as granted by the state. You actively stopped parents from saving their children and allowed those children to suffer and die at the hands of a mass shooter while you stood by and had coffee. Walk into the ocean, man. I wouldn't be able to live with it. I wouldn't be able to live with it. Holy shit. Are you kidding me? If I were one of those cops, I'd write, I'd, I'd, I'd publish an apology and, and I just walk into the ocean. I'd be like, there's nothing I can ever do to make this up to you. I will never be a complete human being again. I will forever be broken and live with this. And I can't. I, I, I apologize to everyone and everything and all of humanity who I have violated in this with my horrible cowardice. The best thing I can do for you humans is to at least alleviate this little bit of suffering. Yeah, like I, I, I just peace out. Like what, 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 what do you want to hear from those cops? What do you want to hear from those cops? There's nothing they, any of them can say that I, I would want to hear, especially if you're one of those parents. Just go walk into the ocean. Nobody wants to ever hear from you again. The more the system caters to you, the less likely uh, you'll be anything other than conservative and liberal. They bring a great dishonor upon us. They do. They do. Uh, On-site commander should be relieved of duties. <laughs> yeah, let's go with that. Uh, I wouldn't be able to work in the same building as them motherfuckers. No, Zippy, you're right. Like, if you worked in the same building, you'd... You, you'd be tempted every day. You'd be tempted every day. Every day. You'd see that motherfucker walking in. You'd be like, hmm. If they had the spine for that, they would have just went into the school. <laughs> You're right. They're cowards. They're cowards. They don't have what it takes to walk into the ocean. You're right, Beast. They're pieces of shit, cowardly. They're just garbage. They're garbage. But they're, I mean, you know, we said that already. They're cops. That's, cops are garbage. Sorry. Yeah, fuck these people. I Like I said, though, I think there's a fair criticism, criticism to be levied at the parents. And nobody wants to hear that yet. Nobody's ready for that. I, I'm staking my claim. I staked it last night. I said, I'm going to be the first person you hear, maybe the only one in all of this, to, to criticize the parents. What happened? What happened? Like, I, I couldn't imagine. But that's me. I'm an anarchist, right? Like, I already hate cops. I'm already on team. Fuck those guys. Right? So if I rolled up and they said, you can't go in here, sir, and I hear fucking screaming and gunshots in the background, I'd be like, oh, okay, and I'd fucking go the other direction and try and find another ingress point. It's just what is what it is. Like, I would have tried to, I would have at least tried, not stood there weeping while the cops did nothing. Right? Like, I, I fuck that. It's astounding that they just stood there and did nothing. Like, a couple of them tried. A couple of them tried. Credit records do. Somebody got pepper sprayed. Somebody got tased. Somebody got handcuffed. Um, but, frankly, if that group of parents should have handled business right then and there. When the cops pepper sprayed, tased, and handcuffed parents for trying to save their children while they stood by and did nothing, that's when the Second Amendment should have come into play. Yeah, that's when the Second Amendment should have come into play. 
fine. If you're not going to do anything, that's fine. We already, we've already ruled Supreme Court decisions. They have no duty of service to the public. By the way, the Supreme Court did rule the duty of service. Yes, Viva, one of the cops got his own child out. The duty of service exists to the state, not the, uh, not the public. The Supreme Court ruled on that. That's one of the handful of decisions involving police in this country. The police have a duty, but not to you, to the state. They have no duty of care to you. Okay? So, fine. You guys have no duty of service to us or our children. They have no requirement after the Parkland shooting. They're not required to fucking go in. They have no, like, that... Fine, 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 fine. But you are actively preventing me from attempting to rescue my child. And now we have an issue. Now we have an issue. Uh, Texas, again, you disappoint. Texas is supposed to be the bastion of the Second Amendment. Not only were more lives lost because of them, but now crazy people are going to be less scared to do it. Yeah, crazy. The whole thing is astoundingly shit show. Uh, holy shit, fantastic point. The Second Amendment was made for situations like Olvadi. Yes. Where were they? Where were the gun guys? Where are the gun guys in the face of this? Where is the NRA to stand up and say, this is what we're talking about? Nobody says shit. Crickets. Primarily, the NRA isn't going to say shit because it's an 87 or 89% um, um, Hispanic area. <laughs> So brown people, the NRA doesn't care. They're racists. The NRA is a bunch of racist, racist old white guys. We know that. So brown people died. They're not going to give a shit. But the parents could have formed a militia and entered the school. Yeah. Like, I, I don't understand where the gun people are on this one. Because they're, they're immediately got, they immediately got put on the back foot by like AR-15 discussion and shit. The discussion should be... NRA standing with the cops. Of course they are. They're a bunch of fucking bootlicking racist old white guys who are beholden to the fucking Russian interests at this point. It's pathetic. The NRA should just be old yellered at this point. Jesus Christ. The discussion should have been okay. Fine. You don't want to do anything. You're useless. I'm going to go get my kid. This whole thing is like a quintessential case against police. Rev, I've already stated multiple times, I stated it last night, I truly want to send a, a, a gift basket to the um, the police department of Ilvade on behalf of anarchists. They did more in a single incident for our case than we did in 200 years. I'm not kidding you. I'm not fucking around here. The Olvade Police Department has done more to further the cause of anarchist and anti-police and abolishment of police and restriction and modification and re reordering of policing in the community than we have ever done in one incident. I want to send these motherfuckers a gift basket. Like, thanks. Thanks for doing all the heavy lifting for us. Thanks for doing all the heavy lifting. Yeah, it's great. Caboose because it finally affected the normies. Oh, a lot of, oh, a lot of, you don't know about the, uh, the R NRA Russian ties? Holy shit, they were infiltrated by an actual Russian asset. It's insane. Uh, Maria, what was that, what was that chick's name? Maria fucking something or other? Here we go. The red-headed Russian. She's a literal asset of the state. Like, convicted by the U.S. even. Like, she's a real Russian spy. She infiltrated the NRA, fucking funneled money through them. It's a whole fucking thing. Yeah, the NRA is literally beholden to Russian assets. Maria Butina. That's what it is. Her name is Maria Butina. Uh, Maria... Yeah, whatever, Marcus. I don't give a shit about her her middle name. Either way, that's Maria Butina. Marcus with the full name is, I was like, it's Butina, whatever the fuck name, her name is. Could they make her any more of a stereotype of a Russian agent? Uh, probably not, actually. So, yeah, fuck the NRA. But, I mean, that's the conversation that we should be having is this is what statism does to your brain. Statism is so fucked up that while your child 
is screaming in the background and gunshots are going off. If a s agent for the state tells you to just stay put and do nothing while they actively do nothing and let children suffer and die. So, some of them bled to death. You know that, right? Like n n not, not all of those gunshots were instant kills. Some of those children, those small elementary school age children were shot and exsanguinated on the floor begging for their parents and then lights out that happened in the background while those parents stood by impotent because the state told them to you know what i'm good yeah for over 70 minutes yeah i'm good I, this is, this is a rough, I told you so, but this is still an anarchist. I told you so like, what do you, what do you want? Like, this is what your brain on statism looks like. Marcus, she was elected to the Russian legislature as a member of Putin's party in 2021, only two years after she served her sentence and was deported. There you go. Yeah. Literal Russian asset. Um, yeah, I, 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 if this is what your brain looks like on state, yeah, I'm good. I'm, I'm perfectly happy. My position as an anarchist and an anti-statist because, I mean, Jesus fucking Christ. I don't have kids, but man, like this is this is the conversation y'all be having as to whether or not I should just stand by and let my child bleed to death because a fucking pig said so. Rev, yeah, if my kids had been in there, God himself couldn't have kept me out of the building without knocking me out or worse. Yeah, like, I don't, I don't get it. I don't, I legitimately don't get it. Like, there's no part of me that gets it. Like, isn't this, like, isn't this what parental instinct is supposed to be about? Isn't this the, that whole mama bear shit where, like, you know, you get in their fucking, a parent's way when their child's in danger and you may just die. Because that's, they're operating on a whole other biological instinctual level at that point. My kid isn't even three. I would stand there for about 15 seconds figuring out if I want to sneak in or just rush it. Fuck the parents who stood by. Yeah, Aspen. A crimson, yeah, I don't know. I would have gone in there for a good friend, let alone my clone that I theoretically don't hate. <laughs> Crimson. Yeah, I, I, I do not, I truly don't get it. And yeah, I started levying that critique last night. I gave it to AJ as well because he's a practicing stand-up. Impossible politics, AJ. Um, he's a he's a stand-up. Like I say, practicing stand-up, like a practicing Catholic. That's how I that's how I word. You know, he's a stand-up. Um, and I gave him the 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 material. I'm like, dude, there's a joke in there somewhere. There's like a really fucked up dark joke in there somewhere. So I gave it to AJ last night. Like, run with it, man, because uh, he does fucked up jokes like that. But at this point, like, I legitimately think I'm the first guy to stand up, especially on a stream and be like, what's up with the parents? I'm planting my flag firmly. Like, I'm going to be the first one there again. Like, what the fuck? You stood by for 77 minutes with kids screaming and gunshots in the background? Dude, if I lived around the corner, if I lived in that town, I'd have gone home, gotten armed and come back. And I wouldn't have gone up to the cops. I would have just avoided them entirely. I'd be like, different point of ingress. We're going to do this. Let's do this. Let's do this. We're doing this. Yeah, 100%. Rev, like seriously, even without my kids being in there, I'd, <laughs> if I had been there, I think I would have tried anyways. Uh, Viva, my sister hit someone with a shovel for pushing her kid. Yeah. Uh, what's up, Deirdre? Deirdre, me too. Um, fucking like, I do not understand this. This is, this is what the state does to your brain. Apparently this is, this is what it looks like inside a statist brain is, Ooh, authority. Authority says, stand down, stand down. Like I, I, I'm so glad that I don't have that, that programming in me that like, you know, it may cause problems in a whole lot of other ways. It's no arguing with that. Society doesn't make it easy to go along with if you're, you know, you're one of those. But I'm so glad to be one of those and not have that programming. 
because at least I know if I were standing there and children were screaming and gunshots were happening, I wouldn't just listen to cops. Right? Fucking. Dude, my mom is half of why I'm depressed, but she's a school teacher. I can't imagine letting some sick fuck massacre her because the police said stay still. I, I, it's shocking to me that people just stood by. That's literally what the Second Amendment's about. That's a totalitarian state that is uh, sacrificing your children. Put them down. Do what you gotta do. Get in there. Save your kids. The cops did nothing. They did... They The cops did less than nothing. They actively stopped people. I'm a grandmother. No power on earth would convince me to hold back in any way. <laughs> sure, sure. That's, I, this is, again... The cops didn't just do nothing, right? Go in. Who would convict? Exactly. Like, yeah, exactly. Who the fuck would convict that? I, the cops didn't just do nothing. They tased, pepper sprayed, and handcuffed parents. So not only are the cops useless, they actively harmed. Cool. The, the cops were like the shooter's offensive line. They were. Uh, fire tangentially as those in power continue to do nothing. At what point are the rest of us in America also complicit as we sit by by doing nothing ourselves to change this shit? Uh, they clearly don't give a shit about any of us. These brutally corrupted politicians running our government relentlessly fail to do anything to keep us safe and safe, uh, safe again and again. Fire. I've said since the beginning of this project, whatever this is, I'll see you in the streets. If you want to meet in the streets, I'll see you in the streets. They should be charged with accessory. Uh, fuck it, mess with Texas. I know, right? You know the Don't Mess With Texas was started as an um, a anti-littering campaign, right? That's all it's about. Don't Mess With Texas is an anti-littering campaign. Yeah, it's true. Um, <laughs> nonsense. I love that. The cops were like the shooter's offensive line. Um, I'm so glad that growing up, my parents told me to grab my sisters and dip if there was ever a school shooting. The only time of school, I, uh, a time of school I went to, uh, told me to fight or run or don't hide was my last year of high school. A little too late in my opinion. Fair, fair enough. Littering is bad, but you have to admit, Glazy, it's hilarious that the entirety of the don't mess with Texas nonsense sorry nonsense but the entirety of the don't mess with texas rhetoric is born of an anti-littering campaign to try and convince those idiots to stop throwing styrofoam McDonald mcdonald's containers on the side of their own roads this is why dude this is why i feel an element an air of superiority as a vermonter <laughs> like you don't we didn't need in a campaign to tell us to stop like to not throw like styrofoam fucking my mcdonald's containers on the side of our roads we have act 250 we didn't want smokestacks or billboards or um walmart in our state to start with right like why do i have to convince you to like not shit in the corner of your room, right? Like if I have to run an ad campaign to like convince you to stop shitting in the corner of your room, what does that tell me about you, right? Kai's homeland is certainly Vermont. Oh yeah, Wither, I'm a Vermonter, not an American. I'm not an American. I, I'm, I'm culturally American in many ways, but I'm a Vermonter. I don't belong to this country. I belong to my home state, Vermont. It formed and shaped my thought process, right? Like there's certain things you just don't fuck with. So it's pro commie propaganda then, <laughs> it is. <laughs> it is. Uh, then that makes the white supremacist terrorists their quarterback. That's two on the nose. Yeah. So the offensive line was the police department. The quarterback was the, well, he wasn't a white supremacist te terrorist, was he? Zippy? He was just some fucked up kid. I don't even know if he's white. Is the fucking shooter in Alvade white? I don't even know that. Um, statism is very strong, I agree. But to be fair, I'd probably freeze and cry at the best in that moment. And then add many layers. 
in statism. On the other side, I'm not a cop or a parent. See, well, a lot of it's the parent thing that I think triggers a lot of that shit. I'll give the cops this. I could understand some level of crowd control if officers were inside. They didn't want to be one panicked civilians confusing the situation inside, but certainly not taser pepper spray. Yeah, Marcus, except there were no cops inside, huh? And the cops just held people at bay for 77 minutes while the shooter ran out of ammunition, basically. Um, yeah, they turned an anti-littering campaign into a pathetic macho flex. Exactly. And hey there, Carpe. Um, <clears throat> littering didn't used to be a problem here until they closed off the dumps to out-of-towners. Now only locals can throw their trash away and suddenly we have litter everywhere. Shocking, Caboose. Uh, Zippy, that's how I feel about New Mexico. Exactly. Cascadia, it shall be, says Kaiser. <laughs> It's more than just statism. We're taught as kids to remain passive in the face of abuse. Ever have a bully you punched after telling them the tea? But all of that is done in the service of statism, me too. Because all of that is done to further hier further the hierarchical authoritarianism, right? Like all of that is all of that is done in service of state. Because if we teach them to question authority, if we teach them to uh, subvert hierarchies, then that undermines the state. That have undermines the authoritarian power structure. I think all of that is statism, me toad. All of that that you iterated about, like, how we're taught to remain passive, even in the face of bullies and that sort of thing, is all just propagandization. That's that's programming that we're we're handed, we're pumped that's pumped into our heads from a very young age. Um that's why conservatives are kind of fear mongering about immigration. No, he's not right. So he's an alt right terrorist. Yeah, I'm like, wait, it's he's. I'm like, I didn't think he was white. Happy day one of the monkey box month. Okay. Um. Oh, I see what you're you're attempting to do there, Master Beta. Which oh, aren't you one of our our problem children? I don't remember any of you people. Like not not the not the regulars. I mean the problem children. Trolls and that sort of like, I don't really think about. Oh, yes, Mastabeta. Mastabeta was the one who asked if we get robbed in real life, who am I calling a community counselor? Oh, yes. Mastabeta is the one who tried to attack my hairline, who tried to attack uh, my physical being, who tried to attack uh, what we would do if fucking cops, if we didn't, if we don't want to call the cops. Um, also anti-LGBT, um, claims to be a Jew, by the way, fucking, uh, claims to be a lot of things. Um, <laughs> also, yes, um, he was the, also the one who said, uh, says those with no police training sitting and acting like experts, not understanding the degree of firearms expertise that I, uh, <clears throat> contain within this brain and I suppose muscle memory too. Oh, how do you feel about Florida? It's how I feel about Florida. Says Glazy and with us. And how do you feel about Florida? Florida actually is a really nice place, and like it, it's a nice place. I like Florida. I just hate Floridians. That's all. Um, the authority goes hand in hand with the capitalism. We're conditioned to accept an amazing amount of social control. That we are, Carpe. That we are. <laughs> uh, my dad straight up told me to fight bullies, take the punishment, and he'd throw me a pizza party. Good man. Um, Monkeypox comes from the gorilla NFTs. Typical status, says Carpe. Eh. Humidity hates me. <laughs> Viva Jew, can I play with him? <laughs> Glazy just wow. Dude, f people Glazy. 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 I'll 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 offer you a, a um an olive branch. I love California. The problem with California is Californians. Right? Like that's, dude, California is one of the, some of the, the best land in the world. Caboose, who is a Californian. This is true. Cal California is one of the best stretches of land in the entirety of the world. Southern California is perfect. It's perfect. But it has been completely and utterly fucked up by Californians. So it just is what it is, man.
Cal, true, Taru says Carpe. Cal is, uh, Cali is full, full of neoliberal nimbies. Californian beaches are fucking amazing, says Caboose, and they are. <laughs> Peaky. Same with Earth and humans. Fair enough. Uh, some pretty spaces in Texas, but then Texans, Zippy says. Um... Uh, the reason Florida is in Southern is because it's a retirement home for Yankees, basically. Uh, especially Santa Cruz. Um, yes, you are, Glazy. It depends. Glazy, Glazy, Glazy. You're still a baby. But how many years ago did you move from New Jersey to Florida? Like, how long have you been a Floridian? Like, are you a Floridian? Like, have you spent most of your life there? Did you move there when you were like four? Eight years? I mean, you spent your teen years there. Okay, so you moved there in like 12. So I get it. You've grown up. You've grown up in Florida. So for most part, you are a Floridian more than you are a New Jerseyite. New Jerseyan. Um, for sure. You, you are more Florida than you are New Jersey. Yeah. Yeah, especially those years. Those are your developmental years. For sure, you're more Floridian than New Jersey. Um, but you are technically a Yankee. So you are technically a Yankee, but you're a Floridian. Uh, two of my si siblings are total neolib nimbies. Oh, Carpe, I'm sorry. Fire, I'm born and raised here in Florida. I don't know how it turned out, uh, how I didn't turn out like the chuds in most of my family. Fire, because you're one of the good ones. <laughs> At the same time, Northern immigrants like Glazy or why the South doesn't, it cl doesn't claim Florida. It is. Oh, Jesus Christ. Um, yeah, you're technically a Yankee, Glazy. You'll never live that one down. Just like um, you will never be a Vermonter if you move to Vermont. You're a Flatlander. You're not from Vermont. You're a Flatlander. Even if you there's mountains where you come from, you're a Flatlander. You're not from Vermont. So, like, that's just, it, it's just a part of it. Yeah. Jersey, doesn't that make Glazy a pseudo-Italian? In fact, he's like Sicilian or some shit, Viva. Oh, God, there's Southern Florida and Northern Florida, of course, just like Southern SoCal and NorCal. Yeah, Caboose. Uh, Nor Northern Florida is just meth head redneck fucking trailer park. Southern Florida is gays and Jews. Yeah. You're from the slums of Newark. Mm, Bernie, though. We adopted him. We adopted him. Oh, God. So just like California. Yeah, pretty much. Coming from the Rockies in Vermonters, call them, uh, call them Flatlanders. Yeah, basically. Yeah, it, it's just, it's an out-of-stater. Are Nepalese people also Flatlanders? They're not Vermonters. Um... Okay. <sighs> I've tried to the best of I've tried to the best of my ability to no avail to get through to my family, but the goddamn conditioning and propaganda is so deeply set in. Yeah. There's NorCal, SoCal, Central Coast, and Central Valley. Uh, says Carpe, weighing in on the California discourse. Um, Carpe for in California, yes. For out for outside the uh, California, uh, for outside California. NorCal versus SoCal. That's all any of us know. I still say NorCal is best Cal, but that's if you've got a bit of property. I I, I think there's a sweet spot, like right, probably like what Central Coast Carpe is what I'm thinking, where like you're not complete fucking um, like LA beaches and Malibu and that sort of thing. Um, hey Alex, um, and NorCal has like the the trees and the mountains and the the greenery, right? Like, is that is that like central? Um, is that like Central Coast where it sort of sort of merges? How y'all doing? Pat the Bunny said he'd rather live in beautiful chaos than ugly perfection. What does that mean? I like living around crazy people. You'd have to ask him specifically what he, what he means by that. I'm not going to interpret it in artist's words, but I can tell you what it means to me. Um, a, a beautiful chaos is that there's, there's value judgments to be made over uh, a system. 
and that I would I would rather have things untidy and out of ordered as long as it meets the value and aesthetic appeals that I'm looking for rather than have some level of ugly perfection. And the argument to be made over this would probably be something like um, <sighs> land ships dotted around the landscape randomly where if you don't know what a land ship is i'll show you um versus uh like kami block housing in perfect rigid order or earth ships not land ships uh earth ships sorry um here's some earth ships Oh, so what'd you get up to, Alex? How was your how was your stream? Y'all do that. Y'all okay? They're all they're, dude, they're gorgeous inside. Here's um here's here's one of my favorites. Just a gorgeous, gorgeous place. Yeah, no, they yeah, they're naturally cool. They're fucking dude, they're they're always uh you get an interior. Dude, their interiors are always amazing. Here's like here's an interior. Earthships is such a pretentious name for those style houses. I don't disagree. You want you want me to take anything seriously? Stop calling it the manosphere. Whoever came up with the term manosphere did the entire idea a disservice, and I will never take any critique seriously as long as you come at me with manosphere. I I'm a, I'm immediately thinking of like manos, hands of fate, and shit. It's the dumbest name. It's the silliest name. It's like naming rape. Silly bum bum fun, silly bum dum bum time. It, it completely undermines the whole point. It is the dumbest goddamn name anybody have has called anything in a long time. Yeah, yeah. Don't ever use the term manosphere. It it does anybody who's attempting to dissect that that avenue a complete disservice. I immediately laugh at you when you say it. What, what 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 cyberpunk pictures, Glazy? What cyberpunk pictures? I always, I immediately think MRA shit like the Meninists. Uh, I also think they look lonely. Does nobody uh, want to ship the airships? Oh Jesus! Do the anarchists call the cops when they're robbed? Why would we? They don't do anything. They legitimately don't do. They don't do anything. And we have their question. We have a question in return to you. Why would I do it? Why would I call them? What do they do? Sincerely, what is the function of calling the cops? They'll show up, shoot your dog, take some, because consequences need to be served of what to who? Exactly. Bill Mastergates. Yeah, you better off calling your insurance company. Oh, 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 sweetheart, Pookie. 
do, do you know what the, the clearance rate is for stuff like that? One in four. One in four. One in four cases of robbery better than zero. 2% of overall crimes, yeah. One in four for robbery. Uh, by the way, civil asset forfeiture, you know, robbery by cops, accounts for more than all of the types of theft that is conducted by criminals combined. I'm inviting someone into my house that may be vic who may victimize me. I'm inviting someone into my house that may execute my pets. I'm inviting someone into my neighborhood who may criminalize my neighbors. I'm inviting somebody into my neighbor uh, neighborhood. Uh, <laughs> um, 28.8 is actually the, the, the national Grinsung. If you go to certain locales, it's much lower. That's a national average. If you go to play uh, certain places, the number fucking plummets. It just sort of depends on where you are. That's a national average. Because every cop is a predator. I don't even have a dog. They kill... They kill... How many dogs a day? Do we know how many dogs? In this country? Because it's a stupid number. It's stupid high. 25 dogs each day, every 98 minutes. Every 98 minutes, cops kill a dog in this country. Ah, uh, thank you, Zippy. But and Jesus, good name. Um, it could be higher now. The Puppy Side Database Project lists at 25 dogs every day. So, take it for what it's worth. Ackerman official. I grew up in the firearms training industry. My mom was tapped for Olympic shooting. My stepfather has an FFL, grew up with an ATF, who, a man who would become the uh, bureau regional, a regional bureau chief northeast for the ATF. I've had tours of lockup facilities. We owned multiple uh, training facilities and ranges. I've trained with the likes of Ignacio P Piazza and uh, fucking SEALs. Uh, I've fucking done uh, running guns with fucking army rangers before. You know what, uh, what I've learned over a lifetime of firearms training? Um, and, uh, and basically extra, uh, just various, uh, firearms exercises is that cops are some of the worst trained, worst handling firearms, uh, owners in the world. I would take a 10 year old African child soldier 10 times out of 10 when it came to handling a firearm, trigger discipline, and general knowledge and use of that firearm over any American cop. Okay, so knowing this about the police, they can go fuck themselves. Knowing what I know about them. My stepdad was a judge as well, by the way. So I've, I've seen law enforcement from the other side of the bench for a good chunk of my life. You're not speaking to just some schmuck. I'm not just an angsty teenager who doesn't like authority. I have philosophical ideological and functional critiques of a intentionally mal uh, uh, an intentionally malfunctioning system that perpetrates ma regular malfeasances upon the populace in an effort to disarm, maintain the status quo, and ultimately undermine the labor and uh, uh, labor movement and people of color. The police in this nation are born of anti-labor, big business practices, and slave patrols in an unbroken thread that goes from that era to this. We have legalized, codified constitutional slavery as, uh, as evidenced by the 13th Amendment. Fuck this system. Fuck cops. Fuck anybody who takes that oath. They are functionally useless to, uh, to us. All they do is show up, shoot your fucking dog, steal some cash from your fucking car, and then fuck off. They're useless. They cause more harm than good. 
And New York has a sociological study. Psychologists and sociologists moved into New York after the NYPD went on strike a few years ago. When they went on strike, what they found is that crime went down. Not reports of crime, crime. Sociologists and psychologists studied New York when the cops went on strike. They found crime went down. Not reports of crime here. Not reports. Actual levels of crime. The police increase the rate. Broken windows policing. For anybody who wants to know the knock-on effect, it's broken windows policing. Of course it's broken windows policing. It's always broken windows policing. Fucking idiots. Yes, they're functionally useless in the best of times, and at the worst of times, they actively do harm. So, why would I call the police? Yeah, useless is <laughs> useless are the good days. A la Ulvade. They're better replaced by uh One little broken window and the cops show up to break all the rest of them just to even things out. Um, fucking, <laughs> I'm going to go with that. Um, we'd be better off instituting community, uh, pol uh, community methodologies such as, um, the star program in Denver, the, um, oh God, beast you're here, uh, cahoots in Oregon. Uh, it's the name. Cahoots is so fucking weird. Cahoots in Oregon um, and whatever the name for the one Minneapolis is rolling out at present since George uh, George Floyd. We'll see what their results are. As far as the start, uh, Cahoots in Oregon has been going for like 30 years and they have amazing uh, re uh, records for it. Um, star program in Denver has um, uh, one year of data now. In that one year, thousands of calls they've answered. They've not once had to call the police for backup. Violence, drug, mental illness, not once has the community intervention program that is the STAR program in Denver required to call the police because they couldn't handle the situation and they needed somebody to go bang, bang, bang for them. Cops are fucking useless at the best of times. At the worst of times, they, they execute you. They execute a fucking black kid all the time. All the time. Fucking, they take white mass shooters alive regularly, but a fucking little kid shows up. A little black kid with a fucking yellow, orange tip fucking plastic gun. And you know what? Fucking two seconds later, he's dropped dead because fuck that. I feared for my life. Yes, you feared for your life from the little 12-year-old black boy. But, you know, the white dude who was strapped to the fucking teeth with body armor, multiple firearms, who just put a fucking building's worth of people down, that guy you took alive. Go fuck yourself. Shout out to Cahoots Portland has also started the Portland Street Response Program with a very high success rate, says Lefty. Hey, Lefty. Uh, four officers, no weapons, no charges. A Yukon First Nation solution for keeping the peace. Hey, somebody show that to the idiot. Fucking, yeah, my mom had to call Cahoots when some homeless dude uh, was drugged out at her store. I thought my gun was a taser. Sorry. Cahoots is good people. I'm not saying there shouldn't be a shakeup in the police departments. If by shakeup, you mean shake them like a fucking newborn. Fine. I'm okay with that level of a shakeup. Shake the baby. But if you mean a shakeup like, oh, we're going to increase their budget and do some training. I've, I've met Dave Grossman. Okay. Fucking, I've met the police trainers. I've been there for the police training courses. You can fuck off with that shit. Fucking, all that does is teach them to be more fearful and pull the trigger faster. Fuck them. Is there, here's my question. Here's my question. Can you be an innocent member of the mafia? Can you be an innocent member of the Bloods or the Crips? Can you be an innocent member of La Costa, Nost uh, La Costa Nostro? Can you be an, in an innocent member of the triads? A hundred percent carpe. Grossman's a fucking problem. 
I would argue that probably not. So my argument would extend over to, yeah, fucking LASD. Yeah, the Los Angeles Sheriff's Department gangs. How many dozen are they up to now? 45, something like that? How many fucking gangs does the Los Angeles Sheriff's Department uh, have? Not every society and not across all of history. You're wrong, Ackerman. Not always. You just didn't learn about them. Did we always have police? Do you know the difference between a police a police department and, say, a sheriff's department? Uh... God, he's fucking retarded. All right, got it. 18 last you checked. Jesus Christ, we're up to 18 gangs in the Los, a Los Angeles Sheriff's Department. Uh, not always. Back when the dinos roamed the lands, we didn't. Policing in America, for those of you that want the history of policing in America, I have a fucking YouTube video. I have a, uh, a fucking uh, 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 an essay on, on my website, The Origins of and Problems with Modern Policing. Okay? I've done this rigmarole so many fucking times for people. At the end of the day, modern metropolitan policing is not that old. It's recent in human history. It is. The concept that you are familiar with is an exportation from the Metropolitan Police Force of London. I like the name Banditos. It is a good name, Glazy, isn't it? Banditos. Uh, Car Carpe, I'd argue it's less than that, but... I, I look at it. I look at the handover from mercantilism to capitalism. Like I make a distinction. Like I pre, pretty much everything from mercantilism back, I count as non-capitalist. And then I uh, I look at the transitionary state from capitalism to uh, I'm sorry from mercantilism to capitalism in North America, especially. But the euro sorry euro sector, right? The the colonial sector. Um. Founding documents of the U.S. were against this form of policing, but I guess founding fathers were dummies. We also didn't allow corporations in anywhere near the same way we used to because, again, the founding fathers had to deal with the British East India Company and they realized what insanity corporations would get up to if you left them unchecked. The banditos live nearby. Bikers, they're cool. I think the name the executioners for sheriffs is pretty accurate. Yeah, the mercantilists loan the states into debt. Dude, uh, Carpe, the, 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 the study of like mercantilism into uh, capitalism is amazing. Um, fucking the amount of statist intervention that was done on behalf of the capitalists is mind boggling. <laughs> like we don't need the state. You exist only because of the state. There is no capitalism without a state. It's a fucking, it's astounding. I'm going to go off on an ANCAP rant. <laughs> Tomorrow would have been the 22nd birthday of a kid from my area who was shot dead by a cop within three seconds of the pig saying hands up to him while he was playing with a toy gun in his own front yard. He was 13. May he rest in peace, A cab. His murderer was given a huge promotion three years later. I fucking hate it here. Fucking fuck. In the East, East India Trading Company, anyone? Uh, yep. A regular vid I'll watch this but again I'm I'm pretty sure this is not I suppose I suppose he fucking I would get very semantic with this guy very quickly Oh, 
like that he calls it law enforcement, though. It's not police. That's not the history of policing. That's not the history of policing. There's That's law enforcement. There's a difference between police and law enforcement, and there's a very important semantical distinction to be made between the two. Modern policing and law enforcement are not necessarily the same thing. Yeah, there's quite a few. Do you want? Do you want any? And like, where? You're of course you're U.S. Um, you, I was presume you want some in the U.S. Go, uh, go to Detroit, um, Trumbleplex, central, si central country. Fucking, but Trumbleplex in Detroit would probably give you the best, uh, best example that's accessible to somebody like you that they might let in and talk to. Um, they they survived the downturn and crumbling of Detroit just fine. Because they're not a capitalist modality. They interacted in the interface just fine. They have their own internet. They have their own library, their own performance spaces, their own residences. Um, yeah. There's plenty. And that's just the Wikipedia page. You know what? I can tell you probably off the top of my head... Yeah, they're missing a bunch. They're missing a bunch. This isn't even close to being complete. Yeah, the Wikipedia is uh, Wikipedia page isn't even close to being complete. Wither, no, I don't have time to fix everybody's anarchist problems in the world. I have enough fucking time, to, uh, barely, I don't even have enough time to run my own fucking community to the fullest extent. I don't have time to be a Wikipedia editor. Some of you fucking young ones who have like ungodly amounts of time on your hands, do something. But no, I don't have time to fucking fix a Wikipedia page too. Um, hey Red. Wow, a Portland activist just tweeted a list of Elvade uh, employees, cops, including cops and their salaries. Part of the resilience of anarchism is that we don't need territory to operate. Um, yeah, I, 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 I can't be fixing fucking Wikipedia pages crew now. That's, yeah. I, I, again. Let's see. Oh, I got an auth tracker for this. A uh, 23-year-old white Hispanic who says he's never had problems with cops. Interesting summary. Holy shit, Caboose. That's a great fucking weight gym so far. Like, that's, dude, that's coming along, Caboose. Yeah, Caboose, I'd kill for that gym for fucking that price point. Yeah. That's a good gig, Caboose. Um, can you fix my vegetable soup? There's a hierarchy of flavor. I want every vegetable to be tasted equally. Of course you don't understand how they operate. You can't comprehend a community without police. You're, you're, you're miles, probably a continent away from understanding how anarchists operate. If you can't understand the subset of how anarchists operate. Good luck. The best thing I tell you is go fucking experience it. Yeah, Caboose, that looks good. It looks like a really good gym. Then try accepting our answers and try opening your mind, dummy. No, we're not all off the grid. Some are, some aren't. See, here's what you need to understand. Anarchists are not a monolith. I don't speak for all, for all anarchists. In fact, the fundamental foundational concept of anarchism is individual autonomy. You know, a right to your own actions, a right to self-govern. So, in the words of Emma Goldman, 
There is no perfect expression or utopia of anarchism. It's a network of ideas, and we much prefer it that way. A right to collectivize, a union of egoists, it doesn't matter how you phrase it, right, Carpe? But at the end, it starts with understanding that the individual has autonomy over such things as statists, such things as collectivism, such things as authoritarianism. That's how you build things. You don't build things by merging all bricks into one brick and then setting them down in a single unit. That's not how things get constructed. You use pieces, you use components, you use building blocks. And from there, you construct something larger. And if you're talking in the condition of society or culture, then the individual unit is the individual human. And so when a group of anarchists get together, they use various, uh, various decision-making processes. Consensus decision-making is one of our favorite processes. Consensus decision-making allows for even the most marginalized voice to have a complete veto over a process, thus ensuring that even the most outsider, edge runner, marginalized person within a community can be represented. It's far more egalitarian. It's far more equitable. We also are not fans of formalized laws, police, judges, militaries. And in fact, areas such as the anarchistic Republic of Kospia lasted for 375 years without judges, without police, without an army. They went up against the papal states. They went, they went up against the fuck, uh, they went up, uh, oh God, there we go. We went, uh, they went up against the Duke of Tuscany. They went up against royalty and the Pope for 375 fucking years. They held them at bay and became successful doing it. <laughs> Turning the frogs. Yay. Thanks for the follow. Oh, did I never, hold on. I never, uh, uh re-enabled my alerts. Literally doesn't understand the difference between democracy and consensus decision making. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. See, this is why I didn't bother trying to explain anything to you, but. Oh, look at Johnny three tear, uh, tear scene or tears scene fucking drop trying to sneak in the, uh, the fucking. <laughs> Fuck, Car carpe like it, it's it's astounding trying to explain some things to some people um trying to roll in some ontological racism or deontological racism sorry yeah fucking trying to roll in some deontological racism fucking amazing Hey, just watching. Thanks for trying. I appreciate it. I appreciate when somebody tries. Oh, I thought I saw an 88 up there, not a 98. Oh, uh, redact it is deontological, though. You are still deontological, just not racism. What the fuck are you trying to get at? <sighs> Deontology is bullshit. There. Uh... I, 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 dude, it still feels dog whistly. It still feels dog whistly. I, just give me a name. It really does. It really feels dog whistly. Uh... 
let's see. Hang on. Let me go. That one. That's what I wanted. I Carpe, I can't tell fucking shit for shit what it is. Why not both? Fair. Uh, well, Lada, that's the uh, Rojava. That's Rojava. Um, that's the distinction that's being made there. I yeah I've I've oh, also glazy what <laughs> yeah fucking me to lol what there we go <laughs> um yeah so again I don't know why anybody would call the cops frankly Especially if you have access to a community service. I, dude, just give me an M. I'm not entirely sure. I'm not entirely sure. Hey there, Karina. Oh, we got bootlickers galore, Karina, but I'm baiting them out. So, we got bootlickers galore that are like, well, I've never had problems with the police before, so clearly problems with the police aren't a problem. Uh, no tying sounds. Okay. Um, what was the last on air argument? I don't fucking know. Dude, Glazy, I don't keep track of that shit. We had a dude on Friday come through, um, that was arguing with, uh, what's his fuck face? Um, I forget who he was arguing with. They raided in and, um, he just wanted to understand some points and Kat and I had a great conversation with it with him while we were playing seven days to die. Um, we talked to him for maybe three hours. Yeah. Uh, definitely not an argument for sure. Cause he was a reasonable individual who had his mind open. Um, yeah, he accepted. He was, he admittedly a uh, redhead from Rob Norstream. Yes. Thank you. Cupcake. Um, yeah, he was a good, a good dude. He, um, yeah, he admitted self-admitted shit lib. Um, he's like, I'm just being a shit lib here, you know. But when we confronted him with the systemic problems, he he acknowledged and accepted that they were, and that you know when we confronted him with how electoralism was already per bought and paid for, he accepted that as well. No, yeah, he he was he was a good dude. Yeah. I get that, Karina. Good on you. Excellent, our first catch of the day. Oh, yeah, it's... Um, <laughs> it's a stupid question, Johnny. I'm going to help you out here. I'm going to help you out. What constitutes a victim? What constitutes a crime? Ask the question that you're asking. Stop trying to wrap it in some clever metaphor or analog that nobody can even perceive what the fucking question is through. The question you're asking is what constitutes criminality? What constitutes victimhood? What actually constitute ha constitutes harm? Ask the question you're asking. You're trying to be clever. And in that attempt to be clever, the entire point of your question is lost. Just gonna help you out, man. That question was fucking stupid. Nobody even knew what the hell you were asking. So ask what you want to ask in the future. You'd be far better off.
I'd say pretentious, not clever. I'm using me too. I'm using clever the same way the um, the British use clever or genius. You know, unjust hierarchy is an answer, says Carpe. Um, necessity versus uh, necessity versus harm. That's the equation. What is the necessity of the action and what is the harm done by the action? Because ultimately there will be actions that are necessary that will harm people. So you can't base it solely on harm. Necessity versus harm. Do I consider hurting somebody's feelings? Uh, um, actual harm is the question. And this is where we would get into some uh, masturbation is necessary and harmless. Checkmate. Yeah, done. Also, masturbation helps reduce prostate cancer levels. It is actually medically necessary, as Carpe said. Regular ejaculation um, by those with, yeah, glazy, unless you're, unless you're getting laid regularly, yes. Um, regular mastur uh, masturbatory sessions are uh, cor correlative to lowered uh, prostate cancer rates. Yeah. Having, having that system cycle itself on a regular basis decreases cancer levels. So, yeah, it's medically necessary to keep that system engaged. Whether it's through regular sex or masturbatory sessions. That's up to you. How is masturbation... Look, Glazy, what is masturbation for you? It's an addiction that harms your social life. It takes five minutes out of your fucking day. What are you doing? You do realize masturbation for most people, Glazy, is Ugh, or Ugh, and they're done. Most people aren't addicted to masturbation. Do you have a problem, Glazy? Because it seems like you have a problem. The rest of us just rub one out and get on with our lives. Like, what the fuck is wrong with you, man? What, what, what fucked up upbringing did this to you? What, what did your mother t like beat you with a Bible saying if you touch yourself, you're a sinner or some shit? Like what fucked you up in the head, man? What you do realize the vast overwhelming majority of humanity masturbates and doesn't have a problem with it, right? Florida, not even once says cat. People can be addicted to eating, but it's still necessary to survive and be healthy. And the majority of humanity does not have problems with eating. Well, other than the ones who capitalism are starving to death, but that's neither here nor there. Hey, buddy retard left. Wait, are we only figuring out that Glacy has an unhealthy connection to sex? No, you don't say. I, I, it... What the fuck, man? Glazy, you do realize that mo Wait, Glazy. 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 Do you have a masturbation addiction problem? <laughs> Let's say that Vosh and Tim Pool are stuck on a small island. Tim Pool quickly begins hoarding all the coconuts. Should Vosh masturbate upon the remaining coconuts? Uh, wait, wait, is Glazy the one with the cum face profile? Glazed. <coughs> no fat. Brought to you by the Cancer Industrial Complex. It did fire. Yeah, it did seem like a, like a self-report. It did seem like a self-report. Glazy. Why do you, Glazy, if you don't have a masturbation addiction problem, why do you think the majority of people do? <laughs> Tech support. Uh, Kat, Glazy, um, okay, so Glazy said that, um, 
masturbation is an addiction and harms your social life. Just outright. Masturbation. And, and we we we're coming off of we're coming off of some idiots that cop stuff. Cat, it can be, but for the majority of humanity, like it isn't. Right? Like food can we've already covered this, cat. Like food can be, but it's necessary for survival and also ma regular masturbation and or regular sex decreases prostate cancer uh, in those that are male-ish, whatever you want to call. Those that have a prostate and blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Like, it, humans can addict to anything. That's not, like, that's not a part of the conversation I don't consider. Human beings can addict to literally anything. Hey, Level. It's a simple health function, says Deirdre. Yeah. Masturbation before going out can actually help you be less tense in social situations. Uh, also, frankly, if we're going down that route, I'd say porn is a bigger societal issue than just cranking one out. Yeah, we, we, were, we, we were just talking masturbation, Cat. We we're just talking, talking masturbation. If you ejaculate over twice a day, that seems unhealthy. Glazy's never gotten laid twice in a day. That's what that tells me. Glazy's never gotten light, laid twice in a day. Cool. <clears throat> womp womp. Yep. I. <laughs> it's zippy. Um, honey. 20, Zippy. 20. 20. Imagine being 20 and having that opinion. Imagine, Zippy, for a moment being 20. Do you know how many I was fucking... How many times... <laughs> it's <a> caboose. <laughs> those rookie numbers. Gotta pump those numbers up. A 20-year-old can fuck like 15 times a day, says Zippy. Yeah. Okay, stream canceled. Glazy intervention time. <laughs> Dude. Some have a high enough libido they can do uh, they can do for an hour more. It's an addiction if it negatively impacts your life. Glazy, there's no explaining it. Glazy embrace modernity. Fuck modernity level. Um... Like, what do you think ancient, like, hunter-gatherers were like? Dude, they were fucking like... F Dude, they were humping like rabbits. Do you know how much downtime hunter-gatherer societies had? Do you know how much fucking people used to do? Pre-HIV, hunter-gatherer societies. Do you have any concept of how much fucking humanities do? Uh, fucking humanities uh, humanity do, did? What's up? Uh, what's up, Jaru? Jar Like, Jesus Christ. My face when I remember people... Wait. My face when I don't... Uh, when I remember people don't orgasm more than once during heterosex. <laughs> oh, cat. Yeah. Oh, crazy. Oh. Oh. Embrace tradition. Embrace modernity. Humans forget that we're animals as himself. Yeah, I know, right? <sighs> the invention of the wheel made it worse. Yeah. I, I, I don't even know where to begin. Like, yeah, just look at the death toll of the last millennium. All fucked into being first. Yeah. I, I can't. Man, that's fucking depressing. Although this is a trend that's ha that's happening, dude. Gen Z is having like thirty percent less sex than the millennials, and the millennials were trending down to start with. Um, Deirdre, it is sad, isn't it? Yeah, dude, this is the days of massive family clans is apparently fake. I guess. I, I, 
bottling all that cum in is what's unhealthy. Dude, you need to just get some clarity. Post-nut clarity is a real thing, man. Post-nut clarity is a real fucking thing. I couldn't imagine being that pent up all the time. Cornflakes. <laughs> time to duck. Cornflakes, anyone? Um, yeah, Bill. Uh, Bill Mastergates, by the way, it's still, it's still a good name. It's still a good name. Japan's population is decreasing because of young people not doing it. Yeah, they've completely... Enter the moan zone, my friend. Trust. How do you think your grandparents got 15 brothers and sisters? <laughs> uh, John Kellogg was right all along. Oh, fucking A. Uh, welcome to the cum zone. Cornflakes were originally eaten with a different white like it. <laughs> uh, I, I just, dude. Yeah. Like, that's that's not... Oh, it's your puppers. Oh, I just saw the Zippy's puppers. Glazy, this is for you. Put this in chat. No, it's the first time. Hey, I don't need to reply to. Um, okay. So, if you want to know what it says, Glazy, the long and short of it is is that uh, men who ejaculate at least 21 times a month lower their prostate cancer risk by a third. <laughs> Himself, I'm gonna go jerk off. Back in five, y'all. Well, it sounds like you have an addiction problem, Glazy. <laughs> Jaru, my risk is down 100%. Oh, yeah. Um, yes, be sure to do it in protest of global warming himself. We established that earlier. You can, you can punch yourself in the dick in protest of police violence. Apparently you can masturbate in favor of the patriarchy or against the patriarchy. Lieber and I both, both established that. The only fact. Um, the Tulsa shooting is the same exact building where my wife had her gynecological visit at and where our baby was birthed 10 months ago. The hospital's like two, min two miles away. Jesus, fact. Uh, why not both? <laughs> Por que no los dos? Masturbation is healthcare. Uh, what about removing the prostate? I only mentioned it because I remember breaking the news of our pregnancy way back when. Yeah, fact, dude, that's fucking <laughs> Medicare for all, masturbation for all. <laughs> Carpe. Uh, that's that's a whole fucking thing. Uh, ejaculation discourse isn't something I'd realize we would be doing. He says, "Cat, well, you know, hey." Uh, with her laboring as a pet control worker, I fear I may gain joint problems and lung cancer in the future. Oof. Uh, wear a mask, Wither. Wear, wear, a, wear a dust mask, at least. N95. Seriously. Just do it. Um, fun fact, if you ejaculated 21 times in a day, your junk will, uh, will hurt. I don't know what my record is. I know some people know their record. I don't know their record. Like, clearly my record is was set during, like, puberty. Right? Like when you're just fucking all the time. Um, just need fucking. Um, but I don't know what my record is. Yeah. I, I, don't, I legitimately don't know. It's going to be higher than five. Um, Aspen. 
So I can only assume that uh, that if you double that number, the rate of cancer will drop again. I'll test this theory for science. Um, himself, copy that. Down with global warming. My seed shall never be sown. Comrade, uh, uh, Karina, 18 is mine during that heat. Jesus Christ, 18. Jesus. Um, I've hit like 14, but that was with chemical assistances. Cat, oh, I didn't even consider chemical assistance. Jesus. Testy, this theory. <laughs> uh... Gla really glazing? <laughs> Fact. Yeah, when I first tried Adderall, I was so focused on fucking. Yeah, no, dude, stimulants. Dude, meth. Yeah. I think when I was a team, my record was 12 before it was too sore to continue, says himself. Yeah. Hey, Puka. We're doing uh, ejaculation discourse. Then you're not straight edge, Glazy. Straight edge is no drinking, no drugs, no smoking, no casual sex. You're not straight edge, Glazy. It's like saying I'm a vegan except I, I eat burgers. I'm, I'm a vegan except chicken. It, it doesn't matter, Glazy. The smoking kicks you out of the straight edge club. Uh, I've managed to come enough times in one second to get my prostate to ache, says Caboose. Jesus. Bruh. Don't even get me started on Ritalin during puberty. I hope I did that bruh. Uh, that bro. Fucking Justice Kaiser. <laughs> Marcus, I'm a vegan except ass. Wait. Um. <clears throat> yeah. Straight edge. Cigarettes are drugs. Nicotine is a drug. Straight edge is no drugs. You can't be straight edge and smoke. That's just, that's how that works. Gen's naturally repulsed by straight edge. Our our natural uh, uh, our natural en enemy. Whether caffeine is drug. Yep, dude. Straight edgers are fucking just dumb. I have a lotion called Penile Skin Health Cream, and it was because I had severe skin chafing due to shall I say thermodynamics and fluid dynamic flaws with my female partner. Fact. I love it. I love that you shared that. You have penile skin health cream. What are the active ingredients in penile skin health cream? Oh, okay. Oh, I find them. Okay. <laughs> Holy shit. Is it a black bottle? Hmm, interesting. Nothing massive. Just like some basic lotion, some L-arginine. Hmm, fascinating. <laughs> Madison Cawford be like, I'm heterosexual except with my family. I lied. It's called man oil. Jesus Christ. There is there's such a thing called penile health, uh, skin health cream. Man oil. Vitamins and amino acids for penile health. Fuck that. There we go. All right. Uh, caprylic. Okay, so like uh, triglycerides. So uh, that would be caprylic. That would be coconut based probably. Uh, glycerin, canola oil, stearic acid, glycerol sterate. So preservatives, a bunch of alcohol probably to dissolve stuff. Some B5, 
um, sodium hyaluron hyaluronate. Um, that's again a coconut byproduct, I think. It's like uh, hyaluronic acid. Um, so alpha lipoic acid, I actually take some of that. Uh, carnitine, the not L-carnitine, so I don't know what the absorption rate on that is. Um, yeah, caproglycol, we got a few things that are like caprylic and lauralic uh, territory. Vitamin C, vitamin A, vitamin E, vitamin D3. So it's just a super fucking moisturizing um, uh, um, dick cream. It would be uh, for over here, over here, Jaro. It would be five HTP, uh, five hydroxytryptophan. I prefer Crisco. <clears throat> Caboose wants to know if it works. It works, <laughs> says Vax. It works. Man oil sounds inferior to the brand Gun Oil. Oh Jesus, Gun Oil. <laughs> oh Gun Oil. Um, rub that coconut coconut milk in. One day I took a fuckload of mushrooms and like midway through the trip, I was like, yeah, fuck this shit. I'm done with not being in control of myself. Oh, control freaks. Very straight edge story. Yes, very straight edge story. That's true cat. Yeah, most, most straight edger stories start with one day I took a fuckload of mushrooms. Like it's basically like putting skincare on your dick. Yeah, I know, right? Hey, La Latte. Um... Sorry, that's what I meant. All right, fair enough. Refurbishes penile skin that is rough is on the front bottle description. Yep. Kaiser. Kaiser. I'm convinced it's a... I, no, no, okay, so Kaiser, having studied like the shamanic tradition of humanity, I'm convinced it is for everyone. But I'm convinced also that society has pre-programmed people to such an extent that it fucks with them when they do psychedelics. And that as such, it's contraindicated until you get a lot of that societal conditioning out of your head. If you don't undo that programming, then it isn't for you because it will fuck with your head. People need to be in control. People need uh, a baseline foundational existence. People need there be, to be a solid existence or, or reality, right? People need these sort of, yeah. Um, yeah. I, I do. Having studied the shamanic history of human beings, I do believe they are for everybody. But they're contraindicated by your societal programming. Did you grow up in a Western hierarchical authoritarian society? Yeah. Yeah, psychedelics will probably fuck with you. You must have the smoothest peen. Uh, the only place I've seen Crisco sold in the UK, Germany, is in gay sex shops. Uh, I have been fisted with fuck. <laughs> I have been fisted with Crisco. Um, fresh balls though, really good antiperspirant for your balls. I mean, sure, cat. Oh, latte. It smells minty eucalyptus. Interesting. Uh, what? Yeah, I was gonna say that's surfboard wax. Rev, my dad got in uh, trouble in high school for wearing a Dr. Zog sex wax shirt. Yes, it says sex wax is uh, for surfboards. Uh, yeah, I got crossfaded on like five drugs. Yes, I'm straight edge. We exist. Yeah, I saw that. He was drunk too. That's why it helps with depression because it disconnects you from societal conditioning. It does if you do enough zippy. Uh, Puka, that's why I can't wait till the next time I shroom. Uh, oh. I sprayed Axe on my balls once. I don't recommend that. Jesus Christ. Sounds like every middle schooler ever. You're not straight edge. You're just selective about what drugs you take like everybody else. Gummy time. Gummy. Wait. Sorry. Let me do this correct for tech support. Gummy time? Gummy time. Uh, Wither. I never thought of using Crisco as a lube. Oh, it works. Uh, Fax says, my wife is happy and we have a baby now. So I guess something is worky. No, I'm going with worky. Not working. Fact. You had it right the first time. Fucking my wife is happy and we have a baby now. So I guess something is worky. Um, how was it? I've only used the thick slime lube that comes as a powder for that. Pound coin. I prefer fist powder as well. Um, but Crisco works. It works. Hydrophobic penis. 
Um, literally everyone, or would certain mental health problems be also be a bad combo with mushrooms? Well, Lada, uh, did you know that people who hear voices in Western society tends to tend to hear voices that are destructive, but people who hear voices in African and Eastern societies tend to hear voices of constructivity? Would it would it be inter- would it be interesting to you, Walata, that even mental illness that includes hearing voices and full reality solubility and um, psychoses differ based on cultural programming, and that <clears throat> where they're seen as disruptive and destructive in Western societies, in African and Eastern societies they're seen as constructive, and they actually are generally interpreted to be the voices of ancestors or the voices of like angelic or spiritual beings, and they're seen as a positive thing. Would it, would would that change? Would that change that question at all, Walata? The introduce introdu, uh, introduction of that externality. Oh Jesus Christ! Help his family. And he could not. I, you gotta tell me how much I'd have to watch of this cat. I will save it though. <clears throat> I've used coconut oil as a lube a few times. I uh, feel kind of feels something nice. Um, I have used it as well. Nicotine gives you a high. You're unironically coping and addicted. Yes. It makes you feel your makes you feel normal, Glazy, because you're an addict. Addicts need their fix, or else they don't feel normal. This is why heroin addicts start to get the Jones. They start to get the itch. They start to feel the need, and they'll do anything to get their fix, so they feel normal. You're an addict. You're addicted to nicotine, and without it, you don't even feel normal. You are not straight edge. You are an addict. Straight edgers aren't addicts. Cope. <sighs> Do they still make cell fist powder where you are? They went out of business here and I switched to K-Lube powder. Uh, pound coin. Um, Do you want a link? Uh, pound coin, you're in the UK. I don't know where you can get it from. Um, hold on. Uh, pound coin. I'm going to put a link in chat. Here's fist powder 2.0. The real horseshoe theory is the autistic schizo horseshoe. I've heard of this before, but actually it's nice to hear that from someone else's with her. I wonder if those voices can change their tune. I mean, who knows? Maybe. Uh, Kai laying down some hard truths. Yep. <clears throat> it's a really gripping one and the message wraps up nicely in the end. Cool. I'll watch it. Definitely watch the whole thing through type of deal. Um, yeah, so it, either way, pound coin, we get, we can get fist powder 2.0 over here. And so, you know, it is what it is. Okay. Um, <clears throat> Tobacco is psychoactive. Let's see. Uh, uh, pound coin. The only problem that I have with um, any of the alternative lubes, like K-Lube and that sort of shit, is if there is a um, tear, um, it is white mineral oil. K-Lube is based on white mineral oil. It's pure petroleum product, basically. If there is an intestinal tear, uh, K-Lube, J-Lube, all those sorts of lubes get to the ER immediately. Like, immediately, immediately. Like, you could die now immediately. Okay? Like, sincerely. Fist Powder 2.0 is literally safe. It's, it's, Euro, Euro cert, it's EU certified. Um... So, like, yeah, if you have an intestinal tear while using J-Lube or K-Lube, you could die, very literally. So, like, get to the ER immediately, or A&E, wherever, wherever you, it's called, wherever you are. Fist powder, you could have that problem, and you need to see a fucking doctor immediately. But you're not going to die because of the lube now. 
A tear like that doesn't sound very morbilicious. I mean, you know, petroleum products aren't kind to your body. Yeah. Yeah, so that's that's my only suggestion there. <clears throat> um, I use fist powder in combination with... Um, here. This. Fist powder plus Astroglide silicone. The fist powder will completely take up any water and become a thing. Uh, and the, the silicone lubricant just won't. It just won't uh, like absorb. It won't uh, evaporate. So yeah, like it literally a bowl of hot water with uh, silicone lube floated on top, like a layer of silicone lube, and then the fist powder, and you just whip the fuck out of that. Yeah, over here, that's not what K-Lube is. We have an entirely different K-Lube. Also, I want to see, flip this. What is this shit ma actually made of? There we go. It doesn't tell you. Oh, yeah, there we go. It's polyethylene. Holy shit, it's polyethylene. I still wouldn't want this in me. What's up? What's up, Wolf? Hey, Gord. Yeah, I, I would want polyethylene inside me. I gotta tell you. It, it, polyethylene is toxic to the immune system. Polyethylene is a skin irritant. Polyethylene is contributing to like, that's part of the microplastic shits, uh, microplastic shit. Like I, I would still hesitate. Uh, oh, congratulations with her on your bingo. What'd you get? Wall of text with her being shy or kind. NSFW. There was no Alex Jones. There was no Alex Jones. We did do Florida, though. Ladies and gentlemen, Alex Jones here from Proudly Radical. Since I owe Kai a few favors from back Fuck in the you days. <laughs> shit, I probably shouldn't talk about that. Wait, why are you still recording? Fine, fine. Just be sure to edit it out. Anyways, as I was saying, well, this is Alex Jones, and I just wanted to teach the proletariat a few things about anarchism. Anarchism isn't about chaos. In fact, it's quite the opposite. Anarchism is about the people. It's about solidarity and mutual aid. It's about removing unjust authority and hierarchies. We should bad all faith, be Alex. It's the a world bad faith, Alex. Be a better place. Now. I'm going to apologize again to all those parents whose lives I ruined because I'm such a douchebag. Jones, out. All right, guy, this has got to make us even for that uh, incident you helped me out with. Bad faith, bad faith, AJ. Um, yeah, pound coin. Yeah, like legitimately, like uh, uh, the best lube I've found is um, fist lube, fist powder 2.0 in combination with a with like Astroguide silicone. Um, the silicone is non-reactive if, even if it gets inside you, it's not good for you, but it's, it's not, it's non-reactive. It's not going to cause cancer. It's not going to cause an autoimmune reaction unless you have a siliconosis. If you, if you already have an allergy to silicone, definitely don't use silicone lube. But if you don't, then it should be f relatively inert. Silicone is generally inert for human beings unless you have an active allergy to it. 
Um, so yeah, like that, that a hundred percent, like you need to, yeah, I wouldn't use that. I wouldn't use that. Yeah. Keep an eye out for the fist powder 2.0 though. It's manufactured in France pound coin. So like it, it's, it's manufactured in like Paris. So like, you've got to be able to like Mr. K, uh, I'm sorry, Mr. K, Mr. S imports it into the U S so Between toys, rubber, and irritation, I'll live out the silicone. Fair enough. Um, most modern medical grade silicone toys are fine with silicone loops. Um, that's a problem that the, the manufacturing industry solved. Now, Chinese, cheap, cheap Chinese silicone man, uh, toys, one, you shouldn't use. They're using industrial silicone, not medical silicone. Even if they say use, they use medical silicone, they're not. Fucking cheap Chinese sex toys, bad idea. Um, they will literally fall apart if you put silicone lube on them. They're ridiculous. Um, easy way to test your toys, actually. Use silicone lube on them and see if they just, like, if the outer layer just starts to, like, rub off and it's like when you, like, get your skin wet and you exfoliate. If you can exfoliate your, your, uh, your fucking sex toy with silicone lube, you've got some cheap shit. <clears throat> get rid of it. Um, oh. <clears throat> Jesus. So Karina says the, 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 the thing I helped Alex Jones out with. He was sure he was sure death was imminent. Well, whatever thought, uh, well, what other thought would go through your head when falling from a plane, no parachute on hand, through the screaming, wailing, and cursing out of the sky? People, Alex heard uh, out of the sky. People, uh, Alex heard a uh, uh, voice call out to him, Kai. Wearing a flight suit, he saved Alex from his plummet from Air Force One. Jesus Christ. Um. Oh yeah, we Tokyo drift like a motherfucker in here. Um, and if you're sensitive, uh, to like sexual talk, like if, if you can't hang with the, uh, I will never forgive my generation for fighting for military service. I will never forgive my generation of gays for fighting for military service. Oh, just wait for it. I haven't scrolled down yet. I'm just looking at some of the replies. <laughs> Good point. They really do look like crayons though, don't they? <clears throat> Hoorah, Marine. Hoorah. Hmm. My buddy commented that when he signed up, he had to sign a don't gay say a gay uh, don't say gay thing. He's thirty now. So sorry. yeah, I I I I of. When I was growing up, one of my favorite things about being gay was that I wasn't expected to marry. I wasn't expected to have kids and I wasn't uh, expected to serve in the military. 
I thought these were three of the greatest fucking privileges of being gay. Yeah, you're going to get shit on by, by society, but I don't have to worry about the whole marriage bullshit. I don't have to worry about the kid bullshit, and they don't want me in the military. My generation and the generation before me spent decades fighting for, the, for these things. I will never forgive them for this. They took away the three things that I thought were perks. Like, dude, these were, we had a good gig going, right? We just needed, we needed them to like not criminalize our behavior. We need to get them off our dicks, right? Get rid of the sodomy laws, get rid of all that bullshit. But mm, we need marriage equality. No, we need to get rid of marriage. Why is the state all up in your business? Fucking the state should, if the state exists, the state should treat you as an individual only. You want tax breaks incorporate. Right? All of that shit can be done with like legalese and contracts and wills and waivers and fucking DNRs and all sorts of stuff. Like we could we could get you your gay partner in the hospital. We could do fucking whatever. Fucking like we we don't we didn't need any of that shit. Just allow adoption, I suppose. Fucking, you know, frankly. Oh my god. God. No, I hadn't seen it, Red. I hate Pride Month. I hate Pride Month. I hate Pride Month. Dear Drew, I didn't want to mention it. <sighs> They're going to go make me. Uh, thankfully, most of the replies on the Pickerton one are people tell them to go fuck themselves. Uh, let me go back. Let me go back. Go with it. <laughs> They're selling pride cat condos now. I guess this is liberation. Isn't that the same for most minorities though? Yeah. And do most minorities feel patronized and hate it? Well, I'm a gay man. This is my month to hate it. Well then. It's my turn at the wheel. Um, we're not letting them come to the secret gay meetings, right, Kai? No, 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 no. I feel patronized. Oh, uh, you should feel represented, Wither. Uh, yeah, I'm on that Marine post telling them to go fuck themselves and they couldn't play with us. Also, go get a real job. <laughs> and for fuck's sake, no cops at Pride. I, I yell at the uh, motorcycle cops here in town because the motorcycle cops are the traffic enforcement cops here in town, largely... In Las Vegas, the traffic enforcement is done by motorcycle cops. It's done by the, the vehicular cops, you know, the SUVs and stuff, stuff like that to a certain extent. But largely, the motorcycle cops are pure traffic enforcement, right? Every time I see a motorcycle cop have somebody pulled over, I roll down my window and yell out my window, get a real fucking job as I drive by them. <laughs> I've been doing it for years. I've been doing it for years. I've screamed at so many fucking motorcycle cops in this valley, get a real fucking job. It's great. I, I mean, good on you, Kato. I do have a question. 
are you a nerd for poke or pokemon because that says you're a poke nerd and if you're i i, I don't give a shit about pokemon but if you're a nerd for poke I, that, that's a fascinating thing. I'd like to delve into that further. I'd love to have that conversation with you. How, how, what, to what extent does your nerddom extend into uh, Poke? Oh, God damn it. Kiddo Pokemon nerd, but I also appreciate a good poke. Now, now I want somebody who's super into Poke. Maybe a nerd for being poked. <laughs> Uh, my favorite part of Pride Month is shitting on rainbow capitalism. Uh, see, that's too many letters. Latte, it, it has to come back to LGBTQ. I, I'm sorry, LGBT or just Q. The reason for this is we need to be able to say Legibita because that's that's the best thing. That's the best thing. Saying the Legibita. Oh, you're a Legibita? Legibita is the best. That's that's the top of the fucking pile is fucking all the Legibitas. Best thing ever. But Q is the superior uh, the superior method. Um Legibita. Yeah. It's Legibita. Um the Q is the, the, the clearly superior method of reference. Uh, just too much infighting, too many in groups. Um Jaru, we took the rainbow. We took pride. We took proud boy, by the way, too. If you go to like the proud boy subreddit on Reddit, it's just gay dudes. We, we took, we like, yeah, of course Q is close to QAnon. We want, what I want is when people say, hear the letter Q, I want them to think gay. That way, like QAnon will back up for it. They'll back right the fuck up from it. They're like, oh shit, we don't want it. Right. That's, that's how we got the rainbow. Queer covers all. Yeah. That's how we got the rainbow. It's like, how'd you take the rainbow? Because you pussy ass bitches fucking ran away from it screaming when you heard that uh, that the queers were using it as a symbol and you didn't want to be associated with us. Take the cue. Well, we took a fucking, we took a, we took a, a natural phenomenon such as a rainbow. We'll take a letter too. You think we can't steal a whole letter of the alphabet? Do we took a rainbow? We'll take a letter. Queer is one of those uh, words that run, uh, rolls off the tongue well, too. Yeah. Oh, speaking of Proud Boys and the gays, have you seen the gay skin culture? No. Oh, gay skinhead. I mean, that's been a thing for a while. Like, haven't, yeah, like, I was going to say, that's been a thing since, like, the early 90s. <sighs> Skinheads weren't Nazis to start with. Skinheads were anti-Nazi to start with. Fears the gays. I will destroy you. Yeah, I don't understand that statement, Red. You're just right. Um. Dude, all the original skinheads were fucking anti all that shit. No, Puka, originally skinheads were anti-racial shit, anti-Nazi, anti-authoritarian. Originally skinheads were like chill. Pound coin, send me a link to an example of the shirt you're talking about. Yeah, that's not. Ah, I wouldn't phrase it that way. 
Yeah, I, uh, but yeah, no, that's 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 a thing. Um, let's see. Do we know anything more yet about the medical facility guy? Um. Black male between the ages of 35 and 50. That's all we know at this point. They're saying mid 40s in the news conference. Apparently, there was a single target, is what's going around, is that a single orthopedic surgeon was the target and was killed, and then, we, it, like, he started killing others. Oh, Karina, it was a hospital. It was a hospital in Tulsa. <clears throat> um, yeah, black dude went in, and according to what I'm seeing, there was an intent to murder one doctor, an orthopedic surgeon, and then he just like opened up on others. A uh, resident physician in Tulsa speaking, uh, an orthopedic surgeon was the target and was killed from what I'm hearing through the grapevine. Uh, a second physician and the medical assistant were also killed. Whatever happened to that fetus lady? Which one? Be <laughs> toad. Which one? There's so. Um. Fact. Yeah, I was as soon as I. It, well, as soon as I heard that a, a doctor was potentially the target. Fact. That's what I immediately, my brain went to was, okay, so adverse outcome from someone he loved. Uh, it's like I said, see y'all till the next mass shooting. Ah, that's just, that's just longer than saying see you tomorrow, Kaiser. In fact, yeah, I thought it was, I, I that's where my brain went first. Was it was going to be over something like that. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Are you talking about the one that was collecting fetuses? Yeah. Yeah, the one that was... Yes, fucking Marcus. Oh, the anti-abortion. Yeah. Um, the one that was collecting fetuses. I don't know. Oh. Um... I don't see anything recent. Recent. They're facing. They're facing jail time. Yeah. Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah, for sure. Okay, I see what you're saying, Poundcoin. Yeah. Yeah, if I saw this dude in a fucking uh, bathhouse, I'd be like, I know what's up. For sure. Yeah, I get it. I'd take one look at him and be like, I'm about to get pissed on. Um. Yeah, I know that fucking look. Um, reminds me, my friend's aunt who went blind might be winning a huge lawsuit against some medical company because of negligence or something like that. Good honor. 
Um, oh, proud boy. It just, I mean. Yeah. Yeah, Caboose, that's what we're talking about. Tulsa. Tulsa, Oklahoma. That's literally what we've been sitting here talking about, Caboose. <laughs> Welcome to the conversation, Caboose. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, black man is mid-40s. Somewhere between 35 and 50. Somewhere mid-40s. <laughs> Sorry, ADHD moment. Yeah. Black dude in his mid-40s went into Tulsa, Oklahoma hospital. Shot it up. Um, orthopedic surgeon, probably. Probably an adverse outcome. I mean, probably someone died on the table. Um, but from someone he loved. Either way, we're not entirely sure is the motive yet. But killed four people and then five dead in total because he killed himself. So, yeah. Welcome. Congratulations, everyone. <clears throat> Pete Arred, uh, Arred, uh, Arrendando. Pete Arrendando. Uh, Pete Arrendando is the uh, Ovalde Police Department commander who told officers not to enter the classroom for 70... We're saying 78 minutes. The last time I'd seen it 77, but we're saying 78 minutes now. Pete Arrendando, the police Ovalde police commander who told his officers not to enter the classroom for 78 minutes while, you know, kids bled to death was officially sworn in as a Ovalde city council member tonight under secrecy because they didn't let the public in while and during his swearing in. No, no press, no public, no nothing. So the guy who just, you know, probably is more responsible for those kids' deaths than the person who pulled the trigger even at this point is now a city council member in Ovalde. So... Yay. Uh, yeah, I don't give a shit what he has to say. He can take his rule 303 and shove it up his racist fucking ass. He can take that with the human trafficking and fucking shove it even further up his ass. Yeah. I literally don't care what Bo the fifth column has to say. Yeah. Racist fucking garbage shit that he peddles. Oh, rule 303. Oh, see, see, y'all fucking, y'all fucking thought like I'm the only one that doesn't pay attention to this shit. Uh, with a rule 303 is a reference to a guy by the name of Harry Morant. Harry Morant served in the British colonial army in South Africa or what would become South Africa, uh, Southern Africa at the time, during the time that the Dutch and the British were trying to carve up colonial states in the region. And the Dutch uh, the to Dutch colonialists decided to do their own free state stuff. And they split off uh, in some like Dutch free state stuff, and they found a whole bunch of gold. So the British wanted that gold. So the British started warring with the Dutch free staters, and basically the Dutch free staters took out like this dude's beloved captain, and he went on a fucking just holocaust. He started capturing prisoners and summarily executing the prisoners, and he ended up being put down by his own military for executing prisoners summarily. Um, and so Rule 303 is a reference to the cartridge size, the caliber of uh, Harry Morant's rifle. Uh, Harry, uh, 303 is a 303 caliber. And it's a reference to if you have the ability, you have the responsibility to act. So this rule that... Bo likes to push and his naming his ranch after is um, a direct reference to a, Brit a British colonialist who is busy trying to kill off Dutch colonialists in an effort to gain a larger lion's share of gold in Southern Africa for the Brit expanding British Empire at the same time as the British Empire was building concentration camps in the region that would kill to the tune of 24,000 children. This is what Harry Morant was fighting for. This is what Bo sells merchandise talking about. Zippy, 
Why is he sell? He he leaned into it. Good for him. He's selling merchandise, and he's going to name his ranch after it. Oh, good on him. Oh, that's that's a great thing to lean in on. Good call. I love naming my stuff after fucking racist colonialists. Definitely a good thing to lean in on. He can fuck off. I don't I don't have time for that kind of bullshit in my world. That's like that's like Confederate statue territory. Like why? Why would you lean into that? Just fucking pick a new thing and move on. It's disgusting. Oh, Latte, he, uh, uh, Latte, he does. He's well aware of it. Yes, he's not at all ignorant of this fact, which makes it worse, right? Like, way worse? So, yeah, yeah, I don't, I don't need to watch a video by him. Did the White House really kick off Pride Month with the Nancy Reagan stamp? Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. Yeah, basically. Yeah. Yeah, basically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jill Biden to host unveiling of Nancy Reagan stamp. See with her? He's a garbage human being. He just is. Ooh, what's my diet like? I talk about it all the fucking time, Glazy. How do you not know what exactly my diet is at this point? My diet is clean, specific, designed. There's not a thing in my diet that isn't specifically like put in there. Okay, two people mentioned Tony Hawk back to back upon entrance, which makes me super suspicious. Um, but I like Bob Saget, so I'll actually say hello to Bob Saget. What's up, Bob Saget? Oh, Meyer. Do I make your pee pee hard so you feel the need to lash out? Should we put a photo up? Should we do the thing? Should everybody, we should do the thing. Everybody, do we want to do the thing? Apparently, I'm making somebody's PP hard again. Yes, but I'm just saying yes for my own enjoyment. <laughs> Aspen sexy guy time. Hi, they're mine. That's what I look like with a shirt off. Meyer, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Meyer. Poor little Pookie. Why doesn't that pick run around the screen like Haz does? So, either way, Pookie. That was male presenting nipple. Channel command when though? I should put it in as a channel command. Uh, a channel command that'd be hilarious. Uh, animated uh, chasing has around the screen. Oh, that'd be fucking hilarious. 
That actually, we should, I should do that. Fuck, I should do one of me chasing Haz around the screen. That'd be great. Oh, <laughs> fuck it. It'd be fucking hilarious. Meyer, I've shown it on stream. I've fucking pulled my shirt off on stream, homie. Sorry. And there's multiple photos of it across the Discord server. We have a whole meathead section where people talk about their workouts and their diets and bettering themselves physically. Also, I've got a long and storied history of athletic endeavors, including free climbing and fucking whitewater rafting, and rappelling and skydiving. So it is what it is. Sorry, homie. I know. Yeah, AJ, we've got we've got three, I think, came in together, maybe two. It's difficult to tell sometimes with the, uh, you know, with the chud buddies. Um, but yeah, they they definitely are. They're they're trying. They're trying their best, which I mean is never good. But they're trying. Zippy, you started intermittent fasting. Oh, good on you. See how it works for you. Kaiser, I agree with Meyer just because I want to see it again, though. Um, oh, actually, I quite enjoy Tony Hawk. Tony Hawk's one of the better people, unless you're married to him, and he's going to trade you in every 10 years, but that's neither here nor there. It is adorable in a pathetic sort of way, isn't it, Puka? Tony Hawk's good people. I got no problem with Tony Hawk. Uh, like I said, other than, you know, I'd never want to be married to him. Oof, that's a rough gig. But it is what it is. Yep, no, as, as male presenting, I can do a shirtless stream all I want. I'm perfectly within my terms of service to do so. I've enjoyed Tony Hawk's existential crises tweets. Yeah. Hey, Logan. Meyer, I eat approximately 3,200 calories per day. How much do you eat? What do your macros look like? How, what do your micro macros look like, Meyer? Tell me about your diet. I eat about 3,200 calories per day. 36 a day. Sure, 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 sure. Sure. So what do they consist of? How many, how many grams of protein, fat, and carbohydrates in that 3,600 calories? Sure you are. Sure you are. Come on, tell me your macros. What do they look like? 80 plus protein a day. That's not enough protein, my man, to maintain somebody who is doing a 3,600 calorie a day, a, day, a day diet who's claiming to be 205 pounds and ripped. 80 grams of protein is not enough a day. Not even close. That's not even replacement value for your, uh, for your body weight. So you want to try harder? See, it's the problem with talking to somebody who knows what they're talking about is it's very easy to smell bullshit. You're full of shit. The struggles of a high metabolism. I know, right, Wither? All right, Deirdre, take care of yourself. I have a degree in this loser. Mm, sure you do. Don't help the loser. Let them flail. I do it for a living. Mm -hmm. So how many carbohydrate, how many grams of carbohydrate today do you, uh, do you consume to maintain that uh, physique? Come on. You can do it. <laughs> oh, AJ. Oh, did you get, finally gave him enough time. Finally gave him enough time to Google how much protein you're supposed to fucking uh, eat. He went from 80 to 180. Still not enough, especially for that weight point. Uh, if he's maintaining that he when he worked out at 205. So what are you, like 20, 25 pounds overweight now? You had 25 pounds of fat on top of all that? Jesus Christ, man. 
Uh, yeah, nonsense. We're ducking, uh, dunking on a fool who fucking came in and decided to immediately insult me and then try and um, like act like he knew something. And now he's trying to pretend he has a degree in something. We don't know exactly what his degree is in. Yeah. That's usually the stages, isn't it, though? So anyway, should we go back to talking how uh, talking about how the police are harmful to the society, uh, are net negative to society as a whole, and how the police should be dissolved as an institution, especially within North America, but also around the globe, and how no good ever comes uh, comes from uh, calling the police. Most what will happen is he'll probably rape your daughter, kill your dog, and steal your uh, steal your uh, your money. And how all police are bastards, and that there's not a single good cop amongst them. Hmm? You guys are so easy, easy and predictable. Yeah, <laughs> a lot of. <laughs> Guy's a nerd. Went from this to that. Yes. Hey, Rye. At least Glazy fucking picks up on it. You can say what you want about Glazy, but Glazy got it immediately. The other idiots did not. Multiple people. There was somebody who walked in, plus a, a few that were already here. Didn't Literally didn't. Glazy picked up on it like that. Say what you will about Glazy, he fucking got it immediately. But the geniuses in the room, you could literally see their reaction. It's brilliant. Yes, I have no friends in real life whatsoever. I'm a good-looking gay man who lives in Las Vegas. I have no friends in real life. You're right. Don't have anyone, man. This is all I have. Uh, nerd is a pejorative in 2022. This guy really is a lonely 40... Uh, a, 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 is a guy is a really lonely 40-year-old. I'm miserable. How crazy was EDC this weekend? Dude, Jaru, the locals don't go near EDC. Are you kidding me? Fucking, did you see the bar tabs coming out of EDC? 167, 100, $254,000 bar tabs? Locals don't go anywhere near EDC. We stay the fuck away from shit like that. That's that's tourist trap shit. That's, that's what makes this city run, is morons who come to shit like EDC and spend $254,000 in one of our bars. That dude, that makes our town run. It's hilarious when people are like, you know, how was EDC? It's like, I don't know. We made a shit ton of money off morons who come here and think they can beat the system. It's great. Vegas is the house. Yep. Dude, it's our favorite. That's our favorite type of person. The person who thinks they know better than us. I didn't go this year. I'm not a local, but yeah, it was insane. Yeah, that's our favorite type of person. Is Vegas resident? Our favorite type of person is the uh, is the visitor who thinks they know better than Vegas. We make so much money off those people. It's hilarious. Oh, thank you, Wither. I'd hang with you as well. <laughs> Jaro, oh, they're the best. Yeah, they are. They leave their they leave their entire wallet here. It's fucking hilarious. You're like, Jesus fucking Christ, you people are dumb. We take them for every cent. Every cent. We used to uh, offer gay porn. Like, we'd offer for, like, college-age dudes. Like, if they bro if they got they were here broke. I'm not kidding you. $600. Billboards up and down the I-15. $600 to masturbate on camera. Well, uh, the ad was broke. Need a ticket back. $600 for to be on camera. Yeah. 
We used to offer uh, fucking broke college dudes who would come here and think they knew better than Vegas and they'd lose all of their fucking money here. And we're like, dude, they can't even get back back to their, where they came from. So yeah, we had a fucking porn company here in town that would take advantage of them. I actually do know better, which is why I only, spring X, uh, I only bring X to spend. Like, I can lose 50 bucks and that'll be it. Jaru, that's exactly, it's the cost of entertainment, right? Gambling is the cost of entertainment. You don't, that money's gone. That's just, that's a fee that you are paying to operate in the building. If you count on that money ever, like, finding its way back into your pocket, you're a fucking schmuck. Oh, yeah, me toad, it's totally gross. But that's Vegas. That's Vegas. Dude, this place will eat you alive, me toad. Vegas will eat you alive. You think New York or Boston or Singapore or London are bad? Vegas will chew you up. This place is not for the weak. It's just not. Vegas will fucking try you. They will. Vegas will eat every last bit of your soul. If you let it. A city's only good as its shadows. Holy shit, do we have some shadows? We don't. It's, argue, it's arguable we don't have any, or we do have tons. I won my first game of gambling is the sigh of someone with a gambling addiction to be. Jesus Christ, did somebody actually say that? Now I'm wondering what a fair price would be for wanking on cam. Um, Clay Crusher, thanks for the follow. $600 sounds fair. $600 to rub one out? <laughs> Do you want to see pictures of me having sex, Meyer? Is that what you're after? Is that what you're trying to you're trying to angle for? You're like, this streamer hasn't had sex in months. Show me. See, there we go. Yes, I want to see pics of that. No, no, AJ, he literally wa he literally wants it. He wants to see photos of me fucking. That's he's already admitted it. Let's see. Do I have photos of my last session? Oh, let's see. I do. I do. I got video. Not bad. It's a top-down shot. It's just um, me fucking a dude. Oh, Karina. Yeah, no. They're not. Us unpaid masturbators really ought to unionize. I know, right? Discord free porno. You called the streamer perverted and now you want to watch Kai fuck. Yeah. I told you that I make their pee pee's hard. That's it. I make their pee pee's hard. United Jerkers of America, the U UJA. Um, reminds me of a great story about the poker legend, Victoria Corn uh, Cohen Mitchell. Wait, Corn Mitchell. Yes. Oh my God. Marcus doing a fucking copy pasta. It reminds, I'm like, wait, Victoria. Co okay. Uh, reminds me of a great story about the poker legend Victoria Corin Mitchell. She talked about how she—I prefer her husband. I pr uh, she talked about how she played a game of poker with Stephen Fry, Martin Ames, and, and then unknown Ricky Gervais. Gervais went out and stood up and saying, "Well, what do I know?" Oh, uh, uh, Gervais stood up and uh, went out and stood up saying, "Well, what do I do now?" To which Fry, and, uh, Fry responded, "There's a shotgun in the bottom drawer." Jesus Christ. Cat, I for one would appreciate being paid six hundred bucks every time I jerk it. Karina, horny, all of you. 
I have never actually paid for sex. I've never been paid for sex. I've been compensated for sex for like movies and dinner and that sort of thing, like in dates and stuff like that. I've never paid for sex though, nor have I been directly paid for sex, but I have been compensated. Um, so yeah, it's funny that like, you know, you try. I think there we go. What is my type? Pens. Am I doming? Am I subbing? Uh, I get I got paid for nude cleaning and then later sex and subbing. It was pretty great to be on uh, to be quite honest as pound coin. See? I gained a new respect for her when I found out that with all of her husband's TV success, she bought uh, she brought like six times his net worth to that marriage. Yeah, dude. Glazy, I'm clearly going to address this. I'm clearly going to do this. I'm clearly in this content flow. How about rather than fighting upstream and sitting in chat and going, I don't want to do it. Why are we doing it? <laughs> Either shut the fuck up or join in the party. Have some fun with it. You're just like a wet blanket on so much shit, Glazy, that like when you start going down that alley, I just time you out now. Dude, we're having fun with a bunch of fucking morons who th fucking, one, don't think I look good, two, think I can't get laid, three, don't understand the nature of the city I live in, four, five, six, like, dude, just go with it. We're having fun with idiots who think they're trolling us. It's hilarious. Now Meyer is in my DMs threatening to meet up and fight me. Oh my fucking God. Always the mark of the truly stable. Oh, Saget and Meyer are together. Saget and Meyer are together. They did come in together. They made the same insult at the same time. They are operating as a pair or they're the same person. Either way. Yeah, the chuds aren't mad, uh, are mad because their hairline uh, is uh, isn't uh, their because your hairline isn't hurting like theirs. What's up, boom? They came in together and they come together. I mean, it seems like that. Puka, oh, the plot thickens. Yep. What's up, Molly Moss? We're just having fun with a couple of idiots who think that they're crafty. Um, sad little sexless man child, the both of them. <laughs> Cat, Cat telling Meyer, yo, we can do a Muay Thai rules with the uh, bouted heavyweight. Yes, Cat would be a, a heavyweight Muay Thai fighter. Just FYI, some other training, jujitsu and shit like that. Uh, I stayed, I came in for the title and stayed for the banter. Well, welcome Molly. Um, yes, the title is a bit clickbaity, isn't it? My bad. All I can say is the cops, well, they're doing all the heavy lifting for an anarchist like me. I don't really need to make the argument. Nah, it worked. <laughs> Um, I, I've stopped doing the heavy lifting. The cops are doing all the arguing on my, my behalf now as to why they are useless entities. Uh, well, on a good day, they're useless. On a bad day, they actively harm society. When, when we're having a good day as a society, the cops are just useless. Oh, look, oh, look. He wasn't. He wasn't lying. Fascinating. Oh, and then he got blocked. Oh, then he got blocked. Oh, Meyer talked shit and then blocked fucking Ace. 
Meyer talked shit, then blocked Ace, and then his little buddy in fucking chat, Bob Saget, fucking defends him. Oh. <laughs> Uh, yes, uh, Molly, we definitely talked about it. Um, the fact that they, they shot a kid, at least a kid at this point. Yeah. The, when you apropos of nothing come out and say some shit like that, I just want everybody to know I didn't shoot a kid. Everybody in the fucking audience, like, you know, in the, the viewing group was like, dude, I think they shot a kid. Then the next day they come out and say, we're not cooperating with any Texas DPS or federal DOJ investigations. It's like, oh, they definitely shot a kid. Probably more than one. Yeah. I'd never say I never shot a kid because I never shot a kid. <laughs> um, yeah, exactly, Molly. They also had the kids call for help, uh, which drew the shooter to them, resulting in death. So, yep. Uh, call out, yeah. Ooh, let's see. Fuck it. Uh, so Meyer, um, hold on. Let's see. Meyer fucking threatened to dox Ace Man and threatened him with violence. That's that's a good one. We've got that one on record. Let's see. Um, whispers, violence. Uh, 30, um, go we'll do that one okay now we'll just move on to the next one I ain't scared a little my may may oh ace I know you're not scared but we have to cover ourselves via terms of service for twitch as a channel see we can't let certain things slide Certain things, once we're made aware of them, terms of service impacts us as well. So it just is what it is. It's like when the tankies come in and start th giving death threats. It's like we can't continue to argue with you because you've just crossed the line and we're, we're liable as well. So that is just how it works. Um, whether a TOS mean work, cat, I'm sad. Meyer ain't responded to my offers. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, Will Myers got that little pee pee energy. What are you gonna do? It becomes a TOS nightmare. It does. It, we have to protect the channel. Like, it's just, it is what it is. You come in and start making death threats or fight, or saying I'm doxing people and I'm gonna fucking hunt you down and fight you. Like,. We have to take action. It's, it's, it's in our contract as well. So, you know, it is what it is. But these people, uh, <laughs> ow, trolls that end up fighting each other. If I had a small dick, I'd try to fight everyone too, says, says, uh, says nonsense. All right. Yeah, we get death threats from fucking tankies all the time. Which one? Heath. Which one? Um, how many inches is small? Uh, what's the global average these days? Very chihuahua-like, I know, right? Um, what's the global average these days? I mean, I'd say anything under like six inches, but you know, anything around six and a half is like average as far as I'm concerned. Three, four? Jesus Christ. I think for Americans, five and a half.
I think global average is about four and a half. Oh, I'm already doing it. Average size is a size is 13.58 centimeters, which would be about 5.3 inches. They come in three plastics, uh, three plastic and fucked up our genital organs. So yeah, about, um, so 17, uh, 13.58, which is about 5.3 something inches. Jaru, yeah, I'm above average for something. Let's see, what do we got? Oh, thank you for my metrics. Oh, yeah, we um, happily welcome DGENs. Oh, yeah, pound coin. Uh, baiting them out with the fucking anarchists were right about the police all along sort of thing. Dude, the, the authoritarian bootlicker just... It, the, an authoritarian bootlicker can't resist that sort of bait. This is... This is like putting out fucking, you know, I don't know, coke on the floor. Ants are just going to crawl all over it. it. Just is what it is. You want to the same way the archer meme of, you know, you want ants, this is how you get ants. Well, if you want authoritarian bootlickers, this is how you get authoritarian bootlickers. Criticize the police. Doesn't matter if the police are actively causing children to be summarily executed. Doesn't matter if the police are an arm of a, uh, a system that is rife with fucking misogyny, racism, <coughs> classism, authoritarianism. It doesn't matter. These are the same pieces of shit that we all know would have been Nazis. If they were born in, uh, in uh, if they were in Germany in, say, 1939, they would have been Nazis. They wouldn't have been a part of the resistance. Lil Meyer and Bob Zagat and all those fucking that that uh fucking who is that a a Ackerman fucking official we had a little while ago. They all are just predisposed to finding the biggest, scariest, manliest dude in the room and bowing before them and just prostrating and licking the bottom of their shoes. They're authoritarian bootlickers. They're the scum of the earth. They're the reason that we have the Klan in America. They're the reason Nazis rose to power. They're the reason for Russian purges. Fuck They're the reason God. for pogrom. <laughs> it is what it is. As Martin Luther King Jr. himself called out, it's not the Klan member. It's the white, moderate, liberal. Destiny can go fuck himself with his his lib shit. Simple as that. I have no need to, need nor want. Not very morbid. No, libs are not very morbid at all. X all, dude. Lib shit libs not morbid. Anarchists morbid. I'm convinced this is one person with three accounts now. I don't doubt that. He's like, he's like some sock dem shit with her. He's like sock dem. Oh, I th you thought he was conservative? No, he's like sock dem or some nonsense. Um, what about the Asian community? They really like the police. Fuck them too. Like class warfare and ethno nationalism isn't restricted to white people. But like Martin Luther King called out the white moderate liberal as being the problem with the clan. See, context, genius, context. Keep up with the conversation. You can do it. You can't, but you probably, I'm going to encourage you. I'm going to be like your teacher here. I'm going to encourage you to keep up with the rest of class. I don't think you can. Frankly, I think we're going to have to hold you back for next year, but that's neither here nor there. If I lived in China, I don't think I'd like the police there. No, I, I definitely wouldn't.
fuck any group that is an authoritarian bootlicking group. Yes. <laughs> yeah, Destiny's steady banging Lauren Southern. Anarchists basically gave you your weekend. Anarchists basically created the, uh, the holiday structure that we have today. The 1880s to 1920s anarchists basically created the modern labor movement. So anarchists have no power. You're right. We don't have any power whatsoever. We shaped the world that you live in. Hmm? I hate Winnie the Pooh normally. Um, so you don't understand where political power comes from. You think it comes from electoralism which there's some political power contained within electoralism, but electoralism isn't the only method mechanism to achieve power. Apparently you, d apparently you thought the founding fathers would be able to vote their way out of the uh, sub subjugation as well. Literally caring villain doesn't know how the U S was created. Name one. Did we, did, did, did we vote? Did we, did our appeal to the king free us? Uh, Molly, uh, Molly, I do actually. Uh, 51, 50% uh, of what anarchists do is education. 49% of what anarchists do is direct action. 1% is go vote. Down ticket voting is super important, Molly. Down ticket voting is super important. F the federal level, the national level voting, dude, that's a rigged game and everybody knows it. What are you fucking, what are you, Three? <laughs> have you not been paying attention? You know, it's like that. It's like, uh, you really thought that that was a fucking fair game? Come on. Yeah, federal elections. Uh, Kai voted for Obama twice. Thanks, Obama. <laughs> I told people I don't vote for president. They were mad, but I fucking live in Maryland. It doesn't matter. Oh, busy. Of course you do. You're an idiot. Um, back when I lived in Florida, I was super passionate about voting. Back when we were, we went back and forth constantly. Um, I was almost tempted to register as a Republican so, so I could vote in the only primaries we have um, here, but I looked into it and apparently they're open anyway. Yeah, if you have open primaries, it doesn't matter. If you have closed primaries, um, then it matters. Morb 2024. I mean, Jared's already running his own cult, so why not? It's I bet Jared Leto could convince the... Um, no, cringe. Um, I bet Jared Leto could convince the Republicans to vote for him. He's already running a cult. He'd just have to change some of the woo-woo shit in favor of whatever the fucking conservative bootlickers. If he changed some of the woo-woo shit to sound slightly biblical, he could get all of the Republican morons to vote for him. Just all of them. That cult of personality shit works so effectively on conservative brains. They'd 100% vote for him. Yeah. No, Kaiser, they really don't. <laughs> nah, they got this guy, the fucking uh, dude. Yeah. The QAnon fucking shaman guy. Leto in government is definitely his next step. That'd be hilarious and gross. We gaming it all tonight? Just wondering. I don't know. Um, you ain't got to change shit. Probably will. Probably will. Because yeah, Jared Leto doesn't do drugs. Fuck it, because Jared Leto doesn't do gr drugs. He's got great skin. Don't do drugs. They mess up your skin. Because Jared Leto has never done drugs. 
That kid's is the opinion of a crackhead right there. Fuck it. Don't do drugs, man. Fucking. Dude, he's got, he looks exactly like fucking uh, Charles Manson when he was younger. He looks like Charles Manson. If you, if you can look at Jared Leto and be like, he's gorgeous. Charles Manson would have, would have uh, been your cult leader. 100%. He looks, he's got the exact same piercing gaze as Manson too. Like it's creepy as shit to put Leto and Manson next to each other. They're basically like, yeah, it's really creepy. We did it last night. Yeah, 100% Manson vibes. Yeah, fucking Jared Leto is essentially Charles Manson of the modern era. Ooh, new idea for Hot or Not. Serial killers, new project. Fun, says Marcus. Jesus Christ, fucking serial killer. I'm going to put them all in the bottom row and be like, I don't know, I'm getting serial killer vibes off these guys. If he carves a symbol into his face, I'm out. Dude, I so want, I wish I was there at that fucking Mars Island fucking thing that Leto did with his cult. I so want to hear one of those lectures. Um, Caring villain, go fuck yourself. You're boring, you're obnoxious, go somewhere else, nobody likes you. Um, You literally got timed out before the Nazi guy. Okay, that's how annoying you are, caring villain. You got timed out before the actual Nazi guy. Okay? That's how obnoxious you are as a human being. I on You only vote for the pretty guy. Ooh, Jared Leto. He's cute. He has good skin. He does... Don't do drugs. Fucking... Because Jared Leto's never done drugs. He But he has good skin. Fucking good skin. Jared has Leto has good skin. Go fuck yourself, caring villain. I literally don't want you on this channel. Go somewhere else. We're keeping Nazi guy before we're keeping you. Okay? That's how fucking obnoxious as a human being you actually are. You're more obnoxious than the guy who's in chat saying Nazis aren't, uh, Nazis are fine or whatever the fuck that moron was saying. Okay? That's how annoying you are. You lost to the dude standing Nazis. It's time to sit back and have a fucking look at your life. It's time to think some shit out. Jesus fucking Christ. What what kind of epic, unassailable loser do you have to be when the Nazi guy isn't banned before you? Jesus fucking Christ. Buffalo Bill vibes. Serious Buffalo Bill vibes. Yeah. Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> Wants to eat his skin. Um... Like, bro, the last Republican who won Maryland was Reagan. You have to go to that. Then, yeah, you can safely say that Maryland is a solid blue state. Uh, oh. I'm starting to get some Morbius vibes from this Jared Leto person. Well, that's not very Morbin. No matter who you are, therapy is encouraged. Find the therapist best for you. Yes, and if you have that much of a fucking celebrity addiction or, like, object... Like, if you're picking your politicians, it's not... That's very unmorbid, dude. Um, if you're picking your politicians solely on the aesthetic value, you're a fucking loser. If you're like, ooh, they're cute, I'm voting for them, you're a fucking loser of such epic proportion that I literally don't want to con... I, I don't want to talk to you. Um, pound coin. I love how every time I go out for a smoke and come back, the stream has jumped several rails and is going in some new wild direction. <laughs> um, that's worse than id poll, says Carpe. <laughs> it is. Dude, it's fucking, like, I choose my politicians based on how, uh, like, if they make my pee, pee go hard. Go fuck yourself. Or whether you get a wet vag or whatever. Celebrity worship is very cringe. Just me. No, Puka is fucking awful. Tony Hawk level rail grinding in this bitch. Uh, I wonder what might happen if everyone got mental health care because that's just time to question and consider things, right? Yeah, whether if if we had full and complete health care in this country, dental, eye, physical, mental, like actual full and complete health care, so many problems would you? So many problems, so many problems. Multi track drifting. 
Um, if you vote for the cute one, I'm assuming you vote for those bl uh, blonde haired Nazi politicians like Josh Hawley or whatever the fuck his name is. Yeah. Damn, <laughs> Wither, did it hurt inside for you to talk uh, to type that? Oh, that's how Madison Cawthorn got in, and Carpe just immediately says Cawthorn. Nazis love Cawthorn. <laughs> He's cute. He's cute. I'd love to hang out, dude. I think it'd be hilarious if he didn't have all that self-hating queer shit on him. It'd be hilarious to talk to him. Are you shitting me? Fucking a conversation with that nut job, especially after like a, a, a like a, a coke and uh, coke and prostitute party. Definitely want to talk to him as a pol politician or as, as a, like an elected representative. Get fuck off out of here with that shit. Um, chatters cite multiple reasons why the Nazis are indeed not chill. One health. Nah, they're pretty chill. Hmm. Yeah, exactly. This man. It'd still be hard to pass that really whiny voice, though. Fire, you just got to get fucked up enough yourself. That's all. Apparently, Hassan has an interview scheduled with Cawthorn at some point. I'm generally interested in that. Fuck, of course, Hassan has an interview with Cawthorn. And there it is. Um... Don't worry, they're not coming back this time. They had their they had their warning. They had their chance. They're not coming back. Don't worry about it, Zippy. Um Don't worry about it. Ah. Uh, Didn't Hassan lose a debate against a massive transphobe who he invited onto his stream? Fuck is he going to interview? Uh, oh, the fuck is this interview going to do with Jesus? Hassan is incompetent. I, I truly do not understand how 25,000 people sit there and watch him. He's, he's functionally incompetent. Uh, Molly, not always. No, it's the stream title today, Molly. It's the stream title. Um... I po sometimes I poke fun. Sometimes I, I, I stir the pot a little, Molly. Sometimes I don't. Sometimes we'll sit here and read theory. Sometimes like we do Popo's Bizarre Adventures where we go over the uh, the regular malfeasances, usually once a week, of uh, police uh, actions in America or abroad, right? Um, we we do anarchist uh, anarchist discussions. We uh, do education. We do a whole other a whole host of stuff. But I felt like stirring the pot today. I tried to watch a video of him explaining Marxism and honestly felt he didn't understand enough and gave very surface level analysis. Who would have guessed? Hassan, not actually knowing anything. He's a pretty little himbo. That's how he gets all the views. Um, um, Molly, if you want, you can go onto the like of the YouTube channel. There's 12 hours of me doing um, a dissection and analysis of um, so-called anarcho-capitalist right-wing libertarian values and why they aren't anarchists. I've got readings of theory. I've got like, yeah. And being Chenk's num uh, nephew. Yeah, Carpe, that's mostly it, isn't it? It's mostly being Chenk's nephew. Night, Puka. Take care of yourself. Sleep well. Fucking enjoy your movie. Uh, I dude fire does it though does it when you move in with an, an inbuilt audience of like 20,000 people that doesn't contribute to it that feels like that might have had something to do with it and having someone promote you on their already established popular platform. That feels like that might have had something to do with it. Maybe. 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 
I don't know if he's an overall net positive. Axel, I don't, I don't know. I think it might be a wash. When Brundle Law says he's an anarchist but worships Trump in the right wing, no, he doesn't. He's not an anarchist then, Molly. Good luck with that. That keep truck in our crumb drawing, but it's keep Morbin instead. At least he's shifting the Overton window a bit. Is he? Is he? Mm -hmm. Maybe? Maybe. 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 Carpe, I don't think so. I think he's in attention and revenue sync. Uh, see, yeah, I I, I 100% would be on Team Vosh before I'd be on Team Hassan. 100%. 100%. Vosh is way more net positive than Hassan ever could be. And I know fucking Vosh derangement syndrome is probably going to kick off at some point. But, like, yeah, Vosh is more of a net positive than fucking Hassan is. For sure. Gord, that's because he's a... Whatever. But, 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 but Vosh, bad. <laughs> True, Vosh, rad. Yeah, but Hassan isn't a socialist. Ace. Fucking saying Hassan is definitely shifting the Overton window. Children of libs are his followers. He's a fuck... At most. At most. At most. I will grant him champagne socialist. At most, which is an undermining pejorative for form of non-socialist. To call somebody a champagne socialist is to call them not a socialist. Right? Like, he's not a socialist. Like, I... I, I he's a shitlib. He's a shitlib with socialist aesthetics. Sock them at best, Carpe says. I'm going to straight up, I'm going to straight up say shit lib with socialist aesthetics for the purposes of the grift, for the purposes of the grift. He's a conscious grifter too, by the way. He's a conscious grifter. There's the like unconscious grifters that you're like, okay, like he's not really what he thinks he is, but like Hassan purposefully adopts an aesthetic. Meanwhile, does the exact opposite. Oh, I don't know. What's a $3.5 million house look like fire in West Hollywood? No, I don't think he, he believes in anything. He espouses fire. A hundred percent. He doesn't. He's, he's a, a, a house he earned with his own labor. My ass. He's generational labor. He's generational wealth at this point. He's the recipient of, a, of somebody else who has a media empire. No, no. He's riding around on fucking private planes, going to private VIP events while he fucking lives in his three and a half million dollar house in West Hollywood. This is literally, this is literally classism. Yes. Oh, you got somebody coming at you, Carpe. Good for you. I am Chenk's uncle. No, oh, he's... he's oh, Fucking... And you got another person who doesn't understand Vosh's discourse on, on child pornography. Cool. Gord, for real. Is it his, though, Wither, is the question. Is it? He's the definition of vanguardism. He's, or oligarchism, basically. He's the elite. He's the learned men of socialism that the likes of fucking Lenin and Trotsky would ramble on about. He's the, he's the elevated one that you're supposed to trust rather than actually be engaged with the system yourself. Axel, I'm open to the conversation, but mm. 
cat and analogies that uh, that are mild or provocative melt people's brains. Dude, the smooth brains do not understand still like the, that that was fucking that was a rhetorical device that Vosh was attempting to use to walk somebody through an ethical framework to, f to further understand elaborate and elaborate upon an ethical framework and the smooth brains literally don't understand that it is hilarious to see how badly people like that's a limit Vosh and the CP argument is like our welcome page on the discord server it's a litmus test it's a litmus test. If you don't understand what Vosh was attempting to do with that uh, that CP argument, it's the same thing that like you not being able to get past our welcome page on our Discord server. It tells me everything I need to know about you. Where's your evidence, Stimzy? What you got? Where's your evidence? Where's your evidence? Put up your sources. Put up your links. Where's your evidence? Because Stimzy, as far as I'm concerned, you're a pedophile. If we're making baseless accusations that have no relation to reality and have no evidence to back them up, then any allegation can be leveled. Where is your actual evidence of this? Yeah, by the way, hi, Vosh. What's up, man? I have disagreements with you sometimes, but, you know. Yeah, Vosh, we know you're here. Dude, he swings through. We know he does. So, like, dude, I love you, but, like, you know, we got questions. But, you know, I got your back, man. Fucking... <laughs> Yeah, public, yeah, no. Yeah. On alts and in the background and lurking. He's been, before he got completely like perma banned, he's also stopped by. Yeah, yeah, public, it's a thing. Um, Where's your evidence, Stimzy? That's, that's, where's your fucking evidence? What the fuck? <sighs> I've listened to Vashri Donos. Those kids send him 20 bucks for the chance to tell him they connect with a mutual aid network locally thanks to his suggestions. Uh, like, I can't bitch about that. Even when he's a motherfucker, <laughs> I'm fine he's out there. Yeah, I'm fine with Vosh being out there. Um, I mean, even if Vosh isn't a pedo, he's still a carcinogenic shit. Better than Destiny, but a few bad attacks don't make him valuable. Marcus, uh, you're going to hate me for this, Marcus. As an attorney, you're going to hate me. Vosh is the most skilled rhetorician in order that's operating in the streaming circles right now. Oh, yeah, I've talked mad shit about Dylan Burns, the fucking piece of shit, shit lib fed. Yeah, I've talked mad shit about him. That grifter piece of shit just looking to f uh, fucking further his political career. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I called that out hard. Whether the mod manager view is very efficient. Um, like, I feel crazy. Do people actually believe under a socialist system that people would be able to buy mansions or have expensive dinners at restaurants? I, I you know, yeah. <laughs> he literally said hippy dippy is a political wrestling show. And I took that personally. It is. It's wrestling. Lucre Ukraine was very lucrative for him. Yeah, it was. Dude, Dylan Burns is a fucking grifter piece of shit if there ever was. That motherfucker's just looking to further his political career. I'm sorry. That is what it is. It just is what it is. He he uses 
He uses the fuck. He uses the um, the old school Sally Jesse Raphael first generation Oprah Jerry Springer methodology of furthering his career. He uses the craziest fuckers he can find, piles them all into a room, creates a fucking freak show. Uh, um, all um, fucking all of carnival like carnival sideshow freak show, and fucking just gets out there and P.T. Barnum's it up. He fucking stands there. Come on, come on. Look at the crazy fucking Stalinist and the fucking goofy. Fu- yeah, he's a fucking grifter. P.T. Barnum would have loved him. P.T. Barnum would have loved him. Um, Stimzy still not backing anything up with evidence. Love it, love it, love it. Um... Uh, yeah, not hate. I'm not super impressed by his rhetoric, but you may be uh, well be right for streaming. He's one of, if not the best. Now I need a shower. Ha, Marcus. Marcus, I got you to admit that. Uh, Molly, I have, like, I've got the Discord community, plus I've got, like, custom lists, plus I've got, yeah, it's a whole thing. Um, So crowdsource, Molly. Crowdsource. Crowdsource is the long and short of it. Um, pretty sure Dylan has admitted he's uh, literally admitted he's doing streaming to promote his political aspirations. There you go. I uh, were talking about shit about the fake hippie even before he said he was quitting. In fact, the timeline is such that the VOD endless accidentally stream was like right before that. Uh, I can tell you the first thing Dylan did when um, Endless streamed that, Dylan didn't get upset at Endless. The first thing Endless, uh, the first thing Dylan sent out was a, te- a long fucking rambling message to Endless, yelling about me and how he wants to debate me. That was the first thing Dylan did when I accused him of being a fucking piece of shit, shit lib fed who is just a grifter looking to further his political career. That stung. That hurt the very first thing he sent out when he fucking saw that VOD was, who the fuck is this Kai guy? I want to debate him. Mm -hmm. (sighs) My biggest issue with Dylan was when he showed up to a small protest in DC with some camera guy, got bored by that right wing protest against the January 6th conventions and decided to film DC activists who didn't want to be on film. His camera deliberately went around to get video of them. Of course he did. He's a fucking shit lip. He doesn't understand OPSEC. <clears throat> I called him out on it and he defended by saying, nah, we didn't do that. Yeah, it sounds about right. Seeing Dylan get in his feelings about his channel not popping off on is so funny. Like, guys, get over your numbers. I fear fidget, uh, I fear Fed jacketing, but Dylan B- Burns is totally a Fed. Yeah, it, he works within the establishment. <laughs> like, <laughs> wait, did fucking that Skimzy Skimzy? What the fuck is this idiot's name? I've stopped paying attention to him. Stimzy. Uh, did that Stimzy fucking person make the argument? Literally make the argument to be autistic? You have to have all the conditions on the autism spectrum. What the fuck is an Isaac Butterfield? It's you, Molly, and Wither both. Wither, it's called a spectrum. And Molly, then why is it called a spectrum? That's the. <laughs> that literally defines the word spectrum. I can attest to that not being true, says Caboose. That literally defies the word spectrum if you have to have it all. Does that defeat the meaning of the word spectrum? 90% of autistic women aren't autistic then. It has spectrum in the name. Nova, I'm sorry, what? Carpe, yeah, that's not how spectrums work. AJ, buh. Isaac Butterfield is a right-wing hack. 
Oh, interesting. Um, definitions, when does that matter to these types? Public. I know, right? Stimsy proving himself, themself, um, to be even further into the dummy closet. Yes, and to be autistic, you need all the conditions, but all those conditions are on a spectrum for different people. Showing that it's Stimsy doesn't understand what spectrum means. Uh. Wow. Oh, Butterfield's the Christchurch uh, joke guy. Got it. Butterfield is an off-brand McGinnis. Okay, and McGinnis is already President's Choice brand. Yeah. Um, <laughs> English is just like your opinion, man. Um, and okay, well, now that we've established that 99% of chat understands what spectrum means. I know, right, Molly? Jesus Christ. Oh, wow. I, I do correct. I, I'm fucking. Yeah, Caboose has a formal diagnosis uh, for autism. Um, we're, we're, we're gatekeeping the ASD now. Wonderful. I mean, kind of the ASD is a gatekeep of its own. Wouldn't all diagnoses sort of be a gatekeep in their own essence in some way, shape, or form? Wouldn't, wouldn't all clinical diagnoses be? <laughs> AJ, Molly Moss, new here and already engaging the trolls. We love to see it. Yes. Yeah, we're, um, you know, it's one of those nights. I wanted to, I wanted to stir the pot a little bit. Um, fuck it. Oh, look, average rent is more than fucking what people in the U.S. make anymore. I'm sure that's sustainable. Don't worry about it. We're, we're doing fine. We're doing fine. Pay no attention to the man behind the curtain. Even though there's $1.5 trillion in student loan debt that's completely unnecessary, health care is the number one cause of bankruptcy in this country. Evictions are, like, I think probably at an all-time high. Um, we have the mass shooting every fucking day now. Um, sometimes two, three times a day. It's fucking great. We're, do we're doing great. We're doing great. Don't pay no attention to any of the fucking, you know. Yeah. <laughs> we're fucked. Dude, we're fucked. Get ready for balkanization, kids. That's what the Roe v. Wade decision is going to do. It's the first step in balkanization. <gasps> Rev with the indigo child. Rev with the indigo child. I'm sorry. Is that a blog spot link? It's a blog spot link. A fucking infographic on blog spot. He, they just linked as their evidence. Okay, kids, let's go to the CDC on signs and symptoms of autism spectrum disorder. Let's just scroll down the but There's a lot of fucking signs and symptoms. But here, let's just go to this. It's important to note that children with ASD may, uh, may not have all or any of the behaviors listed as examples here. Can we be done with this now? Can we, can we just, can we, can we move on from this idiocy? Jesus. 
Jesus fucking Christ. You may not have all or any of the symptoms. Jesus fucking Christ. I, I can't believe we fucking spent that much time on that. We finally overthrew Canadian government. Good on you. Congratulations. Who's we? Hello, I'm clinically diagnosed with ADHD, and it does not affect me the same way everything uh, everyone else with ADHD. Like, what did Kirk's do? Side argument. <sighs> Why are you fucking? Yeah, okay. Um, Karina. Yeah, I'll join. So we the um the the we'll 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 lose fucking forty people within moments. Um, but I think that like some of these motherfuckers need it. Yep. No, I agree. Yeah. I think some of these motherfuckers need it. So <clears throat> Yeah, we'll, we'll, I, I'll, I'll join in for a little bit. I need to get some fucking, um, I can leave my character just like sitting at the base. Um, so, but I need to get in like a whole new back routine because I've been overdeveloping my front, uh, the front core and I need to like, I need to focus on my, like iliac, thoracic and lumbar, um, lats. So yeah, yeah. Pound coin. We, we doing it. You going to join us pound coin? Um, but yeah, I need to, I need to start focusing on like developing the, uh, sort of like the, 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 the counter set of muscles. I think that's what I've been feeling in my back. I've been over developing the front. Yeah. Cat, we need to, we need to fucking throw some water on, on some of these fuckers. We got cricks and fucking carpe fighting. We got fucking stimsy fighting with fucking everybody. We got fucking like, yeah, we are going to throw some water on these motherfuckers. I'm still salty. Nobody wanted to have a white tie fight with me. Oh yeah. Um, Just, you know that was disappointing. Yeah. Well, I mean, oh no, we speak in Latin. Oh no, speaking Latin. Um, yeah, like that's. Um, I mean, really, it's like an Irish pub in here. Says Kaiser. Zippy, hmm. Zippy said, "I don't know how to Muay Thai." Uh, Zippy said, "I've got seventy thousand I mean, points. I can time out two people." I'm gonna implement a command uh, command level structure as well for chat. Um, that's like on my like next next goal for programming for the bot is um, we're not gonna spend the channel points. I'm gonna, I'm gonna change like okay, so I'm gonna sub. I'm gonna completely like subvert the the Twitch channel point system, um, and we'll have our own. That by just being here and being active, you'll you'll automatically and once you're over a threshold you'll gain access to commands. Anybody under that threshold, you don't have access to our command structure. So like newbies can't come in and trigger off some of our commands, but regulars can come in and trigger them as much as they want with no point expenditure because the regulars and I trust them. So like, you know, yeah. <clears throat> Later, King of Intelligence. Um, I join if you'll have me. I've not touched seven days for six months, though, and I have to re-download, so it won't be for a while. Pound coin. You'd also have to download better vanilla. We've got links in chat, but if you want to join us in voice chat in the meantime, for sure. 
Uh, you got a YouTube channel or book you would recommend on IT? Boom, that's not a book situation. IT is something that's like, oh, is there a book for IT? No. No, there isn't. You want to pick something within IT, maybe I can point you in the right direction. Uh, I'm with Professor Messer. Yeah, you like did you have to you have to pick something. You looking for network engineering, computer science, programming, what language of programming? Are you looking for graphic design? Are you looking for like neural network and machine language coding? Are you looking for like that's 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 a big question. That's a very big question. That's like asking, do you know any books on philosophy? Look, memes aside, though, if you want a starting point, look into Professor Messer's YouTube channel and buy some books from Mike Myers. Mike Myers has like like books dedicated to how to pass like CompTIA like uh, like uh, certification exams. Start there. It's not enough, but it'll get you like in the direction you need to be going. No, no, that's not Michael Myers. That's Mike Myers. It's yeah, M I K E M E Y E R S. However, if you are a fan of Mike Myers, he actually just put out a show and was one of the last few people to get their personal project out under Netflix Strikeout. And uh, it just launched. Is Netflix finally going to die already? Yeah, pretty much. They're on their last breath. What's up, Inertia? They're starting to means test people's passwords. It's like people, people don't stay around when you do that. Wait, they're means testing people's pass. Wait, explain that to me. They're going to be basically checking if your password is used in multiple locations. And they, they're going to see, they're going to try and figure out if it's you going to your friend's house and watching movies there with them. Or if it's you left your password with your friend. And if they can figure out that you left your password with your friend, they're going to charge you more for that. That is the mo That's it. <laughs> for those of you that have library cards on the Discord server, there's a section called resource list. Just read it. Um. Yeah, Poundcoin though, uh, if you wanted to jump in voice chat, you can join us in the meantime. We'll get you fucking running through it. Um, but yeah, you're going to need to download, um, technically three mods, but two mods, better vanilla and a fucking some pin. You know what? Like we can pull the pin mod. I've found, I haven't used it that much. So I'm, I'm fine with that. Pin mod? Yeah. Um, what is the pin mod, though? exactly. Let's see. Steam, steam apps, common seven days to die mods. Okay. So. The, that would be the OCB pin recipes and OCB pin recipes UI TDR heart. I'm deleting both of those folders. Feel free to delete them. I'm not actually sure if I even had those. <laughs> Kaiser wants to know, Kai, are there any books? <laughs> uh, some would say so. I don't believe them, though. Oh, I'm sorry. Molly, use this. Yeah, 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 use that. Fucking, somebody hooked you up. I need to change that. I didn't realize I didn't fucking change that one. That's from the Dylan Burns incident. Um, so we're yeeting the OCB pin recipes? Yes, we're OC, we yeeting the OCB pin recipes. Um, where okay. is... Do, I want to know what the mod does. It pins a recipe on your HUD. Yeah. Oh, I've never used it. Yeah, exactly. In IT book. Oh, you know what? I'm going to fuck with you people. Hang on, I'll be right back. Telling y'all, just start. Look, before Kyle goes like, like full. Hey, Karina. Do you know before... a book on editing? So I just go grab the giant fuck off manual I have for everything you need to know about it. Uh, fucking. Not After Effects, the other one. Premiere. Yeah, that. That's what... Oh, here's Kai's personal notebook. All right, All does, does this count as a book? No. Why not? It's a binder. Are books not bound? <laughs> not like that, no. I'm oh. not getting into the semantic. Yes, it is. <laughs> Just fucking you're, around. You're going to lose that one either way. You were already on a losing track and <laughs> you know it when you said it's a binder. How to, how to have such a losing argument. Uh, Kai's about to make all the OCP world's toilets flush at the same time. OCP Ren UITD HRHIT. 
That okay. One, right? Yes, that one. Egon. Okay. So who wanted this? The uh, distant red wanted this. <clears throat> okay. Just better vanilla. Procedure t hash dot code buff parentheses variable buffer semicolon constant buffer size colon integer semicolon oh, action perfect. colon tp action parentheses semicolon var a var b uh, b pointer colon p byte uh, semicolon c size co uh, comma d size comma b size colon integer semicolon begin if action uh, is uh, less than greater than PA decode then inherited code buff parentheses buffer comma buffer size comma action parentheses uh, semicolon uh, I'm sorry colon uh, if action in actions then begin B, t uh, B pointer uh, colon equals at buffer then B pointer equals nil then exit co a semicolon D size colon equals digest uh, uh, key size C size equal uh, colon equals buffer size semicolon if action equals PA calc then begin calc parentheses buffer colon buffer size uh, parentheses semicolon and uh, and else begin if action in uh, bracket PA scramble comma PA wipe bra close bracket then begin while C size greater than zero do begin B size colon equals C size semicolon if B size is greater than D size then B size uh, uh, pr a colon uh, yeah colon equals D size semicolon calc parentheses BT pointer carrot uh, comma B size parentheses close semicolon done semicolon move uh, parentheses digest key carrot comma b pointer carrot comma b size parentheses close semicolon de uh, deck uh, decrease increase that's a procedural command within object pascal deck parentheses c size b uh, col uh, colon uh, sorry comma b size parentheses close semicolon ink uh, parentheses open b pointer comma b size parentheses close semicolon n semicolon n else while c size greater than zero do begin b size colon equals d size Size semicolon. If B size is greater than C size, then B size uh, equals C size colon. Calc digest carrot key D, uh, comma D size parentheses close uh, semicolon. You know what? And just to just to give you guys a look into something else. Sleeper program activated. <clears throat> Let's see. Yeah, this will this will work. This will work. With buff do for i equals one, two f rounds do begin if i is greater than one, then assembly. Move ex colon buff dot x7 dot low, move edx dot buff x7 high, xor ex uh, dollar sign a5 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 a5, xor edx a5 a5 a5, sub buff dot zero uh, x0 low dot uh, uh, comma ex. Uh, SBB buff dot x zero dot high dot e, uh, colon edx move eax dot buff dot x one dot low move edx dot uh, buff dot e x one dot high xor a, a eax buff xo low e xor edx buff xos high. Oh, we're reading assembly now. We're just we're just reading assembly. This is for anyone who wants to know. This is this is the math behind an encryption algorithm. This entire thing is a multifaceted encryption program that I wrote. God damn it, it worked so well, it encrypted the memory and I forgot all of it. I wrote this when I was 15. That's what got me in trouble with the United States government. That's what nice. got me in trouble with the, the actual military. Like that's... <laughs> That's the last remnants of a program. <laughs> Zippy just timed out red for burdening her with that. <laughs> also, yes, Kaiser. <laughs> Don't worry. You're fine, red. And I'm going to fucking kick Zippy's points back. <laughs> it's good memes. That is what you fucking get. Red's it worth. Um... All right. There, there we go. Timed out, untimed out. Now you're all got what you wanted. Yeah, except what that does is delete all of Red's comments through the chat log. Damn. Really? Yes. When you time somebody out, you purge oh. them from the chat log. 
Um, you know what? Sometimes they got to just 1984 to chatter. You know what? Yeah, sometimes we just need to give them the Men in Black mind wipe. <laughs> They've never talked in here. Uh, gun rights is male rights. Did you find? Oh, awesome. Did you finally fucking lose the account? Did you finally get banned? Also cringe that you went straight to guns and not like, I don't know. You could have kept the mail rights still going. You could have said something like mail equity, like mail equality or something and, like that. That's just and, as pr provocative and still as respectable by like people who want to touch base. Misandry free USA. There. That's pretty good too. Hey, Kai, I'm waiting on an invite unless you haven't started yet. I haven't even started the game. Well, that's up. You know what? If it if it's like an inside joke that he just leaned into, that's that makes it a little bit more base, but it's still pretty cringe. That's fair. <laughs> Did this fucking... <laughs> Well, I I think it's a fair question Cupcake has. Like, don't you care about mel, uh, men's rights anymore? Yeah, is that, like, not your biggest issue anymore? That is my penis. Oh, my God. All right. You know what? Fucking seven days to die. You get alt f forward because you're such a fucking pain in the ass that you won't, like, you immediately take, like fucking possession of everything on my screen you can just fuck off and die that's that's what I happens to jk sleuths who are you reading that's like yeah jk sleuths uh libertarian socialism is normal cool, but we're anarchists here so pound, pound coin normal 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 um i'm still not over the fucking um i'm still not over that glazy masturbation shit from earlier uh, that that had me kind of just for what what got me more was him trying to pretend that he's straight edge because he's just not. You know that, what? It's far me? more irritating. Here's the math I was doing behind the screen. Behind the screen. Okay, so Glazy's got a like girl imitating hentai art. Uh, the Ohago face. Hey, we're still running James Charles. Oh, we already got um. We got somebody who oh, came James in with a, a ban invasion monitor yeah. on their account. That's just cringy. But besides that, um, you're running the Ahago phase. But I bet at one point, Glazy just had a day where he couldn't stop bapping because of hormone. Like something that just kind of fucking happens. And he was so mortified, like fucking mortified, that like from there out, he started smoking cigarettes instead whenever he got hardy. And like, that's why he's on this fucking kick that no cigarettes help me be normal. It's like, do cigarettes stop you from masturbating crazy? I'm gonna keep it real with you. I don't think it's that deep. <laughs> uh, I think, I think he just likes cigs. I think, I think he just likes cigs and fucking doesn't, you know, just wants to justify it. Everyone likes hey, cigs for a specific reason. You should like Not really. Some people just like to smoke. A lot of people just like to smoke. No, most of them. It fucking, it's when you talk to them about it, they're always like, "Oh, it helps me relax." And yeah, it's it illegal. is pretty relaxing. And it's illegal. But yeah, but but that's what yeah. I'm getting at. Is like that's still but, part of just like the nicotine like appeal, you know? Well, but I mean, that's it's every drug. That's yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, it's like, fucking chocolate. <laughs> like that's like people who have scotch every time they get home. Not not a beer. But hard alcohol every night, and they're just like, "No, nah, it's fine." Um, so like, okay, you're not so... you're not adjusting for something. No. Uh, yeah, and I hope Pound heard. Yeah, Pound, we're going for easy. I mean, sorry, but normal, not easy. Jesus Christ. Oh, not easy. Goddamn. Yeah, you almost no, fucked them there, guy. <laughs> Just download them both and we'll tell you which say, one. Do I have to download this again? Um, also, oh, no, by no. the way, your drone stays here, Caboose, when you're gone. By the way, Caboose has a drone now because Caboose is special. Nice. Um, no, I always had canon Caboose as kind of an engineer -y boy, so I very like him getting little robots. Normal download. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
and he's our scientist. Uh, Wither, I know. I know you guys can't see the game. Definitely Honestly, can. I'm not sure you guys deserve to see the game. Um, <laughs> Hell. Get fucked. Get fucked, chat. Um, chat always gets fucked. Lefty Pinot. Yes, but here's the thing. I thought it was Pinot. Or lefty Let's Pinot. see. What do we got? I don't know. <laughs> um, a lot of oh no. Now I want smoking. chocolate. People have smoked a lot more cannabinoids than they did nicotine. Nicotines was still considered like, in most times, like yeah, fucking gross kind of thing that people do. But it like yeah. I don't know. Tobacco can sometimes be. I don't know, so are you against? So you're <laughs> against cops? Wait, okay. Gun rights. If you're claiming to ma be male rights USA, you've been here for so many anti-cop tirades. I don't believe that you're Mail Rights USA now. Yeah, how do you not know that? Yeah, 100%. I don't believe you're Mail Rights USA. What, what, uh... They asked what if we're against cops. Yeah. Yeah. There's no way Mail Rights USA doesn't know that. I don't believe... This is a copycat. This I, is a fucking cop... You're a lefty, aren't you? I don't believe you're Mail Rights USA for one second. Mail Rights USA constantly gets into it with us. Small yeah. government how... good. That's, that's actually dude. a funny name. <laughs> like potential ban evasion on them already coming in. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the one earlier that fucking was a shame. He was such a fucking idiot. Uh, was the, the Bob like, Saget why one. Didn't, why didn't Gun Rights USA come up for ban evasion? The lore thickens, though, because, uh, because, of, uh, because of it, though. Again, you're not Mail Rights USA. You are 100% not Mail Rights USA. That question, Mail Rights USA would know the answer to. He'd never have to answer, he'd never have to ask that question. You're Which one was it that said? If we're against the cops, the are we against the Second Amendment? Oh my god, no fucking You're a fucking imposter. Right you're a piece of shit imposter. Who are you, what are you, and why are you here? He's yeah. sus. No fucking way. That's male, one of the reasons ma male rights hangs out in here yep. is our views on the Second Amendment. Male rights 100% knows the answer to that question. So who the fuck are you? <laughs> I think that's right. Male rights even did. I remember him saying that. Dude, why? Why are you? Okay, please tell. Okay, if you're a deranged lefty, why the fuck are you stalking? Why are you trying to like drag Male Rights USA's like name through the mud even more than it already is? Yeah. What do you have to gain from that? Come on. You already make fun of him. Yeah, so I'm fucking, like, dude, come on. What are you doing? Don't be that guy. That person. I'm sorry. We need to rescue male rights, says Kaiser. I know, right? Is it fucking, is this idiot holding them hostage? 100%. Also, sorry about that, chat. I actually didn't mean to hit it. Mm. I was going, I was about to. Oh, no, she did. Um, she 100% did. Don't believe Gun it. rights is still claiming that it's male rights. Mm-hmm. Fuck off. Don't believe you. Don't believe you for one sec. All, all communalists are really just secret MLs. Bookchin said so. Bookchin was proof of it. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot about that. Bookchin Is was an ML. consuming drugs at all in your entire life? Or just, can you just stop consuming? No, it's like, it, there's definitely a whole like entire life component there. No, 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 no. It's, it's a line. It's a line. It's not the I'm whole life. You can, of... you can, you, it's like, um, I, it's like doing, it's like smoking weed on a regular basis versus not smoking weed, right? Like it's, there has to be a clear line of demarcation for straight edge. There has to be like, it's okay. It's like being a virgin or not. You just, you just are, or you're not. Do you do drugs? You can used to do drugs, but do you do any now? Not occasionally not once every year not when my friends are in town not well nicotine doesn't count straight edge is no casual no sex no drugs and alcohol and nicotine are drugs kids so like straight edge there has to be a line in the sand from may 1st fucking 2015 I decided I wanted to clean up my act I stopped having sex with people I'm not in a long term relationship with and I don't do any drugs I don't even dr eat chocolate I don't fucking drink caffeine I try and keep it as clean as fucking possible
All right, you have a claim to straight edge then. But there's no exceptions. Does sugar yeah. count? You know what? I would count it. A lot of straight edgers probably wouldn't because it's socially it yeah because it's socially acceptable. Um, but I a hundred percent would count it. I'd count it before I even counted cocaine. No, I we're, we're not. Sugar. We're not straight edge sleuths. We're just going on a rant. So you're more real, Chad. I'm in therapy right now, trying to kick a sugar addiction. This shit's real. It is Talk seven times. It. It, sugar is seven times more um, psychoactive than cocaine. It it uh, the um, the response within the dopaminogenic uh, system of your brain is generally uh, allocated seven times more blood flow than it is for a cocaine response. It is absolutely stunningly addictive. By the way, Slews, uh, anarchists do not believe in like like rights as a concept. That's not a, or at least. What do you, you want? An, you want anarchism, Aspen? <clears throat> yeah. As anarchists believe in reality, which rights are the idea that they are given, taken, exist? Uh, it's simple. We don't. <laughs> yeah, which Kaiser? Which shows why straight edgers are fucking stupid as shit? It's because the line, the the line is ultimately arbitrary because ultimately, basically, anything that affects your your uh, your um, anything that's psychoactive, anything that affects brain chemistry, can be classified as a drug. So, like, technically speaking, I could probably classify your, like, significant other as a drug. Gord, that's not even where anarchists go. That, that's, that's more like a classical, like, liberal's idea of, of, of rights, like, of human rights. Dad, are you in the mine right now? I am in the mine. Oh, okay. I was literally following you into the forest. Like, where the fuck are you going? No, right? I'm Hi, in the, I am invite? in the mine. Oh, yeah, we need party invites. They were already being sent. Sleep deprivation is a drug. It's a drug I want to get off of. <laughs> Would you say you're chronically addicted, Caboose? Um, oh, I guess so. Wait, hang on. Let me check something. Um, nope. I love the little, like, program you got going on there. It's clean, it's pretty. Mm. Okay. Now, I fucking programmed that out. We even had a whole fucking thing about how... Oh, that was, um... Oh, God, that was, a. Uh... Okay, give me one sec. I need to stream deck that. And then that becomes notepad plus plus open you. And then let me see the anarchism command. Is anarchism a subset or superset of nihilism? Not intrinsically so, but they tend to go hand in hand. Nah, don't conflate that. There are anarcho nihilists, but we aren't a subset or superset of. We're a distinct group. Don't let the yeah. ego is tilt your view. Well, I'm just saying, like, the, the, like a strong... Egoism just... is a strong dose of nihilism added on. Yeah, your brand happens your to go hand in hand. The rest well, I'm of saying us, that, like, so anarchism much. writ large, like, doesn't necessarily... Like, it's it's kind of flexible as to where it, determines, it determines its, like, uh, I guess, reality axis, if we just want to, like, game theory it. Fascinating. But, like, you know... And there's large strains of anarchism that ascribe to some level of nihilism, but it's not, I didn't say it was intrinsically nihilistic, it's just, you know, good chunks of it are. Alright, let me try something here. Yeah, something about this command. Oop, nope, nope. Oh, and like one of the OG thinkers, like Bakuna, was very nihilistic in his like deconstruction of the church and state. Like, you know, it's just, yeah, it's there. There's, there's a good contingent of anarchism that's pretty nihilistic. Uh, let's see. Let me... <laughs> I, I love you so much, Kaiser. You know that? You're my boy. Um... So, 
So I just tested out the difference between the knife and the machete when it comes to like harvesting animals. The yields are exactly the same, but the machete's a little faster. Makes sense. That and none of us are specking another perk that would actually help the knives anyways. That would be Huntsman. And that's, you know, that's its own thing. Oh, are you actually specking into that? Uh, actually, let me double check. If I spec into rifles... I did not spec into Huntsman. Yeah. I need to get that like forgetting elixir or whatever the fuck it's called, because I need to I need to respect my build. I've horrifically fucked up. It's like sixty five thousand. What is? The forgetting elixir. It's not for available for purchase right now. Oh, I didn't even realize. Yeah. It's like sixty five thousand. There we go. Load from CSV. All right. I just realized it's daytime. Why am I mining? Um, I'm gonna fucking turn off a few things. Sorry, I'm doing diagnostics in chat, y'all. Uh, I'm gonna turn off. Oh Jesus Christ! Really? What happened? Uh, it's just fucking doing this live is fucking a whole thing. Some bullshit. Um. Oh, cat! I found my own M60. Oh, nice. So I'm gonna just create a button. Yeah, you know what? Triggers. Chat. One sec here. I'll just do this manually. I can do this faster manually than doing... Going into my fucking... Right. Also worth noting that communists were also pretty nihilistic in their breath of analysis. Alright, there we go. Alright. We'll just do that. We'll do that. We'll save that. It can be what it is. Um, and then we need to cancel. I don't give up on help. Save. Got save. Um, and then chat bot. Um, welcome response. I just need a quick. There we go. That. Um, paste that above it. Username, display name. Okay, so I need a variable set there. No, nope, wrong one. Username, variable set there, comma, shell name, radical, delay milliseconds off, edit appearance. There we go, save, save, done and done. All right. And let me do, where's my, there it is. We good? Nope, that immediately crashed it. Amazing. Also small government good, that, that's not really the, like, if we're presupposing that the pure definition of like pure anarchy is zero hierarchy whatsoever, like there's like maybe five anarchists that actually believe that's achievable or even desirable. Like, Pretty yeah, big yeah, that's not that's like who's who's advocating for that? That's that's what and I want to know. Co-op, something I discuss a lot. Like you, I want. I want a manager. He's just not the boss. The manager's got to taskmaster people. It's still a job that's important. There you go. All right. Now I just need to get fucking chatbot to shut the fuck up. There we go. You'll have a ruler under anarchy. They will come to power by force. I mean, first of all, those are two different statements. Like, for one. And for two, not necessarily. Like, the, like, one of the biggest reasons why people advocate for anarchism is that if power is spread out, and there's not really a lot of avenues for people to take power, 
even if there is somebody using force to get their way, that still like spreads out. Like that still spreads out the damage that they can do. It's hard to like there isn't any centralized systems that they could attack and then there take over. They'd have to convince whole communities and modalities to fucking get any like real 300, power. 375 years is what one group of anarchists managed to last for a small government. 375, what'd you do, Caboose? 375 years, no, no fucking dictators, no police, no laws, no judges, no fucking army. 375 years. What happened in that 375 what, yeah. years? What what happened? Where was their human nature? Why didn't some of them automatically try to dictator their way to the top? Would you now? I Why? mean, good. I mean, Why? good luck. If everyone in an if if in anyone if everyone in an anarchist commune is armed to the fucking teeth. And they're you can't, like, yeah, good luck. fucking no. Cupcake just has it. Fuck, you can't rule over the dead, moron. Here's the thing about yeah. that small government. I'm armed, and if you just want to borrow my stuff, ask, and I'll probably fucking let you. I don't give a shit. Try and take it though. You'll be put down like the dog you yeah. are. Right, and everyone else in the community would be looking for your ass too. Yeah, you do realize anarchists are like OG. Fucking small government. You literally are the dude who said I would kill you and take your shit, and now you're saying another tough guy. You are the definition of another tough guy. You are. Well, I'm not a tough. Fucking a holy tough shit, man. Tough, uh, small government. I'm. I'm a fucking wimp, but hey, I'll defend myself. I, on the other hand, have training from some of the most advanced military personnel in this country as far as my firearms handling goes. I will put you down in a second. Come through that door and try and fucking threaten me and my, my family and see what happens. I will not hesitate. I will defend and I will shoot to incapacitate. But you will not come through that door and threaten me or mine. I don't fuck around in that regard. I've been trained since fucking 13 in this, in this area. I'm not some internet tough guy. I don't fucking go around with a fucking rifle rack in the background with fucking fucking Molon Libre bullshit and fucking don't tread on me nonsense. But I will tell you right now, if you tried that shit in my house, you would not make it out of my house. Small government, no one here is claiming to be tough. You don't need to be tough to be good at defending yourself. Yeah, I mean, you know, pull you're the, trigger. You're, Light up sights, pull trigger. You're the yeah. one who literally said that anarchists would be a pushover because you're such a tough guy that you'd kill us all. You'd kill us all, by the way. And fucking take our stuff and then you would rule over our dead bodies like the retard that you are. All right. So, Brandon, homie, dude. you are the one dropping death threats on us. For the point of for the point of some internet argument, and you're dropping death threats on a group that is notoriously able to defend themselves. We went up against the fucking Russians, okay? Back when the Russians were actually something, not these pussy bitches they are now. Like back when they could conquer territory, we held them at bay. All right, you are literally nothing to the di the the anarchist diaspora. So, like, you need to step back, recognize who you're fucking talking to, and realize the historical context of your statements. So, good luck. God bless. Move on and go to somebody else because we're pretty much done with you. Do you, do you think that I need to be big to pull a trigger? You're a tiny little man. Homie, I'm big enough to hold a gun. It also makes them harder to shoot. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Ty's gonna go all odd job on you. <laughs> you can't handle, dude. It doesn't take a lot Holy of shit to handle. Shit. A Why gun. are you fucking on there, dude? Do you think you just had like a fucking like hand on hand fucking combat? Shut the fuck up, broski, and sit down. Take your juice box. Another and melting snow. I know, right? It feels like a has troll. He's you never shot a gun before. Are you? Not really are you? That difficult to handle. He's Have you ne ever been in a fucking fight there before? Shit. I love that car I mean, car anyway. carpe, carpe straight up. Holy shit. Small government says he's never killed a single single soul, and Carpe comes along and says, "Speak for yourself." I mean, yeah. I just, you know, you'd be surprised, dude. And like, let's be real here. You haven't killed anyone. But come on, don't fucking don't be that guy. 
fucking meanwhile yeah aj fucking i love these brain deads they literally assert their opinion so hard they have an erection mid typing they get so hot under the collar oh a thousand percent it's heated 300 confirmed mobs <laughs> hey pound coin hey pound hey, how's it going we're just vibing oh just fucking talking to idiots man it's just another day man just another day yeah tonight's been wild it's the yeah, it it's been. the it's the stream title. I found the perfect title. Been right about cops. Oh, that's the title that's been bringing in all these shit. Yeah. Yeah. Which is dumb because this dude, this dude is a small government dude, but he likes cops, I guess. So. It's like fun. fishing for dipshits. <laughs> AJ, well, AJ said he is Never so mind. erect, so erect like right now. He's got a three-inch tower. Hey small, <laughs> hey, small government, you were the one that could, that said you can single-handedly kill a commune off. All right. If you can't handle a team of people already going against you, you're not handling a team of people that are willing to kill you. All right. You're such nah, a you're nah, such nah. a fucking a, a classic example of fucking of a right wing moron. Yeah. I've it, always loved it, those it small is, government pro cops types. Like fucking pick one. You're. Yeah, it's like, he dude, said it. He said again. You're a tiny little man. Yes. Yes, I am. And this tiny little man would be the last thing you saw as your eyes closed for the final time. Click, click, boom, boom, motherfucker. What if he's a tiny little man? Again, do I you, still maintain it's a tactical advantage. Do you, do you, yeah. do, like... It, it's a dodge build. It is. It's a dodge build. <laughs> I mean, have you ever seen some of the Russian snipers? Those chicks were not huge. They were, they were dainty little women. And they put up numbers in the triple digits. Simo? I love the sort of you live in a society shit as well. Simo, Simo, Simo was not a huge man. Simo was not a bodybuilder. By any long shot. Simo was an average sized human being. Meanwhile, he put up somewhere between 550 and 800 Russian bodies. Hey, uh, small government, if you care so much about it being on Amazon, um... Where do you prefer to watch? Oh, a hundred percent. Spent seven years in max prison. You're tidy, bro. You're not spending. You're not getting a seven-year bid in max in prison. Get the fuck out of here. Where'd you stay at? Where, where's your papers? Yeah, where where'd you stay, man? We got people who served. We got people who did time. Fuck, where'd you stay, man? Come on. What were you in for? Yeah, where'd you do your bid? Is uh, server info in Discord. Uh, no, it's, it's Kai's just got it. Fort Madison at a most. And you're telling me you did a seven year big. Get the fuck out of here. And Cl uh, Clorinda. What were you in for? And Fort Dodge. Seven years on all those, by the way. Yeah, what, what did you do? What were you in for, fool? Come on. Where's your papers? There we go. Seven years on a, seven years on a what? Ten years. On a ten year bit. Shut the fuck up. What'd you? You're not going to fucking. What did you do to get ten years that landed you in fucking in max? That makes no sense. No, oh, maybe he sucked to see you off. What are you, you going to max? Only for ten years too. Yeah, so I'm getting that. It's like, did you take a plea deal? Are you a fucking rat? Oh. Yeah. Oh, is somebody squeal where the drop sites were? I was just going to say you probably sucked a CO off, but, I mean, there's always the possibility that, you know... You started in minimum and beat the fuck... Dude, get the fuck out of here. They're adding at least adding at least 15 years. If you're going to... If you beat them so bad that you went to max, they'd be at least adding 15. Get the fuck out of here. You're talking to somebody who, like, grew up with fucking gangbangers and shit, man. Yeah, I know rolling 60s and shit. I know fucking pyrus. Get the fuck out of here, fool. I know how the system works. I, I did 10 years in my maximum security, and now I've come onto a Twitch stream to be a big man. <laughs> <laughs> like, how the, how, do, the fuck, how man? do your old boys like that, um... How the guys that you fucking did that, bid, uh, that bit with, uh, how do they feel about you, like, just being a pathetic online internet troll now? Or can you Rough just not it. leave the house? Yes, inmates are famously known for calling themselves thugs. Get the fuck out of here.
You my Sally that killed the cop. Get the fuck out of here, fool. You're not you're not fucking going to max if you just beat the fuck out of some dude in minimum security. Then okay, better question. What the fuck landed you in minimum security for ten years? Minimum security in the last 10 years? Well, is doing life again. How the fuck did you end up in max with a 10 year bid? If you're Jesus, fucking. Look at this place. Jesus Christ, dude. Why'd you even get a fight in minimum security? <laughs> you're allowed to watch TV there. <laughs> Shit. You're allowed to go outside, fool. How the fuck were you getting in fights in minimum security? Just one extender like an idiot? I mean, he's clearly an idiot. I but... mean, I've heard the minimum security prisons can be kind of nice sometimes. So... That's what I'm fucking- dude, you're allowed to play like tennis and shit. Uh, wait, we, you need- I just need to invite you. Yeah, okay. You need to add him on Steam. Did we do that already? Not yet, no. Uh, I'll send my card to Kai. Okay. Let me, uh... Hold on, let me toggle that over. Make sure I'm clear so I can actually do this shit. Holy fuck, if we find a nail gun dibs, please. Right. Oh, I saw, um... I saw one at the fucking store. Is he the vivid issue of law judge five times about the risk assessment goes up and they transfer you? Dude, what the fuck were you doing then? Why are you hustling so hard in a fucking minimum security prison, bro? <laughs> like, did, did you, did, was no one paying your commissary? Were you that, were you that fucking jonesing for like, for fucking, for your honey buns and shit? Um. Someone took the last of the Doritos from the shop. Yeah, he was just like, fuck that, I gotta stop putting in work. <laughs> Okay, so I added you, uh, or at least I sent an invite. Government, small government, how the fuck? Okay, first I off. I don't see you though, so let me know. Have you got a Hitman icon? Yes. Yeah, it's his favorite game. Good game. Yes. Um, Alright, coming back. Also, small government, how are you going to be the one that hates cops and CEOs, but you also advocate for their existence in a society? the fuck out of here because he's a fucking idiot <sighs> you wouldn't say that to my face in real life if you know who i was yes yes i would and i definitely would fool you want to look if you want to scrap we totally can you want to do mma rules boxing muay thai just let me know we can we can set that up right. that ain't no problem told me like, you're trying too hard man this is sad uh, i still don't see you in my list though you invisible I take a yes. suck on a lock to your face. Get the fuck out of here, fool. You ain't doing shit. <laughs> but we live I in a. I was on that. There you go. But we live in a society. Says himself. Exactly. I don't advocate for law enforcement. Then what's your problem with anarchy? Like capitalism is entirely reliant on law enforcement. Yeah, I fucking dude. Again, you're having a conversation with somebody who's functionally deficient. Never done anything, dude. Everyone smoked weed. Shut the fuck up. Literally, you, you've never I broken refuse. the law. Okay, cool. Yeah, you know what? Yes, let's go with that. Let's go with that. Hundred percent. Nobody, nobody, nobody here smoked bud here. No, 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 Not no, 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 no. A hundred percent. That is, I am towing that line. With nobody here has ever broken the law. Let's go I, with that. Wink, wink. Have never broken the law. Wink, wink. Yeah, I've never sped once in my life, ever. I've never jaywalked. I've, I've never, I've never, never, never drank before the age of 21. Never I've smoked. Never pirated software. Nope, never, not once. I've never gotten a fight outside of a outside of a sports setting ever. I, dude, never, that's, I totally have never shot items without no, items. I, no, no, no. We're all perfectly fucking good little angel children. I, it's very, FBI guy, if you're listening, just heads up. No one yeah, in this fucking all, chat. We're all good. We're all perfect. We've never you broken the law. I'm saying? I haven't stolen anything. Yeah. I mean, we know how the law enforcement works. If you say you haven't done this and you have to, like, say that without being prompted, totally means you haven't done it. Yeah. 
I've never, I've never, uh, you know, been affiliated in any capacity. You're not scared of the government? I feel like you kind of fucking should be. Like, have you? I mean, you, you if you think, dipshit. if you think you're a fucking big dick motherfucker, what do you think the government is? They make you look like a pussy ass little bitch. They do shit. And they get away with it. You don't. Yeah, no no laws are being yeah, broken in by, this chat, Chris. By, by the way, you're a shit criminal. You got caught and did time, moron. He got caught, went to minimum for 10 years, and then went to fucking maximum for 7. Because he's a fucking idiot. I just love, like, continually insulting people for being on Twitch. You got switched on and only seven years. Bullshit. Get the fuck out of here, dude. What the fuck did you do then? What, what, how'd you cop your how'd you cop your minimum security bid? How'd you fucking end up in minimum security for something you got snitched on? Hey. Oh, so so you hang out with known Wait, snitches. Got it. Oh, you saying we've never broken a lock? This guy's full of shit. He's like 19. Yeah. Yeah, he's like a fucking. I, I'd go even younger. I think he's like a 14 year old kid that got beat up at school and is just trying to feel tough. I mean, at the end of the day, oh like, you went to jail, man. You've, like, demonstrably 45. suck at it. I'm 45, July of 70, 1978. Get the fuck out of here. So. Why do you suck at being a criminal? Are you are you too stupid to know not to hang out with fucking snitches? Yeah, well, again, what were you doing? What copped your 10-year bid? Didn't anybody tell you? Or is that just the low caliber of criminal that you, you tend to hang out with? What did you do, small government? Your paper is already out there. Everyone everyone can search it up if they really wanted to. What in the fuck facility did I just tunnel into? What is this place? Oh yeah. I, I went into a pop in pills and some like underground fucking tunnel system mm -hmm. has taken me to something industrial. You found the drug lab. Alright. They've got a vault and everything to separate it. I gotta tell you, I've had bootlickers of all co all stripes and colors in here tonight. I have had fucking LARPers, I have had fucking dummies, I have had a dude literally talk about fucking Nazis, like, they're, they're chill people and shit. A amidst all of that, man, you are the dumbest motherfucker that has walked through those fucking vir uh, virtual doors in a very long time. <laughs> He's claiming Max for... For fucking forging papers, bullshit. Complete, oh, he got shit. He got ten years minimum. And got in a fight at fucking in the minimum security pr uh, prison, and then it's, did seven years in a max prison. For for doing papers, like either you're a liar or you're the dumbest motherfucker on God's green earth. I'm gonna go with dumbest motherfucker on God's green earth. By a Zero. numerous rage report. Get the f dude again. Get the fuck out of here. I Xerox my way into maximum security. <laughs> hey, I found a nail gun. Hey, there you go. Hey, I found two nail guns. There you go. Hell yes. Nice. Yeah. I take it one of the builders are gonna want that? Yep. Yes. It is literally just crying for money. You're the rule follower. Dude, you went to prison. <laughs> Call me. You went to prison for forging documents, dude. Get the fuck out of here. Sorry, man. You're the loser in this situation. <laughs> you're just trying to make impact driver. You're just trying to make yourself feel better. I may take the Yeah, impact we are not responsible for your shitty life decisions. Yeah. I've got a bad feeling about this. Yeah, I may want to take that look at that impact driver if you don't want it. 
I was figuring gonna give it to you because you guys are the builders. Uh, I, yeah, he I, got he I got just, okay, so here's the thing. I just want the impact so driver. I know he gets uh, caught making a forgery laboratory, not just like printing a few documents here or there. I just and then he fucking gets like. 10 years only with somebody snitching on him, apparently. Cop on the plea deal. Well, that means you didn't like, get an opportunity to turn state's, uh, state's evidence. So what were you forging? He said, I, he said, uh, here, he said, uh, he said he was forging, where is it? Checks, IDs. Yeah, he said, I, pr he, f he printed documents, checks, and IDs. Oh, you're the toughest guy on the block. You're a Passport white, you're a white, checks. you're a white collar criminal. You do realize that, right? Like Kat, who's on the line with us, grew up with real criminals. You are a paper pusher. You're literally what's qualified as a white collar criminal. Yeah. You're, you're the same as uh, Martha Stewart. I'm not kidding you. Martha Stewart went for the same sort of category of crime, went to jail for the same category of crime as this guy, white collar crime. You're I will not drink my goddamn tea. <laughs> yeah, well, uh, it looks like mine locked and crashed some reason. Uh, did you turn off anti cheat? Oh yeah, we. Yeah. You did turn off yeah, anti cheat. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Do you, right, um, I don't know. Yeah, like uh, get the console open when it fucking boots up and see like if we can't get an error out of it. Uh, it's it's trying, it's trying to read past end of stream. Say again. Tried to read past end of stream. I don't know what the fuck that means. Interesting. You got all my business in the hood. Okay, well, who are you affiliated with? What what click you claim? The one on one Xeroxes. <laughs> okay, what click you kill it? What click you claim? Who would you sell to? Who who was your clientele? Bloods, Crips, Gangster Disciples, Vice Lords. Okay, so you sold to everybody and nobody gave you shit. There was never any trouble at all. Oh, shit. Bullshit, you sold to the Bloods, bloods and, and Crips, Crips are gonna make a big fucking deal. And Vice Lords. Apart for it. Get out of here. Like, GD is for one of grimy as fuck. They wouldn't even know to buy- Like, they wouldn't even know that you have to buy that sort of shit. What are GDs doing with- I mean, I guess they could get, like, fake IDs. But why the fuck would they give about, like, forged checks and shit? Or fucking, like, fucking forged passports and shit. What GD is gonna need a fucking passport for? You're adorable, my man. You I commit numerous felonies every day and you talk about anarchy on Twitch. Bro, get the fuck out of here. Did you fail in Hollywood? Because, like, seriously, the creative writing... Um, I love that he says that. Did you know the average American commits three felonies a day? People running on bond. Get the fuck out of here, dude. Again, what, what what were the GDs buying? That that gets that's got me curious. Like the Vice Lords, yeah, they might need a passport to go between the states and wherever else they're going to and shit. I wonder if I can. Like, come on, what are the GDs get? What were the GDs getting? Ah, I missed. I've got a bad feeling about this. I love that drone. Got him. That was my drone for a second there. The Midwest, I've been all over the country. Checks. They were just getting checks. Get the fuck out of here. I'm such a badass, big dick, fucking criminal motherfucker. I forged checks in Minnesota, bitch. <laughs> I forged checks for every single gang in the state, fool. I've uh, dumped my console error into Discord. The LA, Houston, Orlando. Okay, I know you're bullshitting. What? Okay, so who'd you sell to in LA? Who'd you sell? Who, who's who's who are your boys in LA? All right, let me look at this. Okay, Vegas too. I know Vegas hoods too. What's what's going? On? Where where were you selling over and fucking? Who are you selling to? Bloods and Crips. Okay, what sets? Uh, this is like the dude earlier. Like it's it's hilarious. Fucking. 
Um, when they like, I know something. Mm, here's somebody that knows something. Let's have them talk. Hmm. What's that scene out here in LA? Um, Let me know. Apparently, okay, hang on. Vegas, I do. Nah, fuck, nah, fool. Tell me what sex you were selling to in LA. Who are your boys? Was it Rolling Sixties? Was it? Were you right? Were you selling to the Di Daimu boys? Yeah, you can't like bring up these people. Like, you're talking about their hometowns now at this point, dude. You're just fucking up further. Um. Okay. So. Not a fool. Look, and the square is out here. No oh, gangs. You shit. might. Everybody's um, gonna know what the territories are. Okay, so you might actually have to do pound. Um, you might have to do what we had to do. I don't know though. Um, I know it. You just installed it again, right? Oh, do I have to run it vanilla and generate a world? I well, okay. So, are there any saves in your game to start with? Uh, I'd have to check my app data. Okay, so one, clean out all the saves. Two, verify your files. And yeah, um, people are saying delete all the main saves for the, the end of stream exception. Um, verify integrity of game files in Steam and do, make sure all your game fi uh, save files are fucking handled and go from there. Small government again. Who'd you sell? What sets did you sell to out in fucking out in Cali? I like, let me, like you said, you're in LA. What sets did you sell to? There's a real simple answer. You should have just a handful of names here, because I know for a fact a lot of the dudes set sets trip out here. They'll fuck. They they don't like. They don't fuck with each other. I've never, dude. This is just fucking. <laughs> it's been a stream. It's been a stream. It's it has been really has been. It's, it's been a good one. Yeah, it's. I like it, dude. There's it's fun. there's been a lot of fucking dummies who wanna like pretend. I mean, it's like fool. Like literally, like. You want to tell, like, he could have gotten away with it if he stuck with the Midwest. I don't know shit about, I don't know shit about what's going on out there, but, you know, bring it to LA, bring it to Vegas. I even know Houston hoods, too. It's like, making shit up at every corner, though. It's like, come on, dude. Of course, you can't fucking tell of me course he's selling Of course everybody. he's making shit up at every corner, Karina. He's a fucking wannabe. I love how he, he equates political activism to fucking criminality automatically, though. Y'all out here fucking talking about anarchy. I'm out here committing three felonies a day. <laughs> and been in prison over 20 years. Learned that you can only make it. You can only make it on your own. So you suck at being a criminal. That's what I've what I've learned. Like you legitimately suck at being a criminal. Yeah. You need you need a click, fool. Even if you're not in a gang, you need a click. You're you're dumb enough to do a twenty a twenty year stretch, and act like it's something. That's nothing to be proud of. That's the man showing you who's actually got the big dick. You fucking bent over and took that government dick with absolutely no lube for twenty fucking years, and you're sitting here acting like you got a fucking big pair on you, homie. You're the United States government's bitch. Yeah, you can't get a job nowhere. You can't. You can't vote. You can't legally own a firearm. You know. You're a fucking joke. And they know I ain't no snitch, fool. Again, you can't make it on your own if you're committing felonies every day. How are you? Who are you gonna fucking sell to these days if you're not fucking? Like you sell to like gangs, dipshit. You're you're involved with people that have tons of partners and shit. It's not just individual actors. Ooh, wait, can I pick up? Wait, this isn't Zomboid. God damn it. I don't need a job. And I, and I have a Glock 40 right on my desk. That don't matter if they catch you while you're asleep, dipshit. Yes, no gangbanger has ever been arrested while they have a firearm in their possession. 
Incoming enemies. Prepare Nobody for calling. Nobody's summarily executed for just having one near them when the police no-knock enter, right? That's the thing. He just, he's got a Glock, too. Hey, that's the shit. Glock 40. <laughs> Acting like a Glock is something. Do that. That's the only thing he said that convinced him. It convinced me he might be a gangbanger. He's acting like a Glock is something. Yeah. I got a fucking Glock next to me, and fucking. I went yeah. to Walmart yesterday, man. Okay. <laughs> fucking. You, like, dude, I grew up with fucking in the firearms industry. A Glock ain't that shit. Millimeter auto round, dude. Get the fuck, dude. We that ain't shit, homie. My f stepfather. My stepfather has an FFL, homie. I'm allowed to possess f law enforcement and military additions of firearms as a result of that. All right? Your, your, your goofy little fucking retail shit doesn't impress me. I get actual gear. Sit down, know your role, understand you don't have the biggest dick in the room, and maybe, with a little humility, you wouldn't end up in jail like a punk bitch. Who made you a bitch in jail? You seem, um, you seem pretty fucking yeah, torn up was, about it. Yeah, he was fucking in there for he was in there for seven years with three cellies that were doing fucking were bids for murder. Goof? Yeah. Oh were yeah. You no. Someone's goof. A uh, hundred percent. He was somebody's wife. Three cellies that were doing life uh, life bids. Are you shitting me? He's not for the murder. Yeah, he's not the fucking top dog in that situation. He's taking it. Hundred percent. Ain't no fucking way. Seven and a half, and you were sucking dick for seven and a half years, my boy. Little little morning dick. Fucking, I personally, as a gay man, find that the morning dick tastes the best, but, you know, I like it freaky like that. So I discharged, I turned down parole at six years. Get the fuck out of here. Fucking, so did you prefer the taste of your, uh, your, uh, your fucking prison master's dick in the morning or in the evening, small government? He turned, yeah, exactly. He turned down parole. Get the fuck out of here. I'm sorry, did he just say he turned down parole? Yes. <laughs> Homie. Homie, stop LARPing. I lost over two and a half years of good time <laughs> because I don't follow rules. You do. You says so the person who was put in prison. You're such a person. Sorry, I gotta actually. Undo You're such a pathetic motherfucker. Jesus Christ. I'm so cool. I break rules for fun. Look at me. I'm soliciting. <laughs> <laughs> You're so pathetic, man. This is, this is it's kind of getting sad now, frankly. Yeah. Like that's one hundred percent what's going on. Like minor fucking crimes refuses to admit they're anything but. Like, and then, and then, awesome thing ever. And then he also has the worst fucking strategy possible, where he's dealing with like government documents and shit, and he's selling them to like broke ass fucking bangers on the hood and shit. Like, why weren't you scamming like rich suburban dipshits for like six hundred bucks for an ID? Because he's an idiot. One way or the other, this dude's an idiot. Like, either he's a terrible criminal. Or Yeah, either either he's a fucking idiot criminal or he's an idiot LARPer. Either way, he's a fucking idiot. <laughs> How you doing, Poundcoin? Uh same error. I have deleted my update folder. Uh, Re-verified. Still getting the uh, right. end of string thing. Give me a sec. Yeah, exact. No, small government again. Late That's to the why you get on that understanding. Uh, P other people have gotten this error. You're not alone in this error. This is a seven days to die error. I too have also just suddenly found a really fucking weird place I stumbled into. It's like it's got like hogs and cages everywhere and like weird labs growing super corn. Okay, that is strange. Uh, Again, small these, government. Like, Hey, 
Again, small government, you were the one that was being allowed that you allowed to get took in. You didn't do the race or nothing. You just fucking, you know, like, come on. Oh, yeah, he 100% th thinks anarchy means no rules. He's a fucking idiot. This dude, again, yeah. even if even if we took this dude at face value, right? Face value says he has no political science education whatsoever. He has no civics education whatsoever. He has no economics education whatsoever. He has no philosophy education whatsoever. He pff, Apparently, he's so fucking stupid. He got tagged for a white-collar crime, went into a fucking minimum enemy. security, and fucking ended up doing a fucking 20 bid, basically, because he's too fucking stupid to not punch a dude in the face. Um... But either way, like to un to have him understand some like erudite uh, erudite uh, fucking philosophical political concepts such as anarchy, anarchism, anarchists, you're asking too much from this person. Like a hundred percent, this dude doesn't understand any of those concepts. He doesn't even fucking understand that. I don't know. Maybe he doesn't I understand. <laughs> he doesn't even understand criminality. Yeah, maybe I shouldn't lie to a dude who grew up around fucking gangbangers in Los Angeles Valley. To, about gangbanging. I mean... L.A. gangbanging, no less. Jesus Christ. Kind of gold standard. <laughs> I mean, it's up there. Well, if it's gonna be a gold standard gangbanging, it'd be L.A. Yeah, Cali banging had nothing to fuck with. Which is why I know, like, this dude wasn't selling the fucking bullshit out here. Tell him you're gonna sell a fucking... You tell him you're gonna sell to everybody out here? Ain't nothing gonna happen? You're not affiliated your damn self, and everybody was just cool with that. Get the fuck out of here. No one was going to back you up and protect you, surely. Um. Holy fuck, this is one of the I, coolest Trader Joe's I've ever seen. Legitimately, I'm like, cabin. all I'm finding for the uh, read past end of stream exception is fucking clear out the files like it, it clearly like people uh, it says on alpha 20 be sure to wipe all data all data all data from previous versions and try a new map with a new seed you have not used previously so yeah I, i've completely deleted the app data folders and all saves any player data or anything like that um have you tried going into a single player world first just to see if it generates a world? I'll try that now. It's like all this punk ass shit. The game fool, you're complaining about being ganged up on in a fucking Discord VC. I doubt you're gonna be taking anyone's shit. Nah. Dude, you'd walk into this house and you wouldn't walk out. It's just that simple. Again, you gotta fight in a minimum security in a minimum security prison and ended up doing max with like three cell with three cellies or into a life fool. Again, I just, dude, come on. What was the fight even about in minimum security? I want to know. What, what, what was it? He didn't give him did a he, reach he... around while he was fucking him in the ass. Wait, what'd you, what, what was the fight of minimum security over? Did your, did, did, did your, he not did let your, you use the payphone? Did your celly not spit on it first? I was also the law clerk and sue the state on behalf of, uh, what does it say here? On behalf of prisoners all the time. They don't like that. Bro, get the fuck out of here. Mm -hmm. They, they fucking love it. They absolutely fucking love it whenever prisoners try to, try to represent themselves. They, they salivate at the fucking chance that there's some dumb fucking mate who thinks that he's a lawyer, that thinks that he's a lawyer. Every time. Uh, his it's a, AJ AJ said AJ said his celly kept his balls tucked back during the throating, and small government wanted the bounce. Yeah. Makes the feeling of those balls against the back of his uh, against the uh, his chin. Nah, he's mad. I see the government. No, I'm just saying you'd be fucking. You you weren't doing shit. You fucking failed every one of those cases. Hundred percent. Ain't no fucking way. Ain't no fucking way you took prisoner, the prison, the state prison, the fucking task. Fake anarchists, they follow rules, like, 
What rules? What, what rules do I follow? What, what rules? What you got, you homie? Kids understand that I mean, you 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 clearly survived prison, and I doubt you were doing that without following any of the rules in there. <laughs> Shut up, bitch. <laughs> you're right. You're right. Social inertia. You're right. Hey, uh, hey, small government. Watch this. Hold on. Hold on. This is gonna be great. This is gonna be great. There we go. Uh, While well, you just talk shit, at least Kai can multitask to this public. Uh, so, uh, chat, don't worry. There's no more small government spam. Um, he hasn't been banned. He's just been shadow banned. So he could speak to Kat and myself. Like, the mod staff, I think, can see it. Um, but basically, it's just like he should be used to. Somebody bigger and more powerful than him just told him to shut the fuck up and stop being a little bitch. And he's just going to have to do it. Because he has no choice. There's nothing, he, <laughs> there's nothing he can do to change that matter. Yeah. Did you hear about the Reddit heaven banning thing recently? Mm, no? Yes? Maybe so. Um, uh, they've started, instead of shadow banning people, they've started doing it where they ban them and they can only be interacted with, with bot accounts, but all the bot accounts are really supportive and positive towards them, and so, like, they believe they've got friends. Um, that's gonna lead to some top tier schizo posting, and I am here he for is, it. He is running now, so everybody knows he's running like the little bitch he is. He immediately fucking said, Bye. He's a little fuck. Bye. Yeah, um, public. Uh, yeah, yeah, public. Aspen's got the answer for you. You flag him as suspicious and, uh, and then flag him as monitored. Or you flag him as monitored, then suspicious, and they'll just be shadow banned. Fucking, also, I don't have the elixir to buy. It's oh. not an option for me. That's a shame. Yeah. Um, fucking... Oh, here's There's another... There's a learning elixir, but I want the one that forgets. <gasps> I just found a Shamway Foods. This might be, like, our, like, source of sandwiches. Our source of antibiotics. Yeah. Cuck W. Guy's a dumb fuck. Yes, he most assuredly was a dumb fuck. Um, that was. Oh, he was entertaining. Yeah, he was. He was funny. I just. My senses have picked up something. Fucking sold them vice lords and crimps and fucking GDs and pirates and shit. Ain't nothing went wrong. <laughs> the, the, the famously, groups that love to share resources. Yeah, no. Ain't no fucking conflict of interest at all going on there. Ain't a one. Oh, it is. Okay, I managed to start a single player game without issue. I've gone to join again, and it's got a little further in loading, but it's still throwing the same arrow. Interesting. I gotta tell you, I got nothing. Like, usually. I'll keep bouncing off the Yeah, usually, usually fucking clearing the. Um... Wait, if it's not because of the mod, verify your integrity. Yeah, I've done that. No, this is a seven days error. It's not spamming you guys with joint messages, is it? Uh, you're fine. It's, you're it fine. shows that you're leaving, but no. Yeah, do uh, Public, take care of yourself. Hey, Kai, where do we put treasure, treasure maps? Where have we been uh, throwing them? Um, you know what? Just put it in gardening. In gardening? Yeah, I'll get it. Okay. I'll make sure I get it in there. Good uh, to know. Yeah. See you later, public. Yeah, public, that was uh, definitely a, a show for sure. Um, I, 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 that was, um, I don't even know what to say about that. Like, homie.
Is that would that be the definition of like a sweaty tryhard? Just blatantly oh, yeah. lying. Just what? flat out lying. Not even doing it good either. So apparently small government's still working. <laughs> I mean hey. God bless him. Oh Watch for that leaving. Incoming enemies, prepare for conflict. You said you were leaving public. I'm not acknowledging your new message. Oh my, this is a big building. <laughs> Alright. It's the worst criminal I ever was a pretty good one tonight, but I also like the uh, doesn't understand the meaning of spectrum guy earlier. Oh yeah, he was special. That, that, was, that was a good one. He was very special. I also did read the article, so it wasn't a medical article. It was a report. Blood spot, wasn't it? No, not the blood. Oh, the other, the other one. It was a well life article. Yeah. Which is basically health ex like not experts even just people who talk about health and reading and putting it back out there. But it's it's not like doctor written articles in which it's using out of date philosophies in which it's trying to stingently say ADHD and autism are separate to the core, and it's like yeah little, but they still are. Tr but like no doctor would treat them the same, even if we understand psychologically if they're on the same spectrum. That's just stupid. That'd be like, oh, this person has depression. That means they can only take one pill for depression. I dude, the entire fucking argument was f stupid as far as I'm concerned. I mean, he, the guy's like literally, uh, you know, arguing that I, fucking you had to have all of the conditions of like, all, you know, all of the characteristics of autism to be I've autistic. Got a bad feeling about this. See, it started out as I thought they were somebody who was autistic who really wanted to feel special, but by the end of it, I think they were actually someone with ADHD really not wanting to be called autistic. I don't fucking... I actually think that's where it broke down to. I have no clue. All I know is that it was bad shit. All I know is they didn't understand the definition of spectrum. It's nice to have a topic that I can weigh in on, though. <laughs> that is fun. Thanks. I got. I I found a level six military bag. Cool. Let's take a look at that. Thanks. I'm just killing strippers. It's like a weekend. <laughs> yeah. It's just like a weekend. Very GTA. Just just another Wednesday. Uh, man, I started dying out loud when he said we hadn't committed any crimes before. So Kaiser, no, 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 Kaiser, we 100% are innocent in this community. No one in this community has ever committed any crimes whatsoever ever in our history. We are perfectly innocent little children. Yeah, crime, crime free zone. Yep. 100%. It's not like we have a phrase or saying called be gay, do crimes or anything. Nah. Uh, I bet, I bet he believed, like, he, he's got that same, like, I bet he thinks that, like, gay people are inherently weak, therefore gay people can't do crime or something shit, stupid like that. Oh, probably. Yeah, like, cri crime requires, like, strength of masculine character or some shit like that. Do you know what he reminded me of? Do you guys remember Second Life? Uh, I yes. can't say that I have. <laughs> Alright, so you you know Second Life. Do you remember the like the Sons of Anarchy motorcycle club style role players in that oh, game? Oh god, yes. He, he, he was one of those. He was one of those. Oh like, yeah, no, no, no. That's, this, his mentality is something I see on Second Life so fucking often. Okay, so what is Second Life? Um, uh, it's the metaverse before metaverse. Oh, that's true. Well. It, it's just some open world MMO fucking shit. You can buy real estate. You can fucking live your life. You can go to a fucking club. It's just, it's literally, it is, the, everything you need to know, Cat, is in the name. It's, uh, it's, it's an open version open of VR chat, essentially. Yeah, it's a semi-open source virtual chat game. Oh, it's not open source like, at all. 
So it's like VR <laughs> chat without any of this. It's like you can without the VR. Edit it pretty fucking great. Uh, it's in a lot of ways it's actually more capable than VR chat, but it's also had like over 15 years of fucking development. Got a Cupcake, much bigger marketplace than VR chat still, that's for sure. Cupcake, you gotta realize that I built my first PC ever within like the last three years. I bet, I bet Cat has no idea what MVU yeah. is. I, I, I was a firm console gamer for like most of my life. You know, that, that uh, small government guy was a second life uh, motorcycle club rock player. Just oh, yeah, like, massive vibes of that shit. I remember, I remember going to those sims and trolling the shit out of them. They were easy picking. What, what'd you do? Um, well, you ever seen Second Life Griefing videos? No, I have not. I just should have Uh, <laughs> grief the fuck out of The Sims. I, since I know how to, you know, write or use the fucking scripting language in Second Life, I just wrote a bunch of griefing, griefing, share, griefing shit, and then spawned it out there and just had it wreak fucking havoc. Many, many, many years ago, like, about ten years ago at this point, I was in, uh, Wahat. If you heard what? about that, the, the group of people on Second Life who weren't around dick bombing the uh, virtual landlords being interviewed as new financial moguls by serious tech news channels. Oh, that kind and of you, shit. And you would just go around fucking. Oh, I have a nail well, Because the game has real estate, there were people who. It, it, it was like almost like N the NFT thing, but like a decade ago. There were people making well, actually, serious. Well, it actually had real fucking value. It did. It, it actually had utility. But there were people making serious money off of it. And one of them was oh. a woman called Anshi Chang, I think? Yeah, uh, Chang. I don't... I forget her first name. She's she just... We call her the Chang. Yeah, she, she was like... She was the slumlord of Second Life, basically. Sorry. And she got interviewed by, like, uh, a couple of serious, like, tech channels and things. Uh, in the virtual world, and th there were groups that were like, while she was being interviewed, just like spawning thousands of flying dicks and things. Those were such good times, man. Apparently, that, Law, Law, that... Law and Order did a Second Life episode, and it was thoroughly embarrassing. Says AJ. Oh yeah, no, it didn't have it. Fucking didn't get anything right about Second Life. Well, other than right. the uh, the sex the sex stuff. Who? Who did the fucking uh, furry episode? For... That was CSI. That was CSI. That was CSI. That's cool. I know someone who, back in the heights of Second Life, was making like four figures a month selling uh, furry avatar accessories. Oh I yeah, no, you can make good money of that shit. I was making like four hundred a month just selling some Star Wars themed stuff. Imagine like. Being in a job or, or like being on a date, and somebody asks what the fuck you do while you're just selling like furry, furry porn and accessories on Second Life. Just I, uh, imagine what that conversation goes like. Yeah, try dating and like try t dating and trying to be, like, oh, what do you do? It's like, oh, you know, I'm between jobs because I stopped being a full time porn artist. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't, it doesn't sit well. <laughs> no, no. How how do you report the income from your furry virtual penis business to the IRS? Uh, ten ten ninety nine uh, miscellaneous. You don't need to label the context of anything. Ten ninety nine miscellaneous Pardon. income. Yeah, Second Life uh, does the taxes for you. <laughs> That's actually kind of based. Yeah. It's not like it's a huge amount of effort for them. They just give you a ten ninety nine. It's just nice. Also, if you don't make, there's, I forget what, but there's a certain amount of money you're making, you don't really have to pay the taxes on it. Dude, this building is huge. This, I, I've just been wandering through this fucking Shamway building, just like collecting loot and shooting random fucking enemies for ages now. So many wanderers out 
We should uh we should start crafting spikes for the horde knight because that's gonna be coming up uh, real soon. Oh shit! It's day twenty. Yeah. Because uh, the the base said, uh, yeah, we need spikes. Have you done a drop base in this one? No. You, you dig a basically big hole down the bedrock and line it with concrete, and then on board night you sit in the bottom with like propellers and spikes and things, and they all drop down the hole. And yeah, none of us, none of us have the trap like levels yet. There. Yeah. Is there robotics we need for that? Uh. Robotics, advanced engineering, like a little bit of everything, really. Like just so intellect. Just figure out a meta on machete. I've got two robotic. I've got two gun. My senses have picked up something. Well, I learned one of them. I've got shot that was a dude just hurt just behind the wall. Jesus. I just want to stay here and fucking flat because no one's gonna. I'm trying to remember which one of those uh, TV crime procedural shows has had an episode of Prince uh, about the Prince of Persia game, where beating each level unlocked like a new page in an Excel spreadsheet. Oh so God, can... that pissed me off. Um, what <clears throat> what show was that? Small I... sm small government finally left. Oh, wow. Nice. Um, it was one of God. I, um. What was the one where they had the two people at the keyboard at the same time? That's, uh, that's, uh, fucking, oh god, it's NCIS. Okay, well, yeah, I think it was NCIS. Because they do a lot of the stupid tech shit on that show. That is clearly written by someone that doesn't understand how tech works. Oops. So in my mods folder, I should have better vanilla and the two recipe mods. Get correct? rid of those two recipe mods. We just pulled them. So only better vanilla. Only better vanilla. Yes. Jesus Christ, there's something else out front. Jesus fucking Christ. Dude, this has been a slog. And I don't even think I... Oh, it's a fucking... Really? There we go. Alright. Are we... Am I... Jesus Christ. Jesus, there's three floors to that building. Plus fourth, five. Oh my god, dude. We're just gonna have to come back here. Um, Shamway. Share it. Done. Where is... There's like one more zombie left here where I'm at. I have no clue where the fuck it is. I'm just going home. Fuck like this. I'm tired of <laughs> Oh wow. What's up? I uh, deleted the better vanilla, re-extracted it from the RAW and re-dropped it into the mods folder, and as soon as I've emptied open the game, the console is just going batshit. That'll do it. I've got a bad Hey there non-binary, thanks for the sub. <laughs> yeah. Panic. Panic at the disco. Get the fuck out of here, dog biter. We have, like, what kind of stuff was it, Kai? Was it the, uh, donate? Uh, exclamation, what, you, the, the fucking coffee? Yeah, was it a coffee sub or a Twitch sub? It was a Twitch sub. Okay, see, so, like, yeah, remember we went through that whole, like, hey, we probably shouldn't Twitch sub thing. I'm assuming it was just, like, Bezos bucks. Nope. Duh, well. Oh, uh, I pissed. Where did this mini horde come I, from? I pissed, I pissed Alex off. Alex left early. Alex raided in and was like, I gotta go. You, I love you, but you're pissing me off. So what, I, what were you talking about? I asked I asked Alice what they got up to on their streams, and they said, I've been investigating the Manosphere. And I said, you know what? You need to stop calling it that. That is the dumbest goddamn name, and there's no one that's ever going to take anything seriously as long as you say shit like, oh, we have to dismantle the Manosphere. I'm like, you might as well say the hippity-boopity-doo-doo. -doo. I'm like, it's fucking, it's a stupid name, and it completely undermines everything you're attempting to do. I, for one, would probably pay more attention if people were calling it the hippity boobity doo doo. Right? <clears throat> Fucking dude, manosphere. We're we're investigating the manosphere. I'm that like, wasn't even a name that they designed. Now, wasn't that lefties that made that? Yeah. Oh yeah. 
I'm like, dude, yeah, that's that's know. some fucking stupid ass fucking naming. I'm like, you might as well. I'm like, dude, the first thing that pops in my head is Manos Hands of Fate. I'm like, yeah. I don't, I don't even think of fucking what you want me to think of the first time. I think of like one of those Victorian submarines with like corkscrews and pedals and shits. The Manosphere. Yeah, that that actually, yeah, yeah, that that, Master, that tracks. We are not alone. Um, I have an M60 schematic. Uh, I mean, frankly, anybody could take it because I imagine we just have all the parts lying around at base. Uh, Kai didn't laugh, no, so no threat. Uh, yeah, what do you call a pansexual person dressed in a Santa Claus? Yeah, I, but I didn't. Even, uh, are you all going to be following the January six hearings? No, I'll I'll fucking yeah himself. Wait, what's the manosphere? <laughs> um, okay, so basically, <sighs> it's it's a term that a lot of salty lefties came up to describe like. The red pill, the incel shit, the fucking pickup artist bullshit, and like, what's the other one? The MGTOW shit. Like, they basically just grouped all those, like, different groups into, like, one thing and said, here, this is what we're against. Which always does wonders for discourse, by the way. Pickup artists and garbage men should switch names. Cool. I'd be down with that. Garbage men are, like, literally responsible for keeping society functioning. I love it. Have you seen the uh, New York Department of Sanitation dress uniforms? No, I have not. True heroes. I right, say, so if, if you put in enough time as a garbage man in New York as a sanitation department, you get a dress uniform, and it, it, it is some sort of true stolen valor shit. It's great. I, you know what? I'm all for it. Where the fuck are these idiots coming from? You know what? Fucking. It's called. I mean, frankly, like, look, I'm, I'm just going to be real with you. I don't think shit's going to happen with the January 6th bullshit. The only people that are going to be thrown in prison are just going to be, like, dumb fuck lackeys. And nobody that actually did anything is going to be, like, held responsible. I'll bite that bullet. I have no faith. Alright. Back to what I fucking was doing before. Jesus Christ, you can't fucking... You can't do any inventory management. These fuckers just come up on the base immediately. Ah! It's like, Jesus fucking Christ, go away. Well, that, that's what I, that, that's what me and Kai are getting at. Is like it's, it's a functionally useless label because it's just too many groups that are being grouped together. It just, you know, it just muddies discourse. It's a stupid name for a variety of reasons. And I fuck, I'm going to call it out immediately upon seeing it. Like, Jesus Christ, people. It's not useful. You're going to undermine our own discourse. Just knock it the fuck off. And like it's not it's not hard to distinguish between these groups either. I like the, like pickup artists are clearly very different than incels. They have like almost not, I'm not going to say no overlap, but like I mean very different yeah, goals. And yeah, shit. definitely different goals. Like that's <laughs> Yeah, like one doesn't believe they can get laid due to like being genetically defective and the other ones are trying to teach you how to get laid uh, in it, under with like with like no matter the cost up to and including rape. Yeah. Oh, dude, that guy we investigated that one night? Fucking Jesus Christ. Yeah. Um, I, saw, I saw a breakdown of all the different kinds of incels as, as they categorize themselves. And, uh, like, th there's chin cells who think yeah, the thing wrong with them is, is like, yeah. they're unmanly or whatever. And the one that, like, on the list for me was like, wrist cells. Yeah, wrist cells, abomination cells, uh, fucking... Uh... Uh, what's what's the one that describes the eye again or something? It was like it's can like low canthal till cell or some shit. And then there's autism cell and black cell and all that sort Absolutely of shit. Absolutely fucking wild shit. Yeah. Black cell. Yeah, basically, uh, black people are like inherently less uh, like uh, attractive in their eyes. So therefore, like uh, if if you're black enough, you just can't get laid ever. I've heard of this. Do you know how much? Do you know how pathetic you have to be? <laughs> like you've got on one side one team going, stop fetishizing black people, and then you've got a team on the other side going, I can't get laid because I'm black. <laughs> I was yeah. like, oh my god. Oh, and none of this is worthwhile to the discourse, by the way. Yeah. Like it's just I don't know. It, yeah, I called it out immediately. I was like, "What are you doing?" 
and fucking yeah, Alex is like, oh, we're investigating the manosphere, and I immediately was like, that's some goofy ass shit. It's a dumb term, and it under completely undermines fucking as soon as you say it. As soon as you say it, it's like the what? Like, you need to just not use that term. Like stupidness of the term Actually, aside, it's just not functional incels either. Incels and MGTOW are very different as well. I know Cow is talking about like incels and like pickup artists, but yeah, those are, those are like basically polar opposite. You know, they just like one doesn't believe they can get laid full stop, and the other believes they can get laid. It's just what counts as getting laid is a very uh, let's say a uh, problematic issue when it comes to consent in those interactions. Make tower, don't fucking touch women. Go away. Yeah, they're, they're voluntarily away. not. You know, that's, yeah. that's what I'm getting at. Like, it's just they're, it, the, it f- they're like women vegans. Uh-huh. <laughs> Jesus Christ, that's accurate. Vegans yeah. are voluntary herbivores. Make tower, voluntary sub- celibate or voluntary homos. Yes. Um, I actually started watching the stream a- after that raid. He had say in urgent. Yeah, I, I like. I heard the rant and didn't realize it was here. Alex. We got we got no problems with Alex, dude. I either, love Alex. By the way, men are very. That's why Alex and said, "I love you, but you're pissing me things. off. I have to go away." Like you know, like I'm just gonna call it the way I see it. Like I'm not gonna fucking censor myself on my own channel. You say manosphere, and the first thing I think is you're a doofy motherfucker. I think you're being a little pejorative to men, at least a little, and I. I say shit like, oh, fucking men, when I'm with my girlfriends directly, when we know who we're talking about. But if it was, like, a stream, public, how about we not use, like, all brushing terms? Well, the manosphere isn't really that, to be fair. It's still, like, describe. It's, it's still descriptive in that it's not talking about just men in general. It's talking about, like, well... All the bullshit right wing, but like, it isn't. Kind of it, but as, a, as, as a term, it doesn't actually indicate that. Yeah, but that the, is the term toxic masculinity already encapsulates all of that, and it sounds a lot less fucking doofy. Yeah, and and it doesn't include me, right? Like talk, to- like talk. Yeah. To- if if you say it's like saying all white people are the problem, all men are the problem. You just lost like a chunk. Just right out of the gate. You're like, what? It, what is the manosphere? The manosphere is this element of toxic masculinity within our society that it links a whole group of elements and is a problem with and contributes to and furthers the rape and suffering of. It's like, so you called that the sphere of men. You just said all men. In your title. Like it's, it's, it's wrong. It's not descriptive. It's too inclusive. It's the, it's, you got optics problem with manosphere. Like it just is what it is. And I'm going to fucking point that out because I got to tell you, I've dude, the only way I came across manosphere was people making fun of manosphere. That's how I came across it. People were fucking like, Jesus, get a look at this shit. Have I heard? channels that go all right boys welcome to the manosphere but those are usually pickup artists people who are trying to grow who are already kind of grifters trying to grow their brand and they're just taking advantage of people lumping them with other people where the fuck i mean yeah like at some point you gotta adapt and they they have but still like just where are we putting Oh, we're putting it in metals. Okay, springs are in metals. Got it. Um, yeah, it's 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 not a good name, and it's stupid, and I'm gonna call it out as not a good name and stupid every time I fucking hear it. You know what? I like I like what himself said. It sounds like something second wave feminist would have came up with. I, 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 you know, I don't know who I describe it to. I don't know where I'd go from there, but all, all I know is stupid name. My senses have picked up something. All right. Just is what it is. I call it like I see it, kids. Sorry. Yep. And spreading is real, though. I mean, yeah. 
Wait. Man spreading is only real because we have balls. Yeah, I was gonna say, man spreading is fucking bullshit, and I'm gonna call man it. Man spreading is real and not a problem. Shut yes. The fuck up. Yeah, like, did the, the, the fucking, like, I'm sorry. Let me, let me put your tits between your legs and see how you sit. It's just a function of biology. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh shit. T, did it, did it work? It did work. I deleted the bit of vanilla completely and re downloaded it and re extracted it. So it looks like a. It's not clean and small. Yeah. Well, if it uh, works. It, it, yeah. If it works, it works. Now I have to remember how to play this fucking game. <laughs> Inertia yeah. said, what? I was about to say that about the, the fucking tits between your legs. Yeah. It's, dude, manspreading is a function of biology. I'm sorry. Just get over it. It's not fucking some secret. We didn't have the secret, ma like, patriarchy meeting and be like, we're going to take up two and a half times our space for, because women. We sit that way because it's comfortable. I've got a bad feeling about this. Plus, like, fucking cruel to assume that every man should so that they can sit like a woman. I do it. Let me tell you. It's easy if you talk. And only if you talk. And I don't really think that's a formality we should be making men do. That is I'm fine. I'm fine with making men necessary. tuck as long as we make all women strap their tits down with ace bandage. Oh, they have to bind. Okay, yeah, no, that's fair. It's you know what? I kind of want to see what that society would look like. Yeah. Ultimate androgyny, the society. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah I, let's just, long... I kind of, you know what? Let's, let's run that. Let's I'll, just, let's see what happens. I'll give you my, yeah, I'll give you my head. man spreading. No problem. I'll fucking cross my legs. I've done it before. Um, it's not comfortable for any length of time. And given the, the wrong seat, you will smash shit. But yes. I'm, I'm more than willing to make this sacrifice as long as all people with titties, uh, by the way, uh, sorry, only female presenting breasts. Um, men with breasts get an exemption on this one. Yes. Um, if you are female presenting and you have breasts, then guess what? You've got ace bandages in your future. If you want like to compromise, I'm fine. Like I said, I kind of want to see what the society looks like. And... Um, or anyone even in chat thinks about it, or the actual fuck off feminists consider it. Yes, we know that will damage your breasts. We know it'll be harder for you to nurse your children in the future. Just like we know it'll be harder for men to procreate if you expect them to squeeze and crush their testicles all day. It is your selfish dictation of their body. Get over it. Like, it's just, it's just the stupidest shit. It's like, Jesus Christ, this is your complaint? Centuries of patriarchal rule and your complaint is man-spreading? Like, it's difficult for me to take an argument seriously. You're right? Like, if, if, if there's like a group of five people and four of them are making serious points... And then what? Uh, and then the fifth person is like, "Yeah, but we need Unicorn Fridays." You're like, "What?" I can't take any of you seriously now because of that fucker in your group. Like, it, it is an optics issue. It is an optics issue. That's why I, it's why I argue against some of the things I argue is because Jesus Christ, you're gonna fuck and, it up for the rest of us. <laughs> and this is also why anarchism has its. Um, Decision making process. Because with, within anarchy, like people think within anarchism, everyone gets equal say about everything and everything. It's like, that's not really how it works. People are going to follow and listen and educate themselves on things, and they will find a person who's more educated, more educated in this situation and listen to how they're voting. Because holy fuck, people like this would get a platform for like a millisecond, and then everyone in a room would be like, uh, vote to ignore everything they said and never give them an opportunity like that again. We will never we talk of this again. Yeah. One Twitter discourse is to tone it down a fucking bit. Yeah. Uh, wait, wait, wait. But what about Unicorn Fridays, though, says himself? Um, 
<laughs> this is like I, I do kind of want unicorn Fridays. Um, dude, who was it? Oh, it was the fucking Jojo Rabbit where he's eating a head of uni- unicorn while he's fucking eating out of the trash. Um, this is like how I always put the toilet lid down so I'm not the only one who has to touch it. Plus, flushing splashes, but mostly fuck off. I actually, I've come to the conclusion: always put the lid down. I, Y'all sit. It's comfy. I I I just. How is it difficult to be in charge of the toilet when you're the only one in the bathroom? Like, I, I, look, I know, I know, getting up in the dark, in the middle of the night, fucking, you know, I get it, I get it. But you know what? Nobody's there to lift the lid for me either. So here's a crazy idea. I know, I'm going to sound like a fucking Republican. Take a little personal res- responsibility and check if the toilet seat is there. Don't just blindly sit down in the middle of the night expecting things to magically be there. Just, just. Oh, yeah, that shit's stupid. You know. Like, Always sit because it takes longer and then you can sit there and read or fuck about on your phone and just waste time. It just, like, it. Yes, I'm definitely of the camp sitting superiority. So, like, you don't ever have to touch the seat. But I also clean toilets for a living. I touch everyone's toilet seat. I'm actually quite used to it. I just don't like touching. Like, guys, it it can just be more comfier, and you don't need to fucking like yank on your willy to aim. Uh, non-binary said. Um, <clears throat> uh, okay, so first let's start. Um, Aspen said, "I'm nervous to go back to doing yoga in person. I've gotten used to be able to do it, uh, being able to adjust things when needed." Aspen, yeah, right. Uh, I always put the dang lid down because I'm clumsy and drop stuff. Non-binary said, I figured out if I spent less than $90 on a shirt, then I'd have money. Who knew? Non-binary is one of those fucking Tory idiots talking. I, I saw one of the ads about like government uh, government pittance that they're pissing your way. Um, I saw that ad making the rounds in the UK. Uh, well, Lada said, all I heard is we get Unicorn Fridays now. Who cares about pretending I want to learn stuff? Um... Well, in the king community, unicorn means somebody who is more than happy to join an already existing couple and get between them. Say that to usually a woman. AJ said, "Say that till your dick tip touches the toilet bowl." Been there. That's usually what they're looking for, cat. I would actually say, that's that's the key thing. I'd say they're usually Rev, looking for. It. Rev had to say most oh. unicorns are. There. Uh, Rev said, "I had to no, scrape saying- uric acid buildup off urinals at the golf course." Yeesh. Good lord. Uh, what's the coordinates of ice? Uh, oh, uh, wait, did yeah, you I'll not? Just, let's just a group. I sent you. I sent one over. Yeah, I sent I sent both of those. Here's a party yeah. invite. You should be able to see us on maps. Answer your party invite. I just sent like a dozen, two dozen, three dozen, four dozen. I gotta remember how to do that. Give me a minute. Go to your, go to tab, I... go to the players on the right hand side. Or something. Mm-hmm. And can you do it from there? There you go. All right. Now on the map, you should be able to see us. Cool. Um, I don't have to go into the first com- place. Co- come to co- either Caboose or I. Or a cat. But Caboose and I are both at the base. Cat's coming back to the base. I am not going back to the base. It looks like you're going backwards on the map, Cat. I, you know what? You know what? But that's just because I'm objectively superior to all of you. Yeah, it looks he like you're traveling backwards. <clears throat> this is this is what happens when you become an egoist, chat. Jesus. This is truly what not following the rules looks like. Jesus, non-binary. Why? How? Wait, I, Jesus Christ, whatever. I, I'm not even going to ask. Um himself said I literally just finished at work where the last thing I do is scrub the toilets of an elementary school <laughs> oh, Jesus that's that's gotta be fun um uh Walata says with that explanation Karina you have ruined their unicorn Friday um I hoped it would be a horse like creature but with many colors maybe a spectrum of them as chat knows what a spectrum is but Walata says my unicorn Friday is now ruined yeah I am sorry Walata uh, stuff's a lot tougher is. than normal, isn't it? Uh, ten times Friday. more Friday. tough. Friday. What? I'm, I'm just gonna run then. Disappointingly, it's usually 
a, a straight couple and one of them wants a bit of queerness in their life so they're asking hey we saw you cross the bar are we like your energy their relationship for like a weekend or something i had a sub trial uh, two months ago something like that maybe um and he fucking sends me a text after the first trial confessing like this a paragraph of shit that like I'm oh I'm so sorry sir I lied to you and fucking I actually the reason I can't do that is because I have a partner and I don't want them to know I'm like okay so homie He's, and of course it ends with are you would you still you know accept blah 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 and it's, like, and it's like okay one a BDSM relationship is built wholly off trust you started by lying to me just like right out of the gate like just right out of the gate you lied to me yeah that's not gonna work like, and uh, I'm like, you know what I told him? I said, not only do you not get more sessions, I want one more session. He's like, why? I said, I want to punish you. Did you just not do anything? I fucking whipped the shit out. I came the shit out of him and then just left him sitting there chained up. <laughs> As one does. Yeah. Dude, like, you, homie, you need to learn. No, like I've... I've been with my partner for 11 years now and i've been wearing a collar for seven of that and you don't you are lie. you just don't yeah no you, you don't it doesn't work you don't do that you know what i am actually gonna have an unironic like reddit rant right here okay so i saw a post on r slash relationships so that's the level of discourse that we're sinking down to. oh god here we go it's the it is the classic scenario. The girl asks the cis guy, "What was your be who what was your best date?" And of course, you know, she said he didn't want to answer the question. She told she tells him, again, tells all this time, you know, that she would be okay and that he can tell the truth and she won't be mad about it. And it was with his ex as is tradition. And just Fucking seeing the absolute warfare that went on in that uh, went in that comment section over trying to defend this woman for, for getting mad over asking him to be honest was just fucking hilarious. Just I, I just don't I don't I don't understand how people like willingly like enter relationships and just lie. Like I just I don't like. At lying back and forth, it's like Come expected on. to lie to, get you, to like uh, get you geared out. Come on, like not that's, hurt each other. That's the, the horde. Who that it's the horde the base. Ones who use literal instead of figurative all the time. Yeah. They they don't actually mean what they say. They just want an outcome. For sure. I just I don't understand. I just don't. I don't get it. I don't, you know what I, you know what, I'll bite this bullet. I don't understand, that, like, people, usually cis women. Just have mind at you, it. That, that just, like, have this constant need to be validated. And, like, it just, it, I don't get it. Like, I truly don't. Like, I just. And it's funny, because I'm in the bi. I, I'm dealing with that, where there's a lot of girls that list themselves as bi, but they act no different than cis girls. And that's where I'm at right now. Right. Um, weird okay, so um, pound coin. Little, yes. Just help yourself. There's armor. There's weapons. There, there's ammo. There's you know. Yeah, you got like one day before Horde Night, so like honestly, that shit that you do is really gonna matter. <laughs> like just keeping it a buck with you. Um, you might wanna here. If you want to be like super useful, craft spike traps because we need them. Um, I'm just gonna take like some mid-level you know, crap because like I have no the skills. In the bin, there is 200 ready to go. All right, here. Oh, is there? You just um, need to be placed and upgraded. Well, lay them down and upgrade them. There you go. There's some antibiotics and some first aid bandages too while you're at it. Also, Kaboos, can you please put my nail gun in the tools chest? I did. I'm Thank you very much. I'm just well, away. Kai's currently that. playing with it. No, no, no. Fair. No, no, no. This is my own nail gun, bitch. Oh, that's right. There's two nail guns. Yeah, I found my own nail gun. Besides being outside, I was waiting for morning so that... Like, I'm outside having food, but I'm waiting was... for morning so that 
and I can turn in a fudging quest out in the Arctic. Good morning. Well, it is morning, yeah. Yeah, I'm heading back. Also, there. also, why do you have a why? Why did you take a quest out in the Arctic? It was the special quest to set up the trade of quest. Oh, like well, yeah. I thought I thought you meant that like you accepted a quest from that trader. I uh. did just for shits and giggles. Oh, that's. And then it immediately closed after I left. I don't do it. Right. Anybody want a laser sight mod? You um... know what? For all the shit that I give Jen, at least she's close. You know. Because yeah. we put her close. <laughs> yes, I did very much so. <laughs> Fuck it. That has nothing to do with that fucking sexual harasser. Called her a capitalist whore last night. Yes. But she is. It's Trader Hurt. Where I'm at. Who, Trader did Hurt. you put it on the map? Where I'm at. <clears throat> Oh, you guys don't have it on the map yet? No, I'll put it out. There. We always yeah, no. we always share the traders as like. Yeah, there should be Trader Joel, Trader so, Hugh. I just completed tier three. Uh, mm. What should I get? Dart trap, melee mods, farm bundle, motorcycle parts. Motorcycle Probably parts. Probably motorcycle parts. Yeah, so you can have your own motorcycle. Yeah. We're all kind of grinding for that a little, probably. Um, I'm gonna bunk some trees for XP. You sure, you don't um, want like a real axe. Actually, just want to do some. An upgrade. Why are you using a stone axe and not a real axe? If if you if you're just like if you just want some easy do we XP, not you have could a also. Steel? Do we not have an iron axe or steel axe in the base? Dude, we got fucking also... like level six iron axes. We got fucking like yeah, we got shit tools up there up yeah. above you. Also, there's a. You could also just head into the mine and just you know. There's pickaxes in there as well. All I need is a chassis. Uh, for the mini bike or motorcycle? Motorcycle. Motorcycle. Ah, shit! I don't have that unlocked yet. Uh, I do. What game is this? This is Seven Days to Die. Cool, Kitty. Uh, forged, um, f forged steel, mechanical parts, duct tape, leather, and electrical parts. I can just make that for you. Yeah, that ain't shit. Just join the stream. Well, welcome, Kitty. Welcome, Kitty. Normally we're over in politics, so like. Forgive us if we get like super political on you all of a sudden. You're like, whoa, what the fuck? Like normally game streamers don't get that political. Well, normally we do politics. So also it's been a really weird fucking stream tonight. <laughs> so um, is it more useful if I mine than uh I don't honestly at this point just grind some XP, man. Whatever fucking like Cool. Where's the mine hole? Is that a concrete one outside? Um, yeah, it, it's it's one of the hatches. Yeah, I don't know which one though. Just, we need to label them. Yeah, right here. Just don't fall. It's bedrock. Uh, it's chill. Yeah, it goes straight it. to bedrock. Thanks, thanks, cool kitty. Fucking welcome and thank you for the follow. I presume that was you. Yeah, that was you. Thank you for the follow, cool, cool, cool kitty. Um, all right, let me. What was I? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. I was gonna build fucking caboose a motorcycle chassis. Um. Don't worry, Caboose. Daddy's got your motorcycle for you. Thanks, Kai. Let's see. Um, fucking duct tape, leather, and electrical. All right. All right, y'all. I just shared Trader Hugh. Thank cool. you. I think I need to make some duct tape. Duct tape. We're making. I duct played this tape. ages ago, but I need a way more boxes to organize stuff. Um, not a, not that hasn't changed. Most of this game is still inventory management. There we go. I've got a is it, this is, is what out for twenty now. Yes. I think the last time I played was fourteen. Oh, you're in for some changes. Caboose. Yeah. Yeah. I. I was uh, gonna ask that town clerk. Yeah, maybe that's why you didn't know how to select, like find us on the map. You hadn't done the ally shit before. Uh, Caboose. Yeah, it's been a while. Your uh, your chassis will be ready in one minute forty seconds at the workbench. Alrighty. Uh, Just vehicular bullshit. Nice name for a chest. I like it. Uh, that is. That is, uh, that is purely my idea. Uh, Cat to Sulu. Fucking... Yeah, you can't see Cat on screen, because we're not in on air. So True, moved people, on air. People can't see you. Well, fucking, it might fuck stuff up. We'll see. Um, some people don't respond to being moved very well. Uh, I will do it here in a second, though. 
Uh, Pound coin, if this breaks you, I'm sorry. Yeah, I, I have no Discord perm, so. Okay. Is everybody present and accounted for? Uh, I don't think so. Pound coin? Yeah. All right. All right. Cool. Now, now um, on the right hand side of the screen, you can see the players who are on the multiplayer map. Catastilo would be at the top. Caboose, our, uh, our token straight white guy. Um, Hello. <laughs> myself. Hi, my name's Kai. Karina. Um, Karina, Karina doesn't get some. Yeah, Karina's our resident Canadian. There you go. Um, and Who the fuck do you think you are? There you go. And pound coin representing clearly the Italian lira. Yep. Um, Reckon Trash Island. Jesus. How does it feel to be just such a god forsaken people? It's so bad, dude. It sucks so bad. <laughs> a AJ, I swear I'm not attacking you for your shitty Discord, even though your Discord is clearly shitty. Um, fucking Wallada. Yeah, I feel you on that one. Oh, uh, there's like my knuckle in my bowl, no, and now it just stinks. Kavos, you want the most, it, the most Canadian Karina gets. You need to hear uh, Karina driving and somebody do something that she disapproves of while driving. <laughs> yeah. Okay, to Holy be fair, shit. last time someone like outright cut me off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever. Funny. The most Canadian version of Karina that exists. All right, bud, why don't you fucking... Like, literally just leans into it. It's fucking ridiculous. I find it amusing how just sometimes Karina's accent pokes through and it's the thickest fucking Canadian accent I've ever heard. Mm -hmm. Hilarious. With the exception of her father. Because holy shit, does her father have the most stereotypical Canadian accent. Um, also, um, Pound, um, we have uh, XP sharing set at a kilometer. So you're going to be just getting regular XP drops from anybody else. Cool. Yeah. Take off. I'm up to level three, three so far just from digging a hole. See? There you go. Withers back, kind of. that accent does come from a uh, small town, Ontario, and uh, what is Winnipeg? And Winnipeg, it, uh, A, my dad has it. B, hockey culture carries it across Canada in general. It is a learned tongue one kind of gets into to slur at people like in hockey it's like that's what, bud is the most used ever on ice and my brother i so, hear him and his like friends today? argue with each other and i just over time like learn things more and more and heard my dad talking and just yeah spirals right. you were corrupted yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, cat, like, if you find, well, like, like, I don't have that total really on me. There. Do you have 45 really. K cat? I have 29. Give me your 29 and I'll cover the rest. All right, bet. I'm at, I'm at our sexual harassers. Cool. Uh, well, I'm in the tundra right now, so. Our sexual harassers. Yeah, I'm in the tundra right now, so let me just, uh. I thought you said our slash sexual harassers from it there. I mean, and, you know, fucking. Uh, you uh, you'd like. Have you seen that um, that subreddit? Was it Dumois? No, I never heard of it. Oh, they're they're like the new um, female dating strategy, only with a um, with a celebrity worship bent. Ooh, that know. sounds that sounds toxic as fuck. Oh, it's it's it, dude, Dumois. Um, fucking, it, it is. You'll see it around eventually. But they were, um, after the Johnny Depp verdict today, <laughs> we were all going oh, in to check. We were all going in to check. Dude, they were they're like, uh, oh. listen to her kind of crowd, aren't they? Oh, uh, uh, she is always right. Ew, that's the worst kind yeah, of not, Yeah, not only believe all women, straight up believe even the known liars. Like, it, it doesn't matter if fucking, like, it doesn't matter if you're in a relationship with a man and we have videotaped evidence of the entirety of the marriage in which he never laid a hand on you, never physically abused you, and she literally kicked the shit out of him on a daily basis due to the overall uh, overarching patriarchal arc to history and all the evil that men have done, he should just fucking take it. Yeah. As you do. Welcome to Demois. They um they also are obsessed with celebrities because uh, apparently it's born of an Instagrammer 
who does like celebrity gossip named Dumois. And but they hate the 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 Instagrammer. They're like they're not like the the subreddit started because of it, but they've like divorced themselves from the Instagrammer. And it's it just it's super insane, like leg beard, fucking female dating strategy, female incel, but with a celebrity worship bent uh, thing. It's it's absolutely cra- cra- fucking insane. I love the digital age. It's all so fucking stupid. Um, yeah. Fuck. Enemy. Let me try and fi- here. Let me try and find it. For enemy, and you could do it. You could do it. I believe in you. You could do it. <laughs> Do, 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 do. Uh, I think that's I, yeah okay. I gotta go to yes, the bathroom. Yes. Here you go. Uh, Can someone say it so I at least know. Anim- I'm in- fuck. <laughs> Anonymity. <laughs> mana mana. Anonymity or anonymity? Which one are you asking? Anonymity. Actually, think you fucked it up, there, guys. Anonymity, which is a sea creature. Or no, no, no. anonymity. You, you put anonymity. Anonymous, like being anonymous. That's anony- anonymity. Anonymity. Yeah. That doesn't sound right. Oh, anonymity. It's a a n o n. So anon, and then uh, fuck a- anonymity. It's fucking. Anonymity. You got hit the anon. Anonymity. Welcome, <laughs> welcome, <laughs> welcome, welcome, welcome to English as a Second Language for people who speak English as a First Language. My name's Kai. I'll be your teacher today. Um, also, Reddit. Uh, uh, the Reddit link is in oh chat. Oh my god, I think I said it for a millisecond there. Edit. For uh, for Dumois. Um, so if anybody wants to go visit the absolute garbage fi- dumpster fire that is Dumois, there are feel free to. Um, but yeah, dude, they were molding over that depth trial. This is the death of me too. Women are going to be raped in the streets as a result of this. I'm not kidding you. Um, yeah, like it, God it damn. yeah, no, it was, it was fucking crazy as shit. They were losing it their minds over a fucking defamation trial. <laughs> um, so yeah, it, it was it was funny. Let's just put it that way. <laughs> I was I was having a good chuckle at their expense. I don't blame you. And uh, fucking heard published a uh, a fucking she dude she had a loser uh, loser statement ready at the ready as soon as it was like it like got published on her Instagram as soon as the fucking try you know the announcement was made. And fucking she locked her, like, her res- the responses to only people she follows. Of course. <laughs> and she, um, she fucking, like, you know, th- there was, like, three responses. I'm not kidding you. Like, nobody, like, n- just nobody. Like, she, dude, she's persona non grata now. She's persona non grata. Dude, that bitch is per- <laughs> Here's the thing. She thought her career could be... Amber Heard, the woman who survived uh, Johnny Depp. marital abuse and like took Johnny Depp down, a known alcoholic in the industry. What she did was <clears throat> tank her career oh. shortly after it just got to its own height. <laughs> cool kitty, you're gonna have to try harder than that. Every part. <laughs> cool kitty don't don't, don't cool. instigate kai <laughs> cool no, kitty no, said no, no, amber no, is a no, dumbass me, please don't ban me we are we are about to be at like she lied at every fucking corner she tried to destroy <laughs> a man's fucking career she's fucking deserved anything she fucking gets yeah you're gonna well, have to the, the you're gonna have to try charity to of claim thing really didn't help her either dude not nothing helped her case dude it was that was the Honestly, that was the funniest. That trial was akin to Russian war in Ukraine. Like, it, as far as legal proceedings go, it was like that. You're like, Jesus Christ, I thought they would have showed up with more. I know she's not, like, you know, Bill Gates rich, but she got cash laying around, right? Get a decent attorney. What the fuck is going on? It was, dude, it was, it was bad. <laughs> it was fucking bad. Um, No, a lot of, but does it really matter? Um, 
you know what? A lot of yeah, there is a reason why the trial got so much coverage. Johnny Depp is the poster boy of uh, men who are abused by women who lied about abusing them and then used the Me Too movement to cover their abuse. He didn't want to be that poster boy. Nope. He became it though. Um, and Caboose, I tried have... very hard to stay quiet, actually. Oh, actually, Karina, you're here. Um, What's up? You can just put up another fucking platform if you want. Here, I have a sledge for you. I have another robotic sledge. Oh, I've got... Um, I'm going to build a shotgun one, I think. Okay, then I've Caboose or Pound Coin, I have another robotic sledge for either of you to drop to the ground. Um... Cool. I put some oh, this is um. Hold on. Stuff. Uh, this is a robotic turret, Karina. This is some sort of sh gunner thing. That's the minimum gun. So that's the uh, like you could call it like the pea shooter equivalent. Okay, then I'm scrapping it. No, it, it's still useful, especially for people who don't have any. I've got, right. like I'm saying, I've got the schematics to build better ones. I'm going to build a better one for me. We only can build, we can only have one turret at a time. Well, it's one turret per person. Yeah. And that shoots the most distance out of all of them. There's like the SMG, um, the shotgun, and the base uh, gun turret. And the base gun turret, I think, has the most range still. All right, cool, Kitty. I gotta ask, how old are you? Jesus. I don't... You gonna leave it, like, right there in the path? I'm done with it. Ah, shit. Cool, Katie's 17. Uh, I'm... Fuck. Oh, who wants to be, who uh, wants to be the one to tell... Uh, you know what? You know what? We, are, are we doing... Yeah, you know what? We we can't. We stray too easily. No. We're sorry, Cool Kitty. You cool Kitty, the reason we're hemming here. and hawing here is because um, we're an 18-plus community. Uh, I'm not going to fucking ban them. I'm just going to explain it to them. The, somebody already pulled the trigger. Yeah, I'm gonna unban them. Um, if you turn 18 in a month, let us know. Yeah, come on by, but like we we literally like we hit topics really fucking sensitive. Caboose, there's a fucking like there's a whatever a fucking kind of turret here for you if you want to drop it and use it. Oh, I love you, brother. <laughs> oh, hey, Kareen, I've been meaning to ask, uh, are you getting the visual glitches right now? Uh, not in the buildings I was in, no. What about in general? I haven't gone back into the town yet. Because I'm not getting them today. See? The, the upper floor of the building exists for you today. Or was it, or is it just being funky? Again, this is if it is if it is uh, if it is something that would not be the mod. Oh no, um, I did the research on it. It's absolutely, um, a what you fucking call it, a seven days that I air. Yeah, because it happens. It happens to people playing vanilla. Yeah, that quite kind, frequently. That kind of render issue is indicative of a base game. And we do know that it is an issue with the imposters. Um, no, I'm not building the wall, Crix. In fact, Karina built the wall. A Canadian built that wall. I just found a big-ass pit in the middle of the desert. Oh, I'm going to stream this so you guys can see what the hell this is. That's different than other areas. All right. Hey, oh, there. Oh, where are you? Oh, yeah, it might be me. I was down there, Caboose. Depends how big it is. Yeah. Does anyone have any use for the needle and thread book? A what book? The needle and thread. thread. Oh, no, I'm good. Um. Oh, no, that's a whole other thing. Yeah, that looks like a bomb went off, Caboose. Interesting. 
Well, there's this tunnel right here. All right. So here's the deal. Um, yeah. We're going to call the stream probably here. Um, where is the thingy that does the thingy that does the thingy? Um, because one horde nights bad enough without the fucking stream it. Um, anybody have wood? And I'm a hundred percent. I know where I'm rating to. Whom would that be? Uh, oh, there we go. Cool kitty. You didn't get disconnected. Here, here's what, here's what happened. We can't let you be here. Um, they were an 18 plus community. So come back when you're like not 17 anymore. Sorry. It just is what it is, but you don't have to worry about it because we're rating out to can't stop the kittens. Yeah. It's, it's a legal thing. We protect ourselves. We're that's, that's a month, a month. Well then see you in a month. Cool kitty. We'll, 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 we'll happily, happily break. You wouldn't be the first who was under 18 and came back. So now we welcome you. We, you'll be educated. You can scream fuck Joe Biden as much as you want. Yeah, it, it just is what it is. Um, sorry. We, we talk we talk about a lot of topics and given the nature of the US political scene at this point in time it gets it gets fucky <laughs> I'm gonna give trans advice on this channel too and you know what I don't have a feeling that's gonna be very legal soon broadcasting yeah cool people kitty under the age of 18. you seem you seem chill but it is what it is man so we'll see you in a few months um cool. everybody else thanks for hanging out it's a weird stream. Fucking, we definitely had a few. We built the channel lore. Catch you all later. Say hi to the kittens.